morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, what a, what a morning we're having today. And uh, what, what? We were so chilled when we came in and suddenly everything's gone wrong. Anyway, uh, Kat, Elliot and I say hello. Janice is in the building. Hello, says Elliot, hello. All right, all right. How's it going? That doesn't sound right. How's it going? Anyway, morning, morning, morning. Early bird. Yes, it's fantastic. This. These will fly out. Uh, you know, these are little clips that you use all the time. Hang on, let me open the... Oh, I won't open the bag. I'll just show you the bag like that. I'll just show you the bag like that. Wait, where's my sin? There you go. Use them all the time. Little clips for quilting, for dressmaking, for bag making. Nine... Na um, no, I haven't frozen. Okay, now... You're saving more than you're spending. Ha less than half price, not over half price. Less than half price. Less than half price, but you're saving £10. Oh, my word. I didn't realise we were going to do that. <clears throat> so they normally cost you £19.99 for 50 clips, which is a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant price, if you think about it. But you get them for £9.99 today. Here you go, this is 50. Cats counted them specially. Now, I can't guarantee that you'll get that many red ones because they're very random. The people in the warehouse just put the scoop into the, um, into the big box and they put them into the bag. It goes by weight, I think, doesn't it? It says you get 50, but I think it goes by weight because you can't expect the, the, the... Yeah, yeah, I think it's like the bank where they weigh your pound notes now. Oh, my word, look at all you people that have suddenly come in on the website. Keep going through for this. Very, very popular. Oh, the sound's awful, says Karen. No, I think Karen, well, that, was on, that was on the repeat. It should be fine now. It should be fine now. Can't wait for Janice and John today. Lynn says good morning. Oh, hang on. Now, they're all saying... now. Those, those sounds are before I came on, are they? Are you sure? Morning, everyone. Are oh, the gremlins away? Everyone's saying the gremlins are in. John and Janice together. What a fabulous day. Good morning, John and crew from Derbyshire. Hi, says Anne. Morning, John says Jackie. Karen says good morning from a very mild South Wales. Faye says morning from a damp Isle of the White. Cousin Susan says morning, John. Good to see you. Lynn to it. Hello there, one and all. Looking forward to seeing you and Janice together. Ema says, good morning. Right, while you're saying good morning, you should be buying these. You should be buying these because you're saving £10. It's not even a clearance day or anything like that at all. And once you bought these, that's your P&P done for the day, isn't it? Anyway, £9.99. Let me tidy those up. So that's 50. You don't get the plastic box. You get them like this. That's how they arrive. I know, 9 99 saving £10. What a brilliant way to start a Sunday morning. I know, I know. Now, I'm just checking that you're still talking to me because I'm not getting anything through my earpiece at all. Oh, there you go. Got you now. OK, I thought it gone very quiet because Kat normally will have done about 50 sentences by now. And I've missed them all. I was thinking, this is really odd that she's not talking to me. She's switched me off. Yeah, OK, thanks. Thanks, Kat. That's only, only give me important information. Yeah, the, it was the sound on the repeat that was bad. It's all good now, thank you. Morning, John and team, says Julie. Loving the shirt. Gorning, says Jill. Um, Glennis says the sound's all right now. Marina, morning, gorgeous. Good morning, sounds good to me, says Sam. All good now, says Susan. Sue says, good morning, John and Janice. Looking forward to watching you. She's on at nine. She'll be on at nine. Um, yeah, it's a repeat that's playing up, isn't it? I've ordered mine as I keep pinging mine all over the place and stood on a few. Oh, Susan, you be careful. You sound as wonderful as ever. It was Wendy that was sounding dreadful. It's not her fault. It's not her fault. It's Elliot's fault. Margaret says, good morning, John, from a grey West Yorkshire beautiful shirt this morning. Sally Ann says, morning, John. Sound, sound fine on Facebook but the replays are playing up. Shelley says, good morning from me, Clint, and the dogs having a cup of tea in bed. I hope the dogs aren't having tea. Mind you, Julie's uh, dog, ex-dog. Yeah, yeah, uh, Cat's nan and granddad's uh, dog had, used to drink tea. Mr. Scruff used to drink, t drink tea. He used to have to have a cup of tea with Alex in the morning. And I, I don't know if they've, uh, if Darcy, the new dog, has it. Are you checking out on these? Oh, message on my bottom. Uh, Bonadar, John and team, looking forward to the show. Thank you, Debs, my love, in mid Glamorgan. Uh, morning, gorgeous. Nice to see you on a Sunday. Yeah, Jan, don't get used to it. I don't think I do. Am I doing a Sunday next month? I don't think I am. The, um, the what? It is different on Sunday. I was convinced I wasn't working today and it was, I was pottering out. In fact, I was watching Sally Lindsay ghost posh stayovers and I suddenly thought, 
Do you know what I'm supposed to? I'm sure I'm supposed to go to bed. Anyway. Message from Tracy. Morning, John. Happy Sunday. Trade with an... Oh, Tracy with an IE. Alton, Hampshire. Oh, now we filmed some of um, four weddings at Alton in Hampshire. Yeah. The wedding where the man with the beard collapses. That went, that one with his waistcoat on. It's been a long time. You know when... Um, oh, what's he called? Simon Callow collapses at a wedding. On four weddings I'm talking about. Uh, that was all filmed at Alton. I'm not surprised people are multi-buying these. Morning, John. Dull day here in Wellingborough. That's very good value, isn't it, Just I, I don't think they're meant to take that much money off them, to be honest. Morning, John and team, says Joan. Morning, says Judith. My goats like coffee and chocolate, says Samantha. <coughs> are goats allowed chocolate? I suppose goats are, aren't they? It's only dogs you don't give chocolate to, isn't it? Uh, Kath wants to know if they have decaf coffee or normal coffee. Shouldn't say normal, should you, in this day and age? Non-decaffeinated. Oh. Anyway, keep going through. Right, okay, right, I'm closing that one up for now. They haven't sold out. I will bring them back. Oh, wait, in fact, I'll take them over with me because we'll do them again this hour. Oh, hang on. Have a look at today's menu. Oh, Elliot, we're not ready for that. There you go. Coming up today at 8 o'clock. Uh, these menus get briefer and briefer, don't they? Must have gadgets at 8 o'clock. 9 o'clock, we've got the Penlock Notebook with Janice. It's designed by Beth Studley. And importantly, we've got the pattern on its own. I don't think you've ever seen the pattern quite so affordable. Um, then we've got fabulous... Fa oh, hang on. Let's have a look at the picture of the notebook. Notebook is there. Elliot hasn't worked with me for a while, you see. He doesn't he forgets that we jump all over the place. That's the notebook coming up with Janice. Beth Studley design. Then at 10 o'clock, I've said it's fabulous fabrics. At uh, 11 o'clock, what's the weather, Mr. Wolf? No, that's not right, is it? What's the weather wall hanging? Here it is. You get a panel and you get, actually, Rebecca reads, oh, hang on, oh, go back to the, the hanging one on the wall. She's got none of the things stuck to it. Oh, okay, we'll be showing you how. <coughs> we have had it in the past, in November. Uh, and then... Um, 12 o'clock, we've got, and hang on, we've, we've had it back in the past in November, Janice is doing it again today because it was so popular. Then at 12 o'clock, we've got sewing machines. Right, before I go on to the rest of the show, I need to tell you that the, um, you know, the fabulous Juki, the fabulous Juki that Gary had the other day, and we sold out, right? We've managed to get five, is it five we've got? We've got five more, and that's it. That's it. Juki have said we cannot have any more whatsoever. We don't have one here, but um, Gary was on, what day was it last week? 16th last week. So it was the day when I was on. We did a two-hour special and sold all of them, right? And uh, anyway, we managed to get five. Oh, no, no, we didn't sell, that's a fib. We didn't sell all of them because the next day I came in, we had six. And then we sold one the next day and we've... Uh, uh, Right, so we've got five, we've got five now, got five now. Uh, and it's, uh, um, look at the split pay, split pay. I'm not going to go on about it now, I'm just telling you that it's there and it's amazing. Right, now there are three ways you can get in touch. Um, so the first way you can get in touch is by email at studioatsellingstreet.com. That's the one that goes through to Kath, uh, at Kath, Kat, who's Kath, I don't know. And um, that's one that goes through to Kat and she reads them in my earpiece. You can also send a message via Facebook Live, which are the ones that I read off my screen at the moment. I've got some more. I'll read those in a second. Or, of course, you can go to the website, click on Watch Live, and there's a little box to the right-hand side there. Just send your message in there. Send it through the studio. And they're the ones, morning, says Kat, they're the ones that go across the bottom. While we're there, have a look at what's coming up on today's show because everything, 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 there's, there's already the bestseller, which was our early bird. Everything is on pre-order. So there are my must-have gadgets. So you can buy now. You can buy now straight away from pre-order. Oh, they've already sold out. I was going to say, I need some more of those. Um, so they're all, they're all the um, gadgets. I've noticed there's something that's not on my desk that you've got there. Anyway, it doesn't matter. 
Carry on going. Then you've got Janice. There's the pattern. There's £4.50, that pattern is. What's that circle? What's that circle? Go back up. What's that circle? Oh, I see. What they've done is they put a picture of the one we've got and then they're different colourways, yep? Yeah? I'll show you all those at nine o'clock. Then carry on. Just carry on, carry on, carry on. Fabulous fabrics. There's some there that I've never seen before. Beautiful. And then we go to Janice's second hour. Uh, right, hang on. So we're bringing the dice back because that's what Janice used last time. But then we've also got, there's the, there's the, oh, now the wadding doesn't come with it then. Oh, it does, but we've just got the wadding on its own as well. Right, okay. So there's Janice's second hour. You can check out on these at any time you like, right? Sewing machines. Sewing machines. There's only two on there because we've already shown you the, um, the sewing machine itself. And that's everything for the day. Oh, it's an overlocker there as well. Oh, look, it's an overlocker there. That, look at the price, that overlocker. £289. If you've ever been thinking, I'll get an overlocker. Maybe today's the day. Right, okay, so let's get on. Let me just, let me just do these last messages and then we'll get on. Uh, good morning, John and all. Elliot can do no wrong. Oh, Bernie. John and Janice, good fun day. Love to all from Bernadette. Uh, right, morning, joyous John, have a lovely day from Laurie. Eileen says, morning John and Bubble from a very damp Devon. Morning, uh, Margaret says, morning everyone. And then Marina has come in four times, just says, Marina's watching, Marina's watching, Marina's watching, Marina's watching. She's obviously over eager, isn't she? Yeah, okay, what I'll do is I'll start with this to start with, uh, so I can clear a bit of space on my desk. Because is this mat for sale as well? Right, so the mat will, will be, I'll come up in a minute. But this, this is what we want to show you today. The Fiskars, this is brilliant if you're doing a bar yellow, you're doing lots and lots of straight cutting and things like that. At £64.99. Now, it might, may seem like a considered purchase for a ruler, but wait till you see what it does. Now, this is one we use. This one's a little bit scratched. This is what yours will look like when it arrives. And I would suggest saving the box and when you're not using it, put it back in the box and slide it under your bed or under the desk or something like that so you don't tread on it. So just so you know. So that's how yours will be when it arrives. This one. Oh, hang on, let me get rid of that. There you go. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Where do you think you're going? Right, okay. So let me quickly show you what this is, what you can do with this, right. Uh, so, uh, hang on, I'll just wait for Kat to get it all out of her system first. <laughs> right, okay, so what it is, is you're thinking, well, where's the rotary, rotary cutter? The rotary cutter is in here, right? It's a normal 45 millimetre blade, so you can just put replacement blades in there when you need to. The blade does not uh, engage until you press down. You see there? So the blade is tucked away until you press down on the top like that. And the way it works is you've got a ruler here. Now, I had squared off a piece earlier. I don't know if this is my squared off piece. No, it isn't. Right, so what you do, first of all, is, yeah, is you just square off. Why, what's the matter? Right, okay, so you've got your square, oh, got your squared off edge there. Then what you need to do, so if you're doing a bargello and you want to cut two and a half inch strips, you just literally line the edge of your fabric because you've squared off already. Down there, down your two and a half inch mark. Now, you know we always say to you, do not cut towards you with a rotary cutter. With this, you can cut either way, right? So I'm going to do it this way, first of all. Slice down there. You've got the perfect two and a half inch strip. Want to do another one? I'll say one, do one and a half one this time. No, so we're doing a two inch one this time. Now, you do need a cutting mat underneath it, obviously. So there's your two inch line. All of, the, all of these are incremented in uh, one eighth of an inch. You've got them in black and you've got white, so it doesn't matter what color fabric you use, you can still see the increments, right? And now look, you can move, you can move that along quite happily and not touch your fabric at all because you haven't engaged the blade, right? Then what you do, just literally push down, slide along, and there's your two inch strip. Now, 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 you're thinking, well, I, I might not just want strips, I might want diamonds, I might want triangles. You can do that because on here, you've got a 60 degree line, you've got a 45 degree line, and you've got a 30 degree line. So you can still cut your diamonds if you slide, now hang on, it's a bit early in the morning for me to do this, hang on. Da, 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 da. Uh, right, hang on, I'll be with you in a second. There we go, there we go, there we go. Slice it along, if you're doing 30 degree diamonds, 
you just put your edge of fabric along your 30 degree line, bring your blade back down, look, then you've cut your hole, you can do your triangles, your diamonds, everything like that. You can do that using the 60, 45 and 30 degree. Obviously it only goes to six inches. It's only, set, but, but when you're doing Bargello, how often? The widest, you'll normal. Oh, I know what's brilliant. What, what project did we do the other day where you, had to, where you had to cut? I think it was Susie, wasn't it? Where you had to cut four and a half inch squares. Well, let me just show you how you do four and a half inch squares. So, you've got your, I'll, I'll move on in a minute. But you've got your four and a half there. You've got your four and a half there. So you're measuring four and a half across that way, right? And then what you do is you then measure four and a half across this way. Oh, of course, I haven't squared that edge off, but there you go. Four and a half across that way. Oh, oh, see, I was over eager then. I didn't put it right to the end. But you can cut your four and a half inch squares. So if you're doing lots and lots and lots of half square triangles and it says to you, cut 7,000 four and a half inch squares. Imagine how quickly you do that. And you can go through, I've only gone through two layers of fabric. I think you can go through up to eight layers of fabric on this, can't you? Hang on, one, two, three, four five six now i haven't practiced this one. Oh, easy hang on one oh i've just licked my finger sorry i'll just sanitize now one two three four five six that was six layers of fabric i went through i don't know that's now 12 isn't it this might be i um, might be being a bit stupid here because it might be too thick but it'll tell it'll show us won't it oh yeah tw yeah tw 12's too thick, 12 is too thick. But I could have just done, um, it'll definitely go through six to eight anyway. 12's definitely too thick, so don't try doing it with 12. All right, thank you very much indeed. The other thing is, see the handle here? Please don't hang it from the handle. Um, it looks nice hung like that, but I just don't think it's, it's n that's not what it's there for. It's for, to hold and to move and everything. It's not to hang it up from. So keep it nice and flat. There we go. Oh, shall I do the cutting mat while I've got, got it here? Look at him, Matt. So which one's this one? This is your A2. A2. Uh, you've got centimetres on that side. Again, you've got your 60 degree and your 45 degree there. On this side, you've got your inches. You've got your 45, your 45 and your 60 on there. Inches. Increments of uh, eighths of an inch here. So it's how big is it? It's about 23 by 18, 17. Oh, 24. How do they get 24 off there? 23, 22, 23, I've got on mine. But anyway, they say 23, I say 24. What's an inch between friends? And then well, how many is it down there? 17. Oh, okay. No, I think they've taken the actual measurement of the actual board because if you think you've got a bit there and a bit there. Haven't you? Anyway, it's lovely. It's gorgeous colours. It's 21.99 from Genome. Oh, yeah, this is our studio sample. Look, that, this is where Elliot was using it earlier. I don't know what he's making. Doing something with the glue. Doing something with the glue gun. Morning, John. Morning, all. Thank you for that ruler demo. I haven't... Oh, I definitely haven't been using mine properly. Oh, Patsy, you're very welcome. Jenny says, thank you for the demo. Oh, it's my pleasure. It's my job. It's my job. Right, so I'm moving this down. Yeah. Oh, right. I'm going to do... Is it plugged in? Right. Now, I'm not allowed to call this a hoover. It's a vacuum, right? Oh, where's... Right, OK. There's an issue here, because uh, there's more nozzles than that. Hang on, I've got one in here. I could use the ones out of the box, if you want. Oh, you're coming out to find them. Put your mask on. Good girl. Right, I need to sanitise anyway, because I licked my finger, didn't I? So I'll do that. Right, so and that's it. That's it. That's the only other one. Just slide it along the table there. Thank you. Right. Oh, hang on. Uh, where have the wipes gone? Are they... Um, sorry, we're just... I'm just over... I'm really, really... I mean, we all should be over... No, no, we have to be. So the, the rule's here, but we have to... Um, I'm not going to touch that until Kat finds me um, a wipe or anything like that. Right, OK, this is brilliant, right? So you plug it in. Let me show you. It's a, it's a little vacuum. You can put this on the wall. Oh, well done. Thank you. I know, I know. I, 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 the thing is, I'm like this. I'm like, every time I get in the car, every time I get out the car, I get through so many wipes. But I just think it's really important. And especially as like people go, oh, we're two thirds, you know, the, the infection rate's down by two thirds. Yeah, I don't want to be in that one third though. Thank you very much indeed. 
Right, okay, so I'll put that in the bin. Right, so this is a, so you plug it in, this one's already plugged in, right? You plug it in, you put this, you can put this on the wall, you don't have to, but you see that little um, thing, that bit there? That's what charge is on. So that there's, a, there's a hole in your, um, there's a socket in there and that sits on there like that. There you go. So it's, it would sit on the wall like that and it will recharge while it's on the wall. You don't have to use it while it's plugged in because this is the bit that's plugged in, right? So then this is what you use to pick up your bit. So, oh, oh. Oh, hang on, no, I've got, I've got the wrong nozzle on. That's why, that's why it's not working. I've got the wrong nozzle. There you go. There we go. Now, this is... Oh, don't, Elliot, Elliot saying, imagine if it didn't work, John. Of course it's going to work. But the other day, I had the iron back in stock, didn't I? And I said, oh, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, because you have it cordless. Oh, could I get it to work? They all sold out still, but... Oh, have, I wanted it as my at-home iron as well, but I'd already bought one from the Long River. Anyway, look, that's how easily it picks up. So all the little bits you work with. Now, if you buy a jelly roll, design roll, right? You know, I always start coughing, don't I, when we open one, because I'm always like, oh, there's so much um, lint and everything coming off it, right? Um, so you also get that, wait, so hang on. Now that was your dry, and then if you want to do, if you're doing it inside the car, you know down the side, I'll make it, there we go. I've put your glasses on, John. You know when you want to go down the side of your seat in your car, because that's always got crisp packets, uh, not crisp packets, but crisps and biscuit crumbs in mine. And no, I, well, no, Elliot, I, I had it specially valeted. The man came to my house and I had a two and a half hour valet of my car and it looked like new. Next day, we had mud, rain, everything. It looks a mess again. And the inside, you know when you've wiped your hands with your, with your wipes, I just throw them on the floor like that, so there's a mountain of those in the car. And then as I pulled up there, I was like, oh, I'm working with Elliot today. He'll look in my car and think I'm a right old scruffboy. Anyway, now, that's if you do it dry, right? You can also do it wet, which is what this nozzle is for. So let me put that, that nozzle on there. You see, can you see that nozzle there? That's your wet nozzle. Now, they always say to me, John, whatever you do, don't do the wet one. Do not do the wet don't do the wet demonstration, John. Wait there. I've got, I'm coming back, I'm coming back, come back. Right, you ready? Look, ready? I'll just let's. Okay, oh, I've only put a little bit out, right? Now imagine if, you've, if that's your red wine, right? Or your white wine, or your gin. Oh, I've, oh, do you know what? Lo bought me some um, alcohol-free gin i'm gonna have one tonight i've got the ice cubes in the fridge i've got a lime got my tonic ready to go right okay we... can you see can you see look okay there's a tiny bit left there look how brilliant is that i've picked so imagine if that's a glass of wine on your dining table on your wherever what's the matter elliot Elliot can't do a shot of it when it's in my hand, apparently. Just if you think where you used to work, Elliot, you'd think that would be the easiest of things. Right, OK, so now, if, um, if you charge it up, you've got 20 minutes of um, vacuuming time. Um, uh, last time has explained how to use it, says Linda. Oh, what, this, Linda, do you mean this? Or do you mean the ruler? Oh, OK. Just got to get that last bit up. There you go. And then I won't empty it now because I haven't got a bucket to empty it. It's re and also, the other thing you need to know is there is in here, in the, oh, how do I put it down? In here, there's a filter. So if you're just picking up dust, then it all collects and they just rinse that through and it gets rid of it. How brilliant is that? $29.99. And then if you've got it on the wall in the garage, you know what I mean? Perfect, isn't it? Or, oh yeah, under the stairs. Have you got a plug under your stairs though, Elliot? Oh, he has. He has. You see, my house in Twickenham didn't have a plug under the stairs. I can't remember if the one here has. Oh, now. Oh, we've got all the gadgets today. Right, this is plugged in. Oh, 
My bad. I forgot to... Oh, look, it starts already. I've switched it on. I've switched it on right now. This is a Bell Dre Multi Steam. Now, do you know there's a, there's a whole channel and all they do is this every day. All day, every day. Vertical steam, anti-scale and lightweight. Um, so let me just show you. Are the gadgets... You haven't put the gadgets to this one out either, Kat. Is there not another one? I thought there was another one. It's not a ceramic one. Maybe the ceramic one's all John. Right, you've got 1,200 watt power. You've got 260 milliliter. Easy, if I can do it, you can. Easy to fill water tank. I did get Elliot to do it this morning. No, no, Kat, you might be right. You might be right. You get 12 to 15 minutes of continuous steam. There's a 1.9 meter cord. And you've got your two-in-one fabric and lint brush and your measuring jug. That's why I didn't have the measuring jug. Don't worry. It's just a measuring jug. Right. Yeah, but some, you take off the bit, but if you don't want to take the bit off to go to the sink. Anyway, look, 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 look. Right, watch this. Now, there is a, um, a lock. There you go, there you go. You can put it on lock. Can you see that? Oh, look, 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 look. Oh, it's going a bit too close to that camera. Elliot's not going to be very happy. Look, can you see? Look, oh, look, 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 look. 15 to 20 minutes of that continue. I won't, try, I won't do it that way anymore because it's going a bit too close to the camera. I'll switch off. Now, you must not use it on your face, obviously, Elliot. Even though Elliot could do with an industrial spa right now. Now, you see this bit here. I'm not going to touch it because you get... Oh, no, it's not hot. This bit comes off, right? So if you don't want it to have the lint on there... So that's lint if you... Oh, there you go. This gets hot as well. Be careful. They, this is your lint brush here. You can push it off the lever there. Oh, no, I don't think it comes off that way, does Elliot? I think it comes that way, isn't it? Anyway, don't try and do this while it's hot, because it's hot. You can take this off, and there's a ceramic plate underneath. I'll show you on the picture there. There's, it's got that ceramic plate, so you can get even closer to the goodies if you want to. Oh, okay, I don't know this. Uh, Kat uses hers on a headboard to clean the headboard. Um, except she's buying a new bed, because she's moving. What you can hang on, uh, it's iron steam and refresh and sanitize. That's it. So it doesn't clean your pillows, it sanitizes your pillows. I suppose it kills all the watsits, doesn't it? All the little bugs in there and everything. Refresh your sofa, refresh your curtains, steam your garments. Two in one fabric and lint brush, that's that one. Oh, okay, they had a heavy denim dress on yesterday and it, it went through that with no problem at all. I forgot to bring, I forgot to bring the outfit and steam, but never mind, that's my bird. Right, if you've got it in your basket, please make sure, look, I'll just show you the steam power again. Because sometimes you see these, don't you, you think, that's not going to do that. But look at how much steam's coming out of there. And uh, we've not lowered the light, look. Uh Cat hates ironing, so she'd much rather use this on her clothes. Anyway, let me unplug that so it's not steaming away. Okay, I'll just put that to one side. And it's lightweight, look, it's lightweight. It's lovely and lightweight. Right, now. This one. Oh, okay, yeah, where's the other one? It was here earlier. Are you sure? I could have sworn there were two lap. Maybe I dreamt it. This is the black one I've got there. Is this the same light here? This is the white one, so I can show you. Right, so this is it. I love these. Right, okay, now I'm going to show you the ones not plugged in, I'm afraid. Hang on, I haven't got the, hang on. Oh, there'll be a plug in here, won't there? Oh, now, Kat, there'll be one in here. Don't be running around, because you'll have to slap, wipe, wipe it again, won't you? Here you go, I've got... Now, this is a white one. Obviously, you get a black one with, if you buy the black one, but we're not going to see it down here. Oh, OK. Now, they took these onto our sister channel. They, we gave them a few to take onto a jewellery maker the other day, and they completely and utterly sold out. Oh, the floor lamp's gorgeous of this, but hang on. Uh, okay, hang on, Kat, where'd you plug it in? Oh, there it is. So this is how you plug it in, right? There's a dangly bit on the light, and you just plug, push that into there. Yours, obviously, if you buy this one, will be black. So don't be thinking you're getting a white wire with a black lamp. Oh, I rather like this, right? Now, here's the power. Oh! Can you see? Can you see? Right, now, there are different ways you can do this. You can do different colours. Right, can you see this? I might turn it towards you a bit. 
So you've got the different colours in here. Right, so let me just see what happens. Let's turn, can we turn the lights down? Right, okay, so I'll show you the different colours again, ready? Look, there's the warm. Oh, look, that's not a very good picture of me, is it? But it's the lamp you're looking at, not me. Right, but also, look. Look. Look, I'm going brightness, 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 brightness. Now, down to the, the du not dull, but the lesser bright. Dim, that's it. It's funny how Elliot knew that word, wasn't it? Right, now you also get... I've got a remote control here somewhere. Oh, there it, there it is, because the cat just brought it over, it's got a wipe on it. So you get a remote control with this as well. Now you get a white remote control with the white one, and you get a black one. But, but look, all the things I've just shown you, but look at this, right? You can automatically set it to 20%, 50%, or 100% with your brightness. There's your walk, your colours, your brights, and you can do it gradually as well, you see. And it's also got a timer on it there, 60 seconds or a 10 minute timer. And then you've got warm, cool, and a mix. Oh, that's why I couldn't see the difference. So you can do warm, cool, and that one there is a mix of the two colours. Do what, what? Oh, you need to point it at that, do you? Is it changing now? You don't need to go. Now, uh, what I do need to warn you, if you've got two of these in your house, you get two remote controls. If you're in the kitchen doing yours and you push your thing, sometimes it affects the one in the lounge, just so you know. So you could really frighten your other half if he's doing his painting of little soldiers and you're standing in the other room doing this, you could get the light to flitter. Right, but look at this. This is what's one of the unique selling points of this. Is look, let me just switch it off a minute. Look at this neck, right? You're allowed to do this. You're allowed to do this. Look, look how... It's not break, gonna break. It's can you see that with that? Oh, it's the graphics are in the way, aren't they? Hang on, let me uns. Oh, there we go. Can you see it? There you go. Look. So you can create a really beautiful shape if you want swan-like shapes. But the other thing I like the idea of. Now we have got these. This one's one that clips onto your desk. There's a vice. There's a vice that you can clip onto the desk. Here, I'll show you the white one. There's your vice that clips onto the desk. There you go, there's the white, there's the white remote in the box shape. There's your vice that you clip on. It's got a lovely um, rubber thing under here, so if you're going to put it on your best table, it's not going to mark or anything like that. Um, but, so this is this version for $95.99, right? But we do do a floor version as well. And the floor version has got a circular base. I haven't got it here. It's got a circular base and then a stand. I want those... The steamer just went at me. Um, I want them up the wall, like if you, if you do want atmospheric lighting, face it towards the wall and then the white line, the light will just bounce off the wall. Uh, either in the corner or in the, on the flat, doesn't matter, Elliot. Oh, Elliot. Uh, okay. Oh, you know, you've got a remote control, you don't need to do that, Elliot. Yeah, yeah but you have to run over to the bed. Right, Elliot's saying he'd have one in his bed. He'd have one in his bedroom. He'd press the sixty-second button and then run to his bed because his bedroom's so huge. Run to his bed like that and then get in and the light will go off. All I do is lie in bed and go off. Anyway, but in your bedroom, you can, oh look, if you're in your bedroom, right, you can have it to read. Look, so, so if you're in bed, right, it's on the bedside table. You're not going. He's not going to disturb Amy, is he? If he's reading his book like this, has the light above him like that. I know that's a. Elliot doesn't read books, so, but anyway, you know what I mean. Um, so, but you could, could, you could have it over your bed like that, and they can have it nice and bright while you're reading. Then if your son goes, oh, hello, Amy. Turn it to the wall like that. Atmospheric lighting. Just saying. Just saying. Now, it is available. Look, there's the white one. Say that again, sorry. Yeah, now, the black... Oh, the white graphics in at the moment. No, the black graphics are. So now I have to tell you that the black ones sell faster than the white ones. Just so you know. Oh, fewer than ten of the black one now. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now I know you're thinking, oh, to consider purchase for, but um, I've got one of the. I've got this one. I've got one of the other ones. Dulcie, my friend Dulcie's got one, and she takes it to the hotel with her. She's working at Shepperton Studios at the moment, and she has to stay in a hotel. 
Um, and she takes it with her and she does her EPP under it. Because obviously hotel lighting isn't very good, is it? Um, she does her EPP underneath it. Does come with a two-year warranty from lovely Claire at Native Lighting. And what, what I love is that Claire is one of those people who's so passionate about what she does and how she, you know, so, so it's a, re, it's a, she's very knowledgeable, lovely girl, and she really believes in what she's doing. And she wouldn't sell, she wouldn't sell us and we wouldn't sell you tact, basically. They're good quality. They're real. You don't need to put light bulbs in it either. Don't need to put light bulbs in it. I don't understand that either. It doesn't get hot. It's LED, isn't it? It doesn't get hot. Oh, yeah. Now, if you want to get native lighting, go. But £95 is a little bit too much for your first purchase. Let me just put that down there. That'll get down. Now, these are... Aren't these exclusive? These are exclusive to us, I think, aren't they? I think I find it is. But anyway, £23.99. There you go. It's like your old-fashioned desk lamp. Got that gooseneck look like that. Not it. Oh, it'll go out of focus. It's gorgeous, isn't it? This is the one they use in the gallery. Or if you're working from home, or your kids doing their homeschool work, homeschooling. Well, not even homeschooling. When they go back, they're still going to have to do homework, aren't they? It's just a really stylish lamp for the desk, isn't it? It's just your on-off switch there. Lovely, likes are bright. Oh, now he's started now. Oh, now, it's got it now. It's a USB thingy. Look. So you can put it into your computer or your sewing machine. Or your, oh, if you've got one of those posh houses, you don't need a plug. So does it come with a plug as well or not? Does it just come with that? Oh, and it comes with this. Might not be this one. It might not be that one, Cat says. I'm going to, oh. I can't open this one because it's sellotaped down, sorry. That's weird, isn't it? Because that's the opening there, but they sellotape that side. Anyway. Oh, that's clear. Oh, the other thing I need to tell you is if you buy the floor lamp, not this one, the floor lamps come straight from Native Lighting. They're waiting in the warehouse to be sent out. Oh, the other thing I've got to tell you, I was meant to tell you this right at the beginning. Um, and I know, uh, was it Vix or Wendy? Todd told everyone yesterday. Vix told everyone yesterday. Um, the warehouse, just so you know, have got slight delays. I say slight, they have got delays on them. We are now saying that delivery is between 10 and 14 working days. I'm only telling you because we want to be upfront about it and we don't want you panicking or stressing at home. Basically, we're more busy than we've ever thought possible. And also because, you know how strict we are with the COVID rules, right? They're just as strict, um, so they should be, in the warehouse. So obviously people, in the, normally you're like brushing past going, I need one of those lamps, I need one of these, I need that, I need that fabric. You can't do that. They all have to go round in a, oh, it's just very complicated. So that's why, and we apologise profusely, but we're being upfront and we're telling you between 10 and 14 working days is the, the delivery at the moment. We're working so hard to get it up to scratch again, but just so you know. That yarn lane, well, yarn lane, we can't believe how quickly yarn lane's taken off. And you think about all those balls of yarn and wool and everything. And we have been so busy, unbelievably busy. Uh, and the poor old warehouse are run ragged, but they're doing their, but they're absolute doing the best. They're doing what? Right, this is what they're doing. They're working through the night. Obviously not the same people, different shift. They're working through the night to get the parcels done now. That's how, and I do apologise profusely, but how fabulous that it's, we're so busy. Right, if you've got any questions about your delivery, you can ring the call centre. It's just around the corner here, and there's the number. Oh, and the other thing is with the call centre... Some of them are working at their desks in the call centre, but obviously with COVID and everything, some of them have got phones at home as well. So you will be answered. So just, here's the number. 0800 001 4433 is the phone number. It's round the corner in Redditch. Or people who live locally, they've all been sent home with their phones and everything, and they can take your calls. So I'm sorry, I should have said that at the beginning of the show. There was just so much going on, I forgot. Right, hang on, we're going to do what? Oh, the eye stitch. Sorry, the, the, the accent was throwing me a little bit. No. Right. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just difficult to understand, that's all. But if you... I, I'm fine with Elliot, because he talks like a sloth. 
so it's quite slow. But cats like this, we've got the, we've got the, we've got the, do the icing, do the icing, oh, we're doing this now. Lovely for this, lovely for that. And she hasn't had coffee this morning. Right, Jane Greenough launched this with Sewing Street this week. Oh, uh, yeah, it's got the right words, haven't I? Very limited already. Now, did she have a computer to show you how to do it? Right, so what day was it on? Friday at what time? Nine o'clock. If you go to YouTube and look up Friday at nine o'clock, you'll see Jane using it. You can create all your own cross-stitch charts. Also has, you don't have to just do your own, it has 2,000 of Jane Greenough's designs on there as well. It's got video, well, they're not videos. It's got little, um, they're not called videos though, are they? Demos. Oh, no, she's called the video tutorial. I thought a video had to be a big pla plastic box that you slid into a video player. Oh, OK, so I take that back. So it's got 15 Biscore new patterns, automatic backstitch, video tutorials, instant cards and samplers, conversions. Oh, <gasps> conversion of photos to charts. How brilliant would that be? Thread. Uh, oh, the thread colour converter is amazing. Needle sorter, motif livery, 72 stitch diagrams with instructions and 42 ready-made stitches in there. Also, I, if I'm not wrong, this one has the colour charts from all the different... That must, that must be the shade cards, right? So you can go in and all the different makes of thread, you can go into... I think there's four of them or six of them. You can go into their colour charts and see. So if you want to mix different makes, you can do by mixing the colour. 29.99, those colour charts are 15 pounds on their own, just so you know. 29.99, you're getting all of that. If you love cross stitch, you love creating. Uh, th the best thing for me is taking a photo and creating a cross stitch of a photo. Well, actually, I've just written, I've just written my sewing, simply sewing page for, is it April or May? And we're so far in advance. And it's all about cross stitch. And one of the pictures I've submitted is of a, a lady had two children and they were on their way to school and they had their picture taken and they had it converted into a cross stitch picture for us. It took her 20 years to do and the kids are now 40 and 42. But it's amazing, just amazing. And you can use fonts. There's fonts in there as well. Barbara McClay. Oh, lovely Barbara McClay. Good morning, John Scott and team. I like your shirt this morning. Alison Marion says, spotlight on charm. And what, we, what are we spotlighting? Oh, my forehead. That's nice. Morning, John. Glad you're feeling better from Crete. Uh, Carol says, good morning, all. Laurie says, Fridays. Oh, no, we can't. They can't watch Fridays, YouTube. The sound, uh, Laurie's just being, the sound's all messed up. Trudy says, morning, John and crew. I absolutely love that shirt. Butterfly is my thing. Mega does that. This is one of my oldest shirts, right? One of my oldest shirts, this one is. I love it, though. It's one of my fat shirts. I was feeling a bit fat this morning. I was going to borrow one of Elliot's, but they were too big. I'm moving on before Elliot gets angry. What am I doing? Glue gum. Oh, if this one's not plugged in, never mind. Right. I have got, but I've got nothing to glue. So now, I'm just seeing if this one comes with a stand. Oh, yes, 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 there it is, there it is, there it is. We've lost our stand on the den one. Right, what you do is plug it in. Now, um, Mandy Shaw uses these all the time, doesn't she? If you're crafting and you want to glue something, glue buttons on, glue sequins on, glue Dolly's hair on. Um, how much is it? Oh, 10.99. Now, you do get a little stand, because look, it's in the box there. You see that little... There's the stand there. You also do get a couple of um, glue sticks in there. Two glue sticks you get. It. Ooh. Yeah, two glue sticks you get in there already. Please be careful. These get very hot. I mean, I'm on, I know you know that, but I'm just saying it just goes there. What you do is you put the glue stick in the end here. The mechanism heats it up and it squidges out that when you press the, press the trigger. Okay, Kat's going to use hers to make her Easter bonnet. I think she's, they're the only family I know who make Easter bonnets. Oh, no, Victoria Carrington makes them for her kids, doesn't she, for school? You are indeed. I met Mrs. Ka uh, Victoria Carrington this weekend. She didn't reply. 
Oh, did, Susan says your shirt really suits you and you look slim in it. Thank you, Susan, my love. Right, we've got refills, if you want some refills. I'd get these at the same time because you're only paying one PMP, remember? And you will get, if you're, if you're doing lots of crafting, you will get through them quite quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Oh, message from Kate on my bottom. Uh, I had a photo of the church my son got married in and convert. Oh, my son, hang on, hang on. I have a photo, I had a photo of the church my son got married in, converted to cross stitch and gave it as a wedding tampler for them. Oh, Kate, that's lovely. Oh, she's going to, oh, your house look a bit weird, cross stitched. Cat's moving into a new house. It's a gorgeous little house, but it's not what you call conventional. And the background will be a little, uh, it may be cross stitch, but it'll be a lot of, lot of beige, I'd say. A lot of beige. Yeah. <laughs> The background would be nice doing in perspective, wouldn't it? Anyway, two ninety nine. These are stock up on those while you can. Remember, you only pay one PMP for the whole day. So if you came in and bought the early bird, where you got? Oh, actually, I'd quickly do it again if that's all right, because it's here. The early bird. If you weren't quite here for the early bird, this is ridiculous. You're saving more than you're spending. You're getting fifty of these mini clips. Right. Look. So nine ninety nine is what? But they're normally nineteen ninety nine. There's, oh, was it, that was a big sigh, Ellie. You're right. Oh, he's got upset about the audio again. Is it your fault? Okay. Don't worry about it now, Elliot. Worry about it later when you're on your own. Lulu says, Morning, John. Just got back from taking number one son to work at the hospital. Turn the TV on, and there you are making me smile. Oh, I do love a glue pen, says Lulu. Morning, John and team. I've got toothache this morning, so I've come to the right place for some cheering up. And Susu, so we've had Lulu, Suzanne, now we've got Susu. Morning, John, loving the show. You do make me laugh. You're very funny. You should be on the stage, and I don't mean sweeping it. Oh, I've been there, Susu. Uh, you make me smile in these gloomy times. Love from Sue in Grim Grimsby. Oh, are you a fish seller? That's what they do in Grimsby, isn't it? Oh, these have sold out, by the way. They've sold out. Read a message? Elizabeth, go back to my second love sewing, first love gardening. It's my birthday today. Happily watching in bed. Lots of love to you all there, Elizabeth. Oh, Elizabeth. And I've got your postcode, but we'll move that out. You need to get that changed. I think she lives in Cardiff. Right. Magnetic pin dish next. Obviously, this is how yours... Oh, actually, this one's got pins in it, so you do not get pins in it. Oh, you get those? Oh, they're not, you haven't put those in. Are you sure? Oh, it's in the picture. Yeah, but you know what it's like here. Oh. Now, I didn't know you had to keep, um, it's a strong magnet, keep away from credit cards. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, I know you're not supposed to put your credit card next to your phone, which is why I think it's really odd. Some of my friends have got a phone case. I'll just show you. Elliot, I'm over here. Um, that opens up like that. The phone's on that side. There's a credit card holder on that side. I didn't think you were supposed to do that. Anyway, this is what you get. We put our own pins in this one. It is super, super, super strong, the magnet. Because if you've got those little IKEA trolleys that we have, that our guests use, it stick, they stick to the side of those. Brilliant for picking up pins. Look, now Adele, who was in yesterday, loves these. Look. It's not real, Rose Gold Cat. Show you one, two. Which one's two? There's no point giving me a number when you haven't put numbers on the cameras, is it? That one. That one. Okay, there you go. Oh, you missed it, did you? Oh, Elliot. We don't have this problem with Emma, do we? She's always right there, right, ready to go. Oh, there's a blue one in there. Maybe that, ow. Right. Oh, I see, that's one of the ones that came with that. Jules Mahoof will have those. Right, well, are you ready? So if you drop them on the floor, like Janice drops them all the time, 8 99 and oh she's here she's, 
You're early. But you are, aren't you? When you're at home, you're dropping pins and your Martin stands on them all the time, doesn't he? Anyway, she wouldn't have to if you had one of these. 8 99 magnetic pin dish, 10 centimetres across. It's not real rose gold, it's rose gold coloured. Just so you know. Love lie. Oh, yes. I was thinking I haven't got a tape measure. Right, you know we do the seams hand cream and the nail oil, which I use all the time. This is the tape measure as well. I didn't know these. I thought these were only available in, in the um, bundles. Oh, well, there wouldn't be a graphic for it if we didn't know, would it? Look, it's leather. Now, for those of you who don't like leather, this is definitely leather. But look, you ready? Now, that matches in, doesn't it? It's actually got seams written on it there as well. Can you see that? Embossed onto the leather. Nice little gift, that. Now, when's Mother's Day? Mother's Day must be next, must it? Is it Mother's Day before Easter? It's one? It's the 15th or the 17th of March, she's not quite sure. This will be the Sunday. Actually, it's not called Mother's Day. It's Mothering Sunday. Mothering Sunday. I don't think I'll be on, because I don't think I'm doing any Sundays next month. My, my, shift is, my shift pattern next month is very, very strange. So there's one week, right? I, I'm in on the Saturday. And then I'm not in until the following Friday. I do one day and then I'm not into the following weekend. But at the end, you'll be sick of me at the end of the month because I'm in nearly every day at the end of the month. And I think it's because, you know, it fixes due days at the end of the month, isn't it? Hasn't that come around quickly? Oh, so quickly. Oh, you've got the baby shower. Oh, now, let me explain to you about the baby sh shower show on Wednesday because we're having to be strict with the COVID rules and everything. Normally, Vix would do two hours, I'd do two hours, Vix would do two hours, and I'd do two hours. They don't want us crossing over at all, except apart from the one where we do cross over. So, on Wednesday, you'll have Vix for four hours of Sewing Street. Then you have me for one hour of Yarn Lane. Then, if you watch on Freeview, we disappear, so you'll have to turn over to the website, YouTube, or Facebook, thank you. Um, and then I'm doing another three hours in the afternoon of Sewing Street. I know, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Little Paul will be in, little Paul will be in. Anyway, micro stitch tool next. Look the time, the hour's gone already. I wonder Janice is standing there waiting, looking at me all eagle-eyed. Here we go, micro-stitch tool. Now, if you're making a quilt sandwich um, and you don't want to move it, you don't want to pin it, you don't want to baste it, use this, right? Uh, what you do is, I haven't got an open one here, you literally put the little Kimball taggy bits in the end, uh, no, in the end there, in the top there. You take off the plastic cover and then you literally can shoot these little plastic things through the three layers, through your top layer, your wadding, and your backing. Um, you can sew over them, but when you've finished, trim them out. Do not pull them out, because you could ruin your quilt if you pull them out. Well, it's a bit like a Kimball tag when you buy cl shop-bought clothes, but they wouldn't be that short, would they? Because you'd be able to read it, would you? Oh, Stuart says, looking. What's Stuart looking at? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Kat, who works in theatre, used to work in theatre when theatre was, oh. And she, well, you will do again. Keep buying those books and everything to support the, the show must go on books. And I know that's something completely different to Sewing Street. That's my own personal thing. But um, Bonnie and the team have raised over £600,000 to help people who work in theatres. Because when the government said we're giving this many billion to, or million to the, the arts, they went to the theatre buildings. They didn't go to the actors and the actresses and the wardrobe and the crew and everything like that. So this is a, a charity that's helping to support people in theatre because they've had nothing. They've had absolutely... Oh, I've got all, all goosebumpily. I can't... I, when I go to see my first show, I'm going to be sobbing my heart out, I tell you, because I miss all that. I miss... Uh, oh, the, just the noise, the applause and everything. It'll just be fantastic. I'll be like when I have my first hug. I'll burst into tears when I, when I have my first hug. But anyway, that's another story. Right, so that's your micro-stitch tool, 24... Okay, so Elliot says he hopes he's in on the, on the first day they let us hug people. He says he hopes he's working with me that day because he wants to be the first one to get a John Scott hug. You've got the refills. Natural first. I think there's 1,200. Are there 1,200 in there? 
really doesn't matter what colours you use, but if you're using a black quilt, then use these. They're called, well, we've called them natural. They're actually called white blanco blanc. And we also have it. Oh, the cat's moving me along now. She doesn't like me talking about hugging things, you know. She hates hugs. She's moving into a new house next. Is it next week? Next Friday. She completes next Friday. Oh, not this. Wh wh where are we? Sunday. This Friday coming up. Oh, so it's this Friday then, not next Friday. When you've got nothing to move, have you? She's got 114 hangers in use in her wardrobe. She's not taking a bed from a house. She lives with her mum and dad at the moment, just so you know. She's not taking anything from the house. She's got 114 hangers worth of clothes. And then we've got, oh, we've got this, right. So this, is if you want to do chenilling, right. Now, if you're doing straight lines, you put this, this, this one on here. If you're doing circular lines, you put this one on here. Now, what you must remember to do with these is the blade doesn't move. So after you've done a few projects of, of chenilling, you need to move the blade around. There's eight different stations because it's not like a rotary cutter where the blade moves. It stays, it stays still. So literally, after a few projects, turn the blade around so you've got another sharp bit. Turn the blade around, you've got a little sharp bit. Uh, what you need to do is you sew three or four layers of fabric together. Then you sew like channels. And then you take the top three, if you've got four layers in, you take the top three layers, you slide the channel through it, and you push the, um, the blade through it. And this is a sort of example. Oh, there, I'll put it down on the floor. So this is done with three of the same panel. What I would suggest you do is do a panel and then do a pink and a green underneath it or something like that, and that'll give you the depth. Also, or full, oh yeah, you can only use three or four colours though. You can't go any deeper than that. But, but you can do circles. You can do shapes and everything like that. Um, I would use different textures as well. So I would have like a fleece in there, a cotton in there. Maybe, you know, different. If you, and then you wash it. If you wash it as many times as you like, it really, really, really chenilles up. Obviously, you don't get this. We're just talking, we're just showing that. That's your four, what you get for your fourteen ninety nine. Or oh, press the wrong button, says Stuart. Uh, having a lie-in watching. So, oh, because it's Sunday, isn't it? Uh, Susan says, Wednesday sounds like I'm doing no housework at all. It's also Becky Alexander Frost's birthday. Oh, I've got a bone to pick with Becky Alexander Frost. I wonder if she's watching. I shall wait till she tunes in before I say anything. So her birthday on Wednesday, is it? Right, we're going for a break now. There's loads for you. Elliot to tidy up today, isn't there? After, we'll have to look at it. Oh, no, it's there. It's there. We're making the best studly little notepad holder. Loads of the pattern have gone on their own already. There it is, there it is. So Janice will be here after the break. We've got a four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four different colourways and the pattern on its own. We'll see you in three from now. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, 
onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. In need of a crafting fix? There are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12pm to 1pm. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Right, um, uh, uh, Marilyn says, Morning, John, trying to watch you, but can't help looking out the window to watch all the frogs in the pond. Must be dozens of them, all very energetic. Isn't it a bit early for frogs? I was going to say, because, I mean, we used to do the frog spawn at school and everything, and then wait for frogs to come up. But, and then Bernadette, I've read out your message to Elliot. Um, Claire says, Morning, gorgeous. Sorry, late. What have I missed? We really have to watch on catch up. You missed all uh, fabulous demonstrations by myself. And the tractor, are you having trouble? Signing in because it keeps it's told me about 10 times that a tractor's just started watching. Anyway, uh, oh, Janice, are you going to reach that off the shelf? Yeah. <laughs> you got to get that off the shelf from behind okay. you. Uh, we're not, we won't look, we won't watch. We're, oh, that's, that's lovely, Janice. Oh, you can reach. She's got it. <laughs> now you have to take the stand as well. Kat <laughs> bought that specially. <laughs> she sent out an email. She bought that, the mannequin. Which side? That side or? That side, side, that side's perfect. That's Thank you. Because if you put it on this side, It'll be behind me in the box, you see. Anyway, Janice is here, as you can see. <laughs> Shall we see uh, the, what, what we've got available, right? What we've got available. So Janice has made it in this bundle. Oh, <laughs> I've just chopped it from the floor. This is the picture. That's, the pi that's what Janice has made. You'll see that one on the website, right? Now, on the website, it's only got that picture and then it's got a little circle saying it's available in different colourways. So this is my favourite colourway and Kat's favourite colourway, this one. And it's... Oh, sorry, that's my head. And you get half a metre of your wadding in there. That's really good for £24.99, isn't it? So half a metre of the yellow which Janice is going to buy later. Half a metre of the blue, which Janice is going to buy later. She didn't mention this one. Half a metre of the green. I did like that one, but I needed the yellow and blue. Oh, she needs the yellow and, and blue. And I've already bought it. What, for a project at home? Mm, I've oh. already bought it. Plus your instructions. You've already bought it. Oh, well done. <laughs> Plus your instructions. Plus your half a metre of your wadding. £24.99. And, and that will make you... This, Elliot. There you go. That'll make you that little notepad holder. Um, where's the yellow? Oh, is there a picture of the inside? Oh! Now, I need to tell you, you see, you know you get half a metre of wadding. You won't use any, you'll use this much. So you'll have that for your stash, just so you know, you have the rest of that for your stash. It's what? Yeah, it's 80-20 wadding, that, isn't it? Lovely wadding. Right, okay, so that's that one, that's that one. So then I've also, now what I need to do then is just swap this one. So the one Janice is demoing in is this one, which is roses, lilac and rose, plus your instructions there. So you get half a metre, half a metre, half a metre, instructions, half a metre, 24.99. They've called it Big Roses. Well, why wouldn't they? Okay, then I've got two other bundles to show you. 
I've got this one here, which has got like a little gorgeous, like sprig design. Uh, then I've got that. You see, I always get this wrong because I've got the, the deep, deep rows. And then I always think that's seeded cotton, but I don't think it is, is it? It's just vanilla, I think. Uh, £24.99 pence plus your heart. Oh, and that, and that. Oh, it is natural seeded cotton. It's not as the work. It's 100% seeded cotton. It's what I did my um, draping with a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so that's that for 24 99 And then last but not least, we've got the very... Um, so you've got bright raspberry. You've got lovely hearts. And then you've got like a lavender. Plus your pattern, plus your wadding. £24.99. Now you can have the pattern on its own. They are rapidly selling out, just so you know. And that's only Diddy. It's only Diddy, look. There's no pattern piece there. Janice will tell you about it in a minute. £4.50. It's the notebook pattern. Love from Beth. Now, I'm presuming you must have... If we give you half a metre of each fabric, not give you, if you buy half a metre of each fabric, there must be fabric left over as well, mustn't there? Yeah. Yeah. There are bits. Like what? Yeah. There are bits of fabric. There are, yeah. Yes, there's some fabric left over as well. Because yeah. you won't use half a metre no. of each, all the three fabrics. So that's your pattern. Now, have we got the wadding on its own as well today or not? No. Don't worry. I thought the wadding. I've got... Oh, I'll do this. I'll do this quickly. I've got friction pens. Then all the selling's done. Then we can just let chat with Janice because that's what you want. Oh, Attractor says no trouble here. Must be Facebook. Oh, yes. Attractor says about 20 times that you tried to sign in. Anyway. And I've also got the green. Oh, sorry, that's all wrong graphics. That's the green. <laughs> you only need them for the first bit. You only, you only need that. You might not even want one. It's just to, to mark out your quilting, that's all. Right, so I will keep you updated on stocks and everything like that. Oh, <coughs> pattern on its own is absolutely flying out, which I'm not surprised. So, Janice. Good morning. You're looking very lovely today. Thank you. I like that shade Normal. of hair. It's very subtle it is, for you, isn't it? isn't it? It is, isn't it? It is subtle. But it's nice. Yeah, I do like this colour. And you don't it's going normally, a bit long. Oh, yeah, but you also don't normally wear frocks like that. That's I know. Right. It's, it's nice. Usual, I'm, not, I'm not saying, but <laughs> it's, it's very unusual, unusual for you because normally you're in kind of a bit wacky, aren't bit, you? Well, look, I was looking <coughs> in the wardrobe this morning. I thought, do I wear that or do I wear that? But you see, I get really hot. Do I'm the hot aircon anyway. On? No, no, because then I'll go really cold. But, <laughs> <laughs> but it's like in the middle of the winter, I'm literally like. My mum used to be like that. She'd have all the windows and open and everything. I'm starting up the wall. Yeah. You know what I mean? But it is, I'm hot. Yeah. So hot stuff, Janice, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so I thought today I'm going to wear something cooler. And we need upliftness as well. You need what? We need to be uplifted with what's going on. And that on frock's uplifting you, is it? I thought that was yeah, your bra. Yeah, it makes you happy, doesn't it? <laughs> you you know. make me happy, Janice, yeah. though. That's and with oh. Alton Deck on TV again last night, I was so pleased because it's all happy and lovely and... Do you know my you friend know Matt produced me? that? Was it was oh, Saturday Night great. Takeaway yeah. on last night? Oh, yeah. I forgot to work. So, but it's it's just, you need that. And this yeah. show is all happy and all the colours are all nice and happy. And, oh. and, uh, Martin thinks I'm stupid, but there we go. That's my He's still with you, though, isn't I he? Like that's happiness, Martin, though. isn't he? <laughs> oh. But Martin. Martin's not had his job yet. Are you surprised no, that Martin's no, not had his job yet? No, He's still waiting. I haven't been called for so, mine yet. Uh, on the thing, on the calculator. Oh, hang on. On the calculator, it says tomorrow. I'm sorry if you have it tomorrow, but I haven't had a phone call you or anything. You haven't had a phone no. call. That might remind you first thing. Yeah. You never know. I'm off tomorrow as well. So. <laughs> Eight o'clock, you'll be up going for your job. <laughs> I don't mind. I'll go and do it. I'll... As long as you get it, that's the exactly. main thing. Right, so, so Janice, did you enjoy making this? Yes, I did. It was a bit <coughs> tricky. Oh, the right. Pattern, understanding the pattern. Oh, and look what I did, John. I what? Cut, I cut the pattern with the rotary cutter. What did you do that for? Well, I got the pattern underneath the fabric and I went, phew. You know, if you break it, you have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to sell a tie bit That's one less we can't we can't we so, can sell now. But no, it is a lovely little um pattern. Right. And it's got very clear instructions on how to do it. Brilliant. Can get a bit <coughs> confusing around the straps, so that's but what you're I'm gonna tried. do that today, aren't you? I'm gonna do it today and I still might get confused. Okay, <laughs> <the pattern>. <laughs> uh, so there's no, no pattern pieces as such. No, no, it's all cut squares. Cut squares, cut straps, and yeah. all the sizes and everything in there. Brilliant. And like you say, with the wadding, that's as much as you use right. on the wadding. So you don't use a lot, but the wadding is a lovely fabric, so it would be nice on other projects as well. Yeah, well, and yeah, because you're getting half a meter of it in the yeah. kit, aren't you? Yeah. And with the people who do these, you'd make probably more than one book as well. Perhaps well, yes, exactly. Make... Also, you make one out of this, but then make it out of your stash. Well, I thought it'd be nice as an iPad cover as well if you make it bigger. 
Oh so, yeah, you just have to make you know, it bigger for the moment. Yeah, there's an iPad cover, you can make it bigger. So you could do a lot of things with it, really, the fact once you start making it bigger. Yeah. And whatever. But anyway, so right. the first thing you do, you cut the fabrics out and you apply the wadding to the main fabric you Did you use. spray it with 505 or did you just... No, it? I just went for it, to be honest. Because it's such a small yeah, piece. Yeah, but you can, you can spray it, but I didn't. Yeah. I just used Wonder Clips like uh -huh. I do now. Wonder Clips, today's early bird. Yeah, and then what I did, I always start in the middle. Find the middle. Yeah. And I always start, because it's just quilting, and you can either do one inch, it says in the pattern, to do either one inch wide, you know, diagonal stripes, or one and a half, and I went for the one and a half. So I always find my middle, yeah, and then I go corner to corner, and I always start in the middle on a small piece like this. I never start here, or right. I that? always start in the middle because you get it more even. If you know what I'm saying, it's more even if you do it from the middle, and then you just measure out from the middle all the way. Okay, Using now so she's suggesting you just do a diagonal stripes. Yeah, you could do cross hatch. You could do whatever you want. Couldn't do whatever you, really? you like. It's all according to how you fancy yeah. doing pattern, but. I've just kept it to the pattern. No. So, and you've um, done that earlier. So, that so we, we did that earlier. Is it just so, the one layer of fabric and the wadding? There's yes. no lining involved yet? Or no, not, no, that's what I'm going to do now. So okay, then you brilliant. cut out your lining the same. Because what you do here, you cut, you cut the wadding out slightly bigger. Yeah. Once you attach it, you then trim it round. Okay. And then you lay the main piece face down on the lining. And then what you're going to do is machine around the sides. If you right. look, I have Is the lining the meant to be bigger? Well, no. What I've, I've done, I haven't, I've cut the wadding, but I haven't cut the lining. No, 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 no. that's so, fine. Just because um, people at home might be going, yeah, oh, is no, it meant to be? So you're going to cut the lining down to so the same I'm gonna, size. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. cut the lining down to the same size. Now, what you've got to do is leave a turning gap here. Yeah. So I'm going to leave quite a wide turning gap so I don't struggle with it later like I normally do. Okay, perfect. <laughs> so, and I'm just going to machine just... They're quarter inch seams. Quarter inch round the outside. Just a quarter inch round no the outside. No pins, just going for it. Just going for it. Okay. okay. Hello, says good morning. Lazy Sunday morning this morning. And said she had a vaccine on Wednesday. All good for you, Anne. Yeah. And all my friends in London have had it done. They're all younger than me. Claire, no, it's not new, this shirt. It's quite old, this one. You just haven't seen it for a while. So you're just going all the way around the outside. All the way around. Quarter inch seam allowance and leaving a turning gap on the short yeah. edges. Because the actual lines put the same size as the wadding, and then yeah. I put the wadding down, but I didn't put the lining down. Now, what machine are you using? 550 or 560? The 560. Right, I've got, I uh, just so you know, I've got a machine hour at 12 o'clock. I've got one 560 available, that's it. I've got one 560 left if you want that. One more. Oh, needle down, Janice. <laughs> and round to go again. Whoops. That's it. Just straightening it up. Okay. So you can do it again. So I'm just going round. Graphics of the big roses, which is the pat the, the which is the one that Janice is just using. How many of the pattern? Half the stock of the pattern's gone. Lo said they're doing the over 65s here, John, you're too young. Yeah, but all my friends in London are younger than me, and they've all had it. They all went either yesterday or the day before. So then what you do... Oh, I haven't gone round there. <laughs> oh, apparently like places like Central Birmingham have been prior prioritised, so London have been. But they're all younger than me, and not, none of them have got um, essential jobs. Well, they've got essential jobs, but not nursing and things like that. What's the matter, Janice? Nothing. Okay. I'm you made a funny cleaning. noise, that was all. That's it. Right, okay. So then Lovely to see Janice today. And of you, of course, John, you. from Kath. Thank you. So then what you do, you cut round to an eighth of an inch around. Oh, but do then, you? But then you leave the turning bit yes, open. Yes, yeah, because yeah, that'd be too so small. So I'm it? just going to now trim down to the eighth of an inch. Right. Whoops. So you did your scissors with that rather than your rotary cutter? Yeah, yeah, I did cut it out, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not using the rotary cutter today. Yeah. Just do the scissors. It's only a small piece, so. Janice, haven't you bought that that thing I had in the first hour? The fish yeah. does. You could use that, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. I, I did. I, I use that ever such a lot now. The fish um, It's a massive ruler, 
Oh, Derek yeah, says, good morning, John and Janice. A oh, lazy no. mom, the cat snuggling in here. Oh. Oh. Do you do, did you go to the Derek sing-along on a Monday night? On Facebook, Janice, he does no. a sing-along and it's him and a piano. Oh, and he really? sings all the, so song, all the songs from the show. From the shows. Oh, it's brilliant. Half past seven it is. I'm going to have to start doing that. Yeah, it's called the mom. Great Sing. The Borders Great Sing, isn't it, Derek? I'll get my mum on it as well. Cat, so cat watches it. Vix watches it. Oh, we'll have to have a look at that. Yeah? Definitely. Right, I'll get them, I'll, when I watch the show back, I'll be able to see that one, so. Yeah. So, so all I'm going to do is just cut that down the width of the, right. that's it. I have to, I always have to tidy up. <laughs> so then what you do, you do turn it right it side floor? out. I don't know. Then you turn it right side out. <coughs> I've got Olo watches Derek quicker. as well. <laughs> What's the matter, Jan? I got bitter. Attorney. Oh, but you said you got bitter. I was going to say, oh dear. No. And then what you do, you get a turning tool. Yeah. And you poke out the corners. Chopstick. Elliot uses a chopstick. Or chopstick or whatever you want to use. So I've got that. Turn out the corners. We had a um, we had a, a one the other day. It wasn't with you, Cat. Um, it's like a heron marker at one end and a pointy tool at the other end. No, it's about that long. It, it's on the website. Go on, look on the website. So do that. It's called The Borders Big Sing on Facebook. It's fantastic. You have to go along. He sings all the songs from the shows. I, I like the one. Um, he sings this song to warm up. And I can't remember it now, but it's brilliant. It's it says his warm up one, that one. Debbie says, hi, John. I had my vaccine on Wednesday. Lovely show. Kate says, good morning. Loving the demo from the dynamic duo. Lazy <laughs> Sunday morning, watching, watching and turning the heel on a sock. Brian oh. said, oh, having my first job this <laughs> afternoon the at Westwood Ho in North Devon. <laughs> Just 10 days short of my 70th. Oh, Diane. Oh. Oh, God love you. Right, so then what you do, we actually then <coughs> press. I'm just going to press it. Okay. Prim mini iron, back but, in stock. But I'm going to press it on the other side because I use marker pens. And I, I always oh, worry okay, yeah. in case, you know, I just worry in case the marking comes through on the, yeah. if you do it on the same side, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So if you do use a marking pen, I would recommend, if you're unsure, just to press it this side. So that is now your main base. Matt. But then what you do, turn in the, the quarter inch seam you turn it in but you don't machine it at this stage or oh hand you don't it, no you don't hand stitch it no you don't do anything like that what was that cat you just <laughs> turn it in oh the pattern on its the own same. coming in at the other side there you go oh and now i've gone and pressed on that seam oh but yeah if you look there now see where i've just pressed there that the marker pen is just yeah. Show, yeah shows a bit there okay so just be careful with that I should have done it from this side. So just make sure that you don't do what I've just done. <laughs> I, I love the way you say sure. 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 Is there an A in it in Birmingham then? <laughs> sure. There must be. must be. So all I'm going to do now is get my marker pen. Not my marker pen, my wonder clips. And just... Princess says, uh, are you all right, Jenny? She sounds a bit breathless. She just gets excited. She's always like I this. do. I, I, I don't know, today, I woke up this I'll morning. I'll say take a deep breath. This morning I felt a bit, I don't know, I'm, I don't feel too great today. Oh, don't you? No. No, but I haven't been out. There's nothing to worry about no, that I'm way. No, that's fine. I'm staying over um, here. But I didn't feel... Oh, yeah, we've done a temperature. Everyone gets their yeah, temperature done. And everyone sanitises as they come into the door. I everything, the machine's been sanitised, everything, so it's fine. No, I didn't feel too well today, so... But not to Was worry. it thought of seeing me, Janice? Was that what it was? It is, it is, it is. <laughs> so... And what you do have sometimes as well, really press this because yeah. even when I was doing that one, a bit of the yellow came over to the yeah, other I side. Yeah, I don't mind so that, you see. I quite like yeah, that scene as a glimpse nice of another to give it colour. a bit of an itch. So then what you do, on the opposite side of where we've just turned there, yeah. you turn in on the lining side one and a half inches because what you're doing, you're creating the flap. Right. Now, if I just show you this one yeah, yeah, yeah. we made earlier... What we're creating is that flap there because this book, it's not, it's, it is A5, 
because this is for an A5 pad, but because it's got the... Oh, uh, right. And that's right. all I've got at home was a short No, I tell you pad. what, we haven't got any of them, have we? You know so, the little notepads, we sell their A5, aren't they? They're A5, so this has got to go in there. It would slide there. in there, yeah. That would slide in, but that's stopping it. Okay. So I kept doing this with it. Yeah. So what we're creating at the moment is just this flap. Okay, brilliant. So you're turning one and a half inches or four centimetres to the lining side, okay? So we just go four centimetres, that's a bit big. I'm not doing guesswork today. Oh, are you not? No. <laughs> right, so that's your one and a half. And then you just put a little clip either side. You do one and a half this side as well. Oh, Geraldine. Janice sent you a big cuddle, hope it makes oh. you feel better. <laughs> Thank you. My princess says, oh no, sorry to hear that, hope you feel better soon, love yeah, watching just bit, you. Just a bit, you know. You always so, get overexcited though. I do get there, excited, but this morning, no, I did feel a bit... Oh. Yeah. So. You've been... No. Have you been burning the candle at both ends? No. Did you have a drink last night? No. Or no. just your tea yesterday? No, I didn't. I did, I did all right. But I've been working. I've, I've been homeless. I've worked seven days a week this week. So oh, well, there you go. I'm a bit worn out. Mm. But anyway, so, and then what you do, you machine now mm -hmm. an eighth of an inch in... Right. All the way around. Oh, okay. Taking in this. Right. So okay. you're going to close your gap as so you top stitch So you close around. the gap and it's only an eighth of an inch you go. Now, she did recommend on the pattern, uh, what they call walking foot. Right. But you don't need to. You can do it on a normal machine. What I'll do is tie off the ends. Yeah. You can do it on a normal machine with a bit of a push like yeah, you've yeah, seen yeah, yeah. there. So all we're doing is going round an eighth of an inch. It's your because you it's because you're with John, says Gerardine. He has that effect on me too. <laughs> oh, Glennis is off to church. Don't worry, Glennis. We we understand. See you later. <laughs> and they oh, you'll be watching it though. You won't be allowed in, will you? It'll be on it'll be on Zoom. This is it, my Aunt Dobby, she does all the church, she watches it all on the... Uh, yeah, yeah, because Kat's yeah. mum trained to be a vicar, and really? she must do hers online as well. All online now, isn't it? I've forgotten to bring in do, this. So, so do you have to, if you're in the congregation, do you mute, do you mute your microphone and just listen? I was going to say, no, or, or just sing in on the lounge on your own. Then why nobody can hear you, can they? Oh, come on. Have you watched this week? It's just gone. Oh, I won't say anything. Just I watched, um, you know, Mark Francis, he did a WI chat this week and they invited me along. It was obviously on, oh, really? on Zoom and everything, yeah. Right, so I'm just leaving a long end. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is just tie these ends off. Okay. One side, if I can get into this. Let me just get a pin. It did take me longer at home to do this. It did what? It did take me a long, long time to do this project. Why? Because of understanding the pattern. Oh, okay. So, oh, come on. I'm not going to swear. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, the one that Janice is doing is very, very popular. The bundle followed by autumn leaves, which is the, the, the one with seeded cotton in, is it? The autumn leaves. Very nice. That green fabric, though, is lovely. Just because I haven't bought it, so I'm doing a snow white dress, so I wouldn't use the green. Oh. But, um, yeah, but the green fabric's lovely. Oh, now Jan says there were people going into the church near me last week. Morning, John and Janice. Morning. Um, were they allowed in just to, to do personal to prayer, do you think? Or because or funeral maybe? Because you'll have fifty uh, you'll have fifteen people in for a funeral. I don't know. Was it twenty? Oh is it twenty? I don't know. I, th I thought it was a lot less than that. But only when we had Nana Kate's funeral in June there were only fifteen of us in there. Really? Including the vicar. Including including or the person the doing the ceremony. Uh you don't call it a ceremony, do you? What do you call it? Service. Service. Sermon. Service. Sermon. service. Yeah. So what you do now, yeah. you flip your book, you put your book in yeah. to the, into the flap. 
Yeah. Once you've done your machining and everything. And then what you do, you turn it. Oh, of course, because if you turned it without the book, you wouldn't have enough space for the thickness yeah. of the book, would you? So what you've got to do is turn it like that. Yeah. And then you just stick a couple of pins in. Right. Now, I'll do a wonder clip. Mind that iron on your quicker. elbow. I will. I'm, I'm aware of that one, so I thought that. So you just turn the flapping. Okay. Then we make the centre strap. Right. So we'll put that to one side for now, and you're getting to see it now, the way it's I, going I have to say, along. now that you've made that one up, I thought the one that you'd made up was going to be my favourite, but I'm loving the big roses with that kind of lilac -y. You've used the lilac-y one, not the pink one, haven't you, yeah, for the inside? Yeah, the lilac for the inside. Lovely. It looks really gorgeous, outside. doesn't it? Was, it? it was, which way, which way do I do this? Yes. And, uh, you know, with the, the lining or... But I went for the darker purple because of this. And yeah. then I thought the pink on the outside would look nice yeah. against that pale pink. But you can make your own so, mind but up. But you can you do could it make whatever this, way you, you could like. make it out of the two pinks and use the floral as your straps yeah. or whatever if you wanted to, so, couldn't you? Yeah. yeah, and that's... Now, the way she does the straps is you've got the two straps, you've got the big one that I've already made for later on. Right. The handles. But I was going to show you the one strap how to do it because it's exactly the same. Okay. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so, so what you do, first of all, you cut out your strap size, Fold it so the raw edges Could meet together. Could you just move together. to your right a little bit, Janice, for me? My no, right. You, just look, oh, oh right. I've gone too far over. Right. There you go. So, do I get rid of this? I don't know. You might be... Uh, then again, you might see... I think you'll see okay with, with this here. So... Right, Janice, take a deep uh, breath. Oh, okay. I'm you okay. sure? Yes, yeah. So, raw edges together. I'm just together. concerned for you, that's just all. Just in case I go... No, <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> Elliot's very weak. I don't know if he could lift you. Oh no, that came out wrong. <laughs> so what you do, you do raw edges together, yeah. short edges together, sorry, and the raw edges. So you're folding it again, yeah, right sides together, and then we're going to machine down a quarter of an inch down either side of the strap. Okay, so one end's a fold and one end's open. Yeah. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. So. Okay, so Maureen says most services online don't use Zoom, John. Oh, hang on. Most services online don't use Zoom. Catholic churches are allowed live masses on a Sunday with small congregations with all the COVID rules in place. Oh, thank you, Maureen. Yeah, and there are church services taking place where I live. I think they limit the numbers, no, social distancing and no singing. And then Sue has said, I don't know what this means. Looking very fly this morning, Janice. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> fly. Flowery, short for flowery, I Yeah, suppose. I think so. <laughs> So then what you do, once you've done this... Whoops. You trim the seams down just again. OK, just to neaten it, the yeah. it's off, really. So just keep trimming them down to get rid of some of the bulk as well, I suppose. That's it. And this is where your turning tool comes in. Yeah. I nearly caught it then with the scissors. OK. Kat says she'd be using her pinking shears. You don't have to use pinking shears, Kat, if you don't want to, because you can. it's a straight edge and you can just yeah, you turn can. it through. Yeah, so, it can be inside. So then get your turning tool, which, oh, God I sends. know, they're brilliant. We haven't got them in stock at the moment, but we Absolute will have. Absolute godsend these yeah. are. I love them. The years we've done, get the Oh, clip. don't. And do you remember when we made you at the same quarter, we made you demonstrate that thin wire one? Do you remember that? And you did it brilliantly. And I was like, oh, this won't work, this won't work, this won't work. I've never got it to and work. It but this one's fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? So, turn your Too quick right for the side camera, even to catch that one. <laughs> do you want me to go back? Oh, she says, hang on. Shall I go back and do it again? No. Bless Janice. She always worries about getting it finished on there. Yes, she does, though. You're right. And then Sue <laughs> said, showing your age. Fly is slang for cool. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> this is fly, down with the kids. Well, it's like, it's like that word sick, you think? It's, it's sick, and yeah. I'm like... <laughs> I've seen it all now. <laughs> right, now, the other thing I always do... Yeah. If I haven't got time to open it from the end, because what we've got to do is have these straps really, really neat. So, all I normally do is just do a little iron. Yeah. Just to... Open it out like that, just in case you haven't got a turn tool now. So then 
I actually then open it out like that. Right. So I press down, press down anywhere, then bring it together because the seam's open, and then I press down again. Right. And that's how I do this, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. If not, I can do the trick where you do the ne needle, hand needle, where you pull the Oh, yes, 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 yes. So again, with the other side, just do that. Open your eyes again and press it down. Now, I must admit, I've got a steamer at home, and mm -hmm. I, I do love my steamer because it gets rid of the creases there. <laughs> like, you know. So, so if, if you get a little crease, just get a little bit of water and just yeah. go. Pss, pss, pss. And is, the iron, is, the iron, is the iron hot enough? Uh, or is there no water in it? Maybe no, there's not. no water no. in it. I don't think so. But not to worry. Right, and then what you do then, you fold in the end of the raw edges again a quarter. Yeah of an inch and you just bring it fold them together you don't need to stitch at this stage yeah fold it inwards yeah inwards quarter of an inch and really give it a good press uh -huh. again and that's what i've done there okay right so then you get your book get your book and what you're going to do, you're going to fold in the where you've folded in the raw edges. You're going to fold it in an inch. Right. So you fold it in an inch, and that's making your middle loop. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. That's making your middle loop there. So if I just get my tape measure again, just measure an inch, just to make sure. Just go, got to go a bit bigger, just an inch there. And then what you're going to do is just do a tiny stitch, just down. Oh, is it that, no, it's that side, yeah. Just do a tiny stitch down, just to hold it in yeah, place. Yeah, so, so the, the tiny machine. stitch down, you're, you're catching That's the loop, but you're also closing. You're catching the loop and you're just closing. Closing where you turned it through. Yeah, where you turned it through, okay. So just do that. Just make sure it's each. You've got to make sure on the sizes as well because of the pens to go through. Yeah. Because if you have it too small, they won't You have to get through. a skinny pen. I know. Well, I had a pencil on mine. Uh-huh. So. That's an inch. Right. If you want that's the pattern it. on its own, there are just a handful left. It's just a lovely little make, isn't it? Yeah. So all I'm doing... Both sides is just doing a forward and back stitch. I always have trouble forwards and backing. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. So that will just hold that in place. Mm -hmm. I think you're thinking I'm going to burn my hands, don't you? I do think you're leaning across the iron, yeah. A bit too much. Safety first, don't do what I'm doing. Oh, hang on. So you're, you're not sewing all the way across. You're only no, sewing the ends. Sewing. Yeah, because what you're going to do when you attach it, you're going to machine it down anyway. Right, right. okay. Okay. Yeah. So that's what we're doing there. Woo! That's very try nice. Let's just come undone. Do you want me to recap on bundles while yeah. you're re-threading your machine? Well, okay, so the first one that Janice made it out of was the blue and yellow and green one. So what you get, you get the pattern, you get half a metre of each fabric, and you get your half a metre of your wadding. $24.99. Gorgeous, Kyle's Keller. Now, I do still like this one, but I also love the one that Janice is making the, um, the demonstration of. So that's $24.99. So the one that Janice done is called Big Flowers, Big Roses, sorry. This is the most popular one, just so you know. Lovely colour way, says that <laughs> Elliot. Then we have autumn leaves. Autumn leaves. Do you want one? Oh, an interesting fact about the Birmingham accent. <laughs> the least likely one to get you a job or a partner. That's what, I, that, that's what Elliot's saying. That's not me saying that. That's not nice. Final bundle. <laughs> Is this one? 
And you get the lavender, the hearts, and the raspberry. Make them. And they also say it's the friendliest accent. I think West Yorkshire's friendly accent. Yeah, Twenty-four ninety-nine. Right, Janice, back to you. So then, what you do? You go get your book. Yes. And then you take from the where you've got your fold. You go in. And you place this just a quarter of an inch from it. Okay? Right. Lower than the lower than it. Yeah. Throw it oh, the, I see. You can see it. I can see it from the overhead, yeah. From there. And then what you're going to do is go all the way around to the back. Like so. Janice, it's a lovely make, but a fiddly make to demo on air. You're doing great, <laughs> says Kath. <laughs> That's why I probably haven't slipped. So, yeah, because this is why I needed to do these handles. Because yeah, 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 it's fine. It is fiddly, and it was best for us to do this yeah. bit rather than the quilting. Yeah. So, yeah, so you do the quarter of an inch, and you want it central. So, again, tape measure. Tape measure. So that we measure it from... End to end. So that's three and a half inches. That's three and a quarter. So let me just move it over slightly. And of course, you want to make sure it's straight as well. Yeah. Okay. Still three and a half. Just trying to take it. I'll get there. Yeah, yeah, don't <laughs> worry. That's it. Three and a half. Three and a half, that's it. So then you put your pin in. Right. Okay. So pop your pin in and pop your pin in. And this is where you're going to machine it down. You with me? Yeah. The rest of it. So that's just to hold it in place. Okay. And what you've got to make sure is that the loop is face down as well and not face up where you can see yeah. the stitching. Yeah. So then what you do, you open it out, take your book out, and then you want to machine that straight. The whole the whole thing? Yeah. Right. So, but what you do, you ma only machine, you have to leave your loop open. Here. Yes. So you, you're machining about, well, it's, you're machining down, well, seven, Five eighths of an inch. Yeah. So, and just make sure that it's straight again. So just do your three and a half, which that is. Do that. Okay. Oh, I've got two pins. Go away. Two pins and three and a half. Because I just keep measuring it just to make sure it's straight. Yeah. And three and a half. Yeah. Oh, and there's enough. Damn it. So, there's my magnet, John. What, what? Me magnet. Me magnet. <laughs> and then we're going to machine down right. the whole triangle. Area. You're going right, to so you're go. Going to, show that again, Janice. You're, you're going to go ra down from leaving your loop open. Yeah. Down, round, and all the way. Mm. Creating a rectangle. Yeah. And a quarter of an inch or an eighth of an inch in. Yeah. Size nine, I think this is why she said also use a walking foot because you're getting quite a few. I mean, your, your machine will be fine, but quite a few layers you're going through now, aren't you? Yeah. I, d I did use a walking foot on it at home, but then oh, yeah. I did do a bit without the walking foot to see whether... It could be done. It yeah, because be not done. everyone's got one, have yeah. they? I've got two walking foots. I like the walking foot. Walking foots. Yeah. Why do you need two walking feet? I don't know. I bought one then bought another one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just... So all I'm doing is machining it down. Around, just an eighth of an inch. Oh, I don't need to take the pins out. I'm talking to myself again. I noticed, I'll just let you do it. <laughs> I always talk to myself. Do you do it when you're at home working? Yeah, yeah I do as well. Yeah. And I talk to him inanimate objects, like with my car, <laughs> with my car so I go, come on, you can do this, it's only a little hill. And then you think, if anybody was looking there. <laughs> Start with this, I go, come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, so all I'm going is up to the stitching and back again and off. That's it. Okay. Now what I also did, mm -hmm. um, 
because the lining on this one was yellow. Yeah. When I did it, I actually, I, uh, the first one I did, I did it with the yellow bobbin right. and the blue top. Yeah. And the yellow came through to the top and it didn't work. So oh, did I it? I did it all yeah. and did it again. The thing is, when your book's happy. in there, you're not going to see that no. stitching, so you're better off doing it the But top I do thing. like it, so that that would be yellow. Yeah. But it's, and then I thought, well, hang on, for the viewer, that would be good, so they can see yeah, 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 the yeah. stitching. But do also, you know it's a good mean? tip to say it might come through, so if it you don't want to see through. the lining colour yeah. coming through. And that happened to me, so I undid it all and did it again. <laughs> so once you've done that, take your pins out. That is then... Oh, sorry, I haven't threaded these off. And loves your watch. The scissors on your watch. You've had that for a while now, haven't you? What? The watch. Oh, yeah. I've had this watch nearly 30 years. <gasps> mm -hmm. Well, it looks old. It's older than Elliot. It doesn't look it, does it? <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's old, isn't it? You see, I'm not joking. It's just like 30 years old. Oh. So, right. yeah. So that's it. So now you've done that, you're ready to do the outer strap. Right. So it, it is looking nice now, isn't it? So, so with the centre strap. What okay, do do? I think Kate. Uh, uh, hang on, do I mean Kate Sue? No, oh, hang on. That's the point of having a pet. Then technically, technically, you're not talking to yourself exactly. <laughs> talking to an, talking to inanimate objects is fine. You only need to hear it if you hear a reply. <laughs> uh, then Kate says, <laughs> "Do we think one. the pattern would be easy to enlarge for A4 or an iPad?" You've already said that. You? you can just measure your iPad, yeah, can't you? And enlarge iPad, the measurements to the it. Yeah. Claire swears to sewing machine. And and thinks you're amazing, Janice. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought that with the iPad because I I I'm a real techie because of work and everything. So I've got laptops and yeah, iPads yeah. and stuff like a that. Matching set. Yeah, and I don't really use a notebook, not anymore. No. I've got Excel spreadsheets where I keep all my info. Oh, don't. Yeah, you see, if you haven't written it down, <laughs> um, the thing is, you get half meter of each fabric, so you can still enlarge it and do it with these fabrics yeah, as well. Yeah, you can yeah. make it as big or as small as you like. So then with the outer strap, yeah. you do exactly the same, okay? Yeah. Exactly the, exactly the same. Right, so you pin it, want to clip it. Clip together. it, early bird special. I'm surprised there's any yeah. of those left at that price. Oh, I love wonder clips, I'll be on it, must be that mine. Right, so, so what you're going to do now, do the centre strap. Yeah. Exactly the same. Machine it all the way around. Is it the same size? Fold it in. No, this is bigger because this Length is the longer, as well. but is it this the same width? Longer. Sorry, I meant yeah. to say. Yeah, it is the same width. Isn't yeah, it? perfect. So, yeah. So, all you do fold the edge in again, yeah. but this time you're going to fold in each end one and a half inches or four centimeters. Right. So, so the first thing to do, and again, you're not going to machine this. Right. You're just going to. Clip press it. it. Okay. Yeah. Press these in. One and a half inches. One and a half inches. Again. All right. So, so if you remember, one and a half inches for this bit, one inch for the front bit. Margaret says, okay. talk to yourself, it's okay, Janice. It's when you start to say pardon, because you, you haven't heard yourself that you should be worried. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so then you get your book. Now, this is where I got, I, I went and put it on the Move to your side. right a little bit, Janice, for yeah. me, my lovely. See, when I did Perfect. it the first time, I put this down onto that side. Yeah. And it does, it does go on, it doesn't go on that side where it's stitched. But when you look at the pattern, it looks like... At first, that's what she's doing. Right. And she's putting pins in here. Right. But she's not. What's she doing? She's putting pins in this outer layer here. Oh, and yes, because you want to go all the way through. And then I you? was going through all the widths. Yeah, but that and means you won't be able to open <laughs> it. <laughs> so I was doing all crazy stuff like that, and I thought, I don't believe this. And this is why I was saying it's best for me to do this bit on here to show yeah, you. So yeah, yeah, that's this fine. This has got to be, because she sh she gets you to do pinning this, and then you're thinking, oh, I can pin through all the thicknesses. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You have to go through. You're only going through that, the top layer. The top layer there. Yeah. So what, and what you're doing, why it's one and a half inches is because 
and it's an eighth of an inch of pass as well there. Right, okay. Right, it explains it all in the pattern. Mm -hmm. What you have to do is machine that onto the outer layer. Right. Okay. Not the inner layer. Right. So you do that. Pin that down there. Yeah. Then you might as well stick that pin back in. That, that's just to hold it in place. Yeah, yeah. Whereas when you're looking at it and she's doing it on here, you're thinking, oh, well, how's she going to work? Yeah. <laughs> and then what you do, you do your strap round. And again, it's all explained how to do your handle. So for the air again, you go one side, fold that towards you. Yeah. And then fold that away from you. Right. Okay. So again, you go more or less an inch over, eighth of an inch apart, and you put your pins in there. But only through the top layer. But only through the top layer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Crazy Somebody Lorraine says, morning, Janice. Think, Somebody might look at the pattern and think, that's simple, Janice. You've got it wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. But well, no, no, because if you read it like that, but Crazy Who Lorraine said hello. Morning. Crazy Lorraine. Oh, Crazy Lorraine. Hello. <laughs> um, no, no, no. But but if you thought that, then and you're you've been sewing for a hundred years, yeah. haven't you? Until to me. So if you got kind of thought that, then it's thought, good to point it out. Yeah, it is better for me to point it out. And this is why I really wanted to do this part. Yeah, yeah, that's then fine. Then what you do, you put your marker markers in there. Now, if you look at the pattern there, I'm doing exactly what she does. Okay, just pull oh, okay. the top layers. Can you see that? I can see that we can't see the pattern, so just pull the pattern down for Let us over the top of your bag. There, there you go. go. I have that at the side, then yeah. you can see, okay? Brilliant. And then she puts the markers in there. Oh, because you're only sewing a certain amount, aren't you? It's not yeah. like the old one, the other one where you sew all the way around. And she put the markers here. Now, it was next bit that threw me as well, because on the next bit, she says, after this, and I couldn't understand what she was saying. Oh, my God, she was um, watching. Hold on a second, where was it? Figure six. It was, look at the mo notebook sideways on from the handle, side pin in place with two more marker pins yeah. in the centre of the side of the book. See figure six. And it was that. And I was unsure what that meant. So I just did it my way. So <laughs> I was unsure what she meant there. Yeah. Because then all we're going to do again is just open it up and sew it down right okay. but you only sew to your markers so you only sew into the markers here because I, I don't know whether with that she goes that bit further um so i only do it to these markers myself but i still measured it and made sure i sewed to exactly the same mm -hmm. which i think was three inches yeah so that's what i'm going to do is just do it like that brilliant and then that's it and it's done more or less so she's a lovely little make <coughs> so i'm just going to go Mark the pin at three inches. See, I took it down to there, yeah. three inches. But I'm going to just double check that's what I did. Because <laughs> what I liked is the way my, my book cover hung with the handle. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I just want to check what I did. The, um, uh, also, this would be lovely if your child yeah, has got to that finished. age where he, she starts writing a diary. Do you know what I mean? And yes. it'd be nice, because we don't want one with a lock on it or anything like that, but it'd be nice to keep a diary in their bedroom and yeah. when they write their diary at night time or something um, and just keep it in there. It's like, it and then when you there. could keep it for every year and to get the same diary every year or something like that. But I just think it'd be cute for something like that as well. Oh, it's, it's a lovely, it's like I was saying to, was it yourself or Debbie when I was saying about when we were kids at school? I don't know what it was. We covered our you no, know, we covered our books in wallpaper. Oh yeah, wallpaper or brown paper if you're posh. But yeah, yeah. old wallpaper. Yeah, and wood chip. Yeah, <laughs> of all things. Wood chip. Uh, wood chip. <laughs> yeah, but. Yeah. No, we had to cover all our books. We covered all our books. Beginning of term, you got all your books. You had to take them all home and sit. And, oh, yeah, it was a nightmare. Do you remember that? Yeah. So I thought this would, this would be lovely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this would be a bit more posh. Yes. <laughs> but well, that's I what could, we did, we? used to have to they? cover the textbooks so that we the, the, <laughs> the year, the following year, had nice new textbooks and everything. But you had to cover all your exercise books and everything. But I don't know why. And then so, some children 
I mean, if you remember the, the kids' magazines we got. Oh, hang on. Use those, yeah? We used to use them as yeah. well, the pin-ups. Yeah. The, the stars like Donny Osmond and David Essex. and David Cassidy. <laughs> David, David Cassidy. No, New Seekers was mine. My bedroom walls were covered in the New Seekers. Oh, were they? Yeah. I'd like to teach the world to sing. That's the one. <laughs> so all I'm doing is just machining round the square. It is a lovely make, though, isn't it? Yeah. What does uh, Beth say? Because she normally says what, what um, skill level beginner. It beginner, is beginner. Yeah. <clears throat> So I don't stand a chance, really. Do no. <laughs> now no, you've read that off. You've put, right, oh, you've put me to shame. Yeah. Right. <laughs> no. You could almost make it out of fat quarters, couldn't you? Yeah. You could. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, in your bundle, you've got at least enough to make two. Yeah. Definitely. Denim would be nice, yeah, and then stick, sew some patches to it. That would be nice, Denim. Cousin Susan used to love covering her school books in different wallpapers. <laughs> oh, look, Derek was a New Seekers fan too. Oh, was he? Yeah. <laughs> New Seekers. Now, it was what's name's birthday the other day? Who? Lynn. Lynn Paul. Lynn Paul's birthday was the other day, and they said oh, she was 70, late 70s or something. Really? Like that. Yeah, she looks good, though, doesn't she? she saw, I saw her in Blood Brothers a few years later. Oh, I love Blood Brothers. Oh, Catherine so kept a diary when she was 14 and discovered and stopped when I discovered... <laughs> Boys. Hang on. I kept a diary when I was 14 and stopped when I discovered... That doesn't make sense, Catherine. <laughs> I went to Holland with Lynn Paul of the New Seekers. We got drunk every night, says Lo. <laughs> Don't spoil that. Oh, hang on. Sorry. Mum read it. Predictive text. So I kept a diary when I was 14 and stopped when my mum read it, says Catherine. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> right then, so now, where's my pencil? Where's your pen here? It's here, it'll be out by your thing. So then, I better take the ink off my pencil. Yeah. So then, all you do then, thread that through each of the holes. And Bob's your uncle. My pen's a bit small. And you'll never be without a pen either, because it's your faster. Oh, look, that's really cute. They're lovely, Isn't aren't it? they? Might Gorgeous. Few threads right, just, hanging, just, but just turn it towards it you. The other way around and lay it flat on the table and Elliot can get a nice picture of it. There you go. Oh, oh, no. Bring it back. <laughs> bring it back. Yeah, bring there you go. She's back. feeling better now. That Zedman's out the way. Bring it back. Bring it back to me. There you go. Oh, no, you see. I love it. That rose one is beautiful, isn't it? Ta -da! Well done, Janice. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> uh, right, go and have a sit down. I and will. we'll see you in an hour's time when we're doing a wall hanging. Now, did you say you found the original? Oh, I thought you said you found the original. Oh, oh never mind. Uh, we've got uh, uh, Janice is doing a wall hanging, which is like what the what's the weather like today, like a calendar. So I'll show you a picture of it. And um, oh, Bex okay. Reed made the first one, and I said she'll have taken it home because we can't find it anywhere. She doesn't know where it is either. It yeah, she says that it's on. It'll be in a local nursery school. Anyway, anyway, thank you, Janice. See you in an hour's okay, time. See you in an Bundles hour. going back to bundles. The one that Janice just worked with is this called Big Roses. So you get half of each of the roses, half of each of the lilac, half of each of the pink, plus your pattern, plus your half a metre of your wadding. Hang on, we'll just wait for Elliot to come upstairs. Or oh, is it broken? I'll move the stuff. Rather move the camera, I'll move the stuff. $24.99. Oh, he's... $24.99 is that one. Okay. Then we also have the one that Janice made it out of, which is, it's called what? Turquoise dandelions. They've forgotten about the yellow. So you get the pattern, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, 24.99. That's the one Janice used to, one that she made at home for us. Then we have autumn leaves, which is half metre of seeded cotton, half a metre of like um, rose, dark rose, and then half a metre of that lovely sprig pattern. They've got burgundy in them there, plus your instructions, 24.99. They're what colours, Elliot? Moving on. And then we've got this one here. I don't know what they called this one. Oh, pastel hearts. So you get lavender, you get like kind of, that's what? 
that's a mixer called fuchsia. And there's your hearts, plus your half meter of that, plus your pattern, $24.99. Okay, the pattern on its own, there were a couple left. That's it. That's it. We had loads of those. We had absolutely loads of those. In the next hour, brand new fabrics. Are they brand new to the channel or brand new to me? Some of them brand new to the channel. So I've got Premier Fabrics coming up next. I'm going to do them on this desk so that we don't have to worry about sort of saying, Janice, if you don't need your sewing machine in the break, you can leave it there. It's all fine. And just come in whenever you fancy because you can set up then for your next hour. I'll see you back here. It, I was going to say in an hour's time. No, I've got to come back in three minutes. Janice will be back in an hour with brand new fabrics. Don't go anywhere. Hi, my name is Yvonne McAtamney. My passion is patchwork and quilting, and it's also my privilege to own Village Fabrics Patchwork and Quilting Shop in Wallingford. Um, my sewing life began whenever, before probably I, before I went to school, certainly, and probably before I could uh, read. Uh, my mum was always a sewer, and with two big sisters, we would, every weekend, there would be a new dress made, and I was allowed to do certain pieces and as I got older I started to make some dresses. My top tip is you don't have to be able to draw to design. The place that I always start is with a children's colouring in book. They have good bold outlines and then you can trace that and adapt to your heart's content. Anybody can do it. My claim to fame is that last year, when things were good, we had Jenny Doan from Missouri Star Quilt Company come and do a meet and greet at my shop in Wallingford. We had a really enjoyable day and good fun was had by all. So I hope I'll be popping into your living rooms on a regular basis as we go forward with Sewing Street here. We are intending to bring you some absolute beginner kits as well as some of our more intricate designs. See you soon. different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. You can either shop on our websites sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street call 0800 001 4433 and for Yarn Lane call 0800 4700 600. 
And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Got some brand new fabrics now. Some of these you will have seen before. Some of them are very limited. Some of them are liberté. Um, and they're just rather gorgeous. Now, there's nothing bright. And you know, like that, the cat, cat loves to do her rainbow bundles and this bundle and that. We've got lovely, this is all calm and serene and gorgeous. Um, they're available. This is available in a bundle, but it's also available at half meters. All of these on my left here are all available by the half meter. Oh, repeating the delays on delivery message. Yes, of course. I'm ever so sorry. Uh, we are so busy. We have been so completely and utterly busy that the warehouse, uh, who are working overnight, right? They, they, the warehouse is working 24 hours, but because of COVID and everything like that, and because we're so, we, as a company, we're really, really strict about, as you've seen, we won't even pass things to each other without um, wipes and all that sort of thing we i clean the tables in between breaks we all have our own job so when janice finishes i spray the tables down i clean the tables bin all of that cat comes out in a mask and puts the stuff on that table i bring the stuff onto this table so it's the same in the warehouse right so in the warehouse they obviously can't normally you'd be reaching over each other well like in the supermarket we so off we're so used to reaching over and we can't do that in the warehouse. So basically, they have fallen slightly hard, but we have got people working 24, not people, teams working 24 hours to try and catch up and do uh, and get up to it. So we, we, we hope to be back on speed, back to speed very, very soon. But obviously, um, we are saying between 10 and 14 working days at the moment for delivery. And I know that's disappointing and I know it might put you off, but I just want, it's better you know, isn't it? It's better that you know these things when you're ordering them rather than, Oh, yeah, some people message saying they've had their store. I think it depends what's in your bundle. So I think if you buy something like m maybe the Beldre vacuum that we had earlier, because they could just pick that up, put it in, and that one's gone. But if they've got to cut fabric or if they've got to put a bundle together and things like that, that's when it might be causing issues. So we apologise profusely. Hmm? Oh, you'll get it. You will get it. You will get it. But you know what I mean. Right, look at this gorgeous bundle here. That's only where Kat put it. Oh, don't, because Hannah, when Hannah puts things out, she puts them all the way, wrong way up, and I have to sit here turning them all the right way around. Anyway, look, let's move the glasses, move the book. You get four metres of fabric. There are eight different fabrics there. You get half a metre of each one. You won't have seen these hexes before, and hexes are always very popular. Now, I've seen a couple of these before. But we've seen them in projects, not seen them in a bundle or available on their own. £53.99 will get you eight metres, uh, four metres, sorry, four metres of fabric, eight different fabrics, um, half a metre of each. We are going to do them all individually, but I just want you to see them as a collection to start with, because how beautiful would they look, right? At the moment, yes, at the moment, let me just muddle them about, because if you think as, as a project... I know, no, no, but Kat put them out. No, no, normally I'd put the hexes together and the roses together. But I just want you to look, see if you did mix and match them into a... Oh, look, there you go. Do you know what I mean? They all work beautifully together, even though big flowers, posy flowers and hexes, but they work really, really beautifully together. It's the colourways, isn't it, that carry on through. It almost feels like there should be another navy in there, doesn't it? Maybe, 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 maybe. Hang on, there you go. There you go. There you go. There it is. That's it, that's it, that's it. You'd have to do what? Oh, yes, sorry. Oh, Elliot, yeah. But hang on, where would that one go? That one. Oh, yes, sorry. Oh, so I have. So it would have to go. Oh, now it's going to be a... No, because then those two are too close. There you go. No, 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 I've done it, done it, done it, done it, done it. There you go. There you go. No, that doesn't work. Right, okay, so let's put the posies together. Let's put the hexes together. And we'll start 
Oh, we're going to start with the hexes. Start with the hexes, yeah, that's fine. But I love them. These are very liberty, essence of liberty, these, aren't they? Right, so, hexes. Oh, excuse me, little hiccup there. I only got this in the two colourways, in the pastel and the blue. Let me just move those out of the way. There you go. There you go. And I'll move them across like that. There you go. We get there in the end. Right, which one are we doing first? Pink one first. Right, now, what you're getting here is you're getting half a metre. I'll show you what half a metre looks like. Now, 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 now. This is different to a bundle. The bundles are already cut. So if you buy two bundles, you will get two half metres of everything. This is your chance to buy the fabric, buy the half metre, um, but you can have three metres, four metres, two metres, one and a half metres, three and a half metres, whatever you want. It comes in that size. Right, it's cute, isn't it? Uh, now, Hexi fabric is always incredibly, incredibly popular. This is Take Me Home to the... Take Me Home to the what? No, I've got PLA. Look, 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 I'll show you now. Take Me Home to the place you were born. I was born, West Virginia. And it's called Country Roads, a collection of lovely goodies by Poppy Cotton. Right, and now I would say this was more of a poplin than a quilting weight, but gorgeous for frocks, gorgeous for blouses. You can quilt with this. Well, don't get me wrong, you can quilt with this. Six ninety nine for half a metre. What are you trying to say, Kat? She's saying use as a what? Cut a hexy out of it in the middle of your quilt. Maybe. Um, now I need to war I need to say something to you. It might just be my screen here, but it looks very washed out. How did it look on your telly at home, right? It's not washed out at all. The colours are beautiful. It looked a bit kind of insipid and grey on my telly in here. Might just be my cheap monitor in here, do you know what I mean? But it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colourway. Right, okay. It also comes in the blue. Oh, no. Right, the, on the website, the blue image is wrong. What, what is it in the website? Oh. Right. Take me to the place I belong, country roads, West Virginia. Mountain mama, take me home. This is what, if you order SCYH81, this is what you'll get. S-C-Y-H-81, is that what I said? Yeah. So if you order that number, this is what you'll get. I'm sorry, on the website. Oh, a lovely summer skirt, says Kath, yeah. Paint palette, says um, Elliot. But use it for your notebook cover, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? It's a magic eye picture. If little Paul was here now, he'd be going crazy. He's been on a lot of walks. We'll see Paul on Wednesday. Paul's in on Wednesday. Remember, I'm on the late shift on Wednesday, so I'm 12 till 4 on Wednesday. Vix is doing 8 till 12, and I'm doing 12 till 4. Right, colourway. I'm um, sorry, colourway. Pattern in the big flowers. Three different colourways. It's funny how I've got all the others in three colourways. I've only got the hexes in two, isn't it? Maybe they'll arrive tomorrow. Start with the navy background. I forget, I forget every time what it's like working for count. For, with, I mean, with. So hang on, it goes that way up. So what's this one called then? Pink Blossom, that's called. Well, I think the daisy is the more pro prominent, and, that, and that's a rose anyway. Anyway, that's fine. Um, it's like a black opal, isn't it? When you have a dark background, it makes the colours pop. That's nice. I see a summer dress in that one. Not for me, obviously. Face coverings would be nice. Yeah, because we're going to be wearing them for a while still, even though we're the vaccine. I, oh, I went to check. I still haven't been invited in for my vaccine yet. Next colourway. Cat is only ten past. <laughs> Okay. Right, then which, oh now, this one's got a pink background, one's got a white background. Pink background first. There you go. 
That's lovely. I love the cornflower. Oh, actually, do you know what? The flowers are actually exactly the same colour as they are on the navy blue background. It's just the background they've changed because sometimes they change the colour of the flowers, don't they? Not on this one. But the dominant one on this one is the dog rose, exactly. That's a dog rose, isn't it, that one? It's like a, it's like, um, a wild, wild rose, like a wild rose. I'm having a rose garden put in my garden. Um, Dan, I cleared out half of a big bush and Danny's cleared the root of it out and everything, Danny the gardener. And then he's, he's coming, uh, I've got to buy some trellis, so we've got um, ones that grow up the garage wall and then I'm going to have a big rose garden. Now that I've found the perfect hay fever pill, I can have roses in my garden. Oh, it's brilliant. Oh, I've got, I've got the most uh, brilliant hay fever, hay fever pill and nose spray. First time in 60 years I've not sneezed. Right, uh, this one's called uh, Pink and Blue Flowers on White. Right, now these are a different colour. These are a different colour to the flowers on the other two. They're a much, much softer pink. But that blue is the same and the daisy... Is, oh, no. The daisy, this is more pastel all over. Yeah, the blue's the same. Nice. Then we've got the sprig pattern in three different colourways. Now, I had definitely have seen this fabric before in a bundle. White background, pink background, navy background. This is the white. White. It's lovely. The quality of the cotton is fabulous. Little summer dress. Little girl, anything for your bedroom. Uh, fussy cutting, do you mean, Elliot? Fancy cutting, what's that? $6.99. Easy. Then I've got it with the pale pink background. Now this pink is like grandma pink. This is what this, what this one reminds me of. Oh, oh no, you see, I would, you see, cats seeing a uh, toaster cover and things like that for the kitchen, I'm seeing more delicate than that. Yeah, six ninety nine. Elliot is thinking of making a shower curtain out of this. Well, no, 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 well, you do, you can make cotton shower curtains, but you have to have your plastic one on the inside. If you go to posh hotels, they've got cotton ones. Okay, and then this is the navy back. Oh, this is the last one. Sorry, the picture's wrong on the website for this. I do apologise. Oh! There's a mistake. All the others have been six ninety nine. This one's five ninety nine. Take advantage. Buy it now. It will get changed. They will change it back. But for today, if you order it now, and I'm not adding undue pressure whatsoever, but that it should be six ninety nine, obviously. This is what you're getting: five ninety nine for half a meter. If you want that, I'm thinking a wrap dress, beautiful dark blue in the background. You see, I wouldn't call this navy, I'd call this ink. Because there's definitely black in the ink. Oh yeah, there's black there, yeah, 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 there's black mixed in with it. Anyway, I'm moving on, but that is a pound cheaper per half metre. Right, if you do want the whole, but now that'd be interesting, is the Mega Bundle a pound cheaper then, than it should be? Uh, four metres, uh, you get eight different fabrics, so I'll just go through this again. You get the hexes, half metre in the pink, half metre in the blue. You get the big flowers in the navy, in the pink, and in the white. Oh, sorry, let me bring that to shot. Then you get the sprig in the white, the pink, and the blue. All of that for $53.99. Eight metres of fabric. Yeah, you are getting a pound off that as well, because they've only charged you $5.99 for that one as well. You'd think when they were making the bundle... That you'd have noticed that one was a bit, one was not right. The what, sorry? 
OK, apparently Kat made the bundle. I'm saying they. I was about to blame the office. Kat made that bundle. So you can thank Kat for your pound off because she didn't notice. But well, surely when you were adding it up, you were going like 6 99 6 99 6 99 6 99 5 Oh, OK, the computer adds it up for you, so you don't have to do it. Right, so where would you like to go next then? Now, these are not bundles. We've just got these piled in the different designs, uh, the different makes. So this, Liberty, Adventures in the Sky. Oh, they haven't got my favourite one here now. They must have sold out. So there's, it's not a bundle. I'm just showing you them all together. Okay, this one's called Cosmos, I seem to remember, isn't it? Cosmic Scatter. Again, this is quilting weight. 100% cotton. I don't think there's any metallic in it, is there? Well, that's a star. It's completely different to that shape there. Oh, square and the diamond. It's just a diamond on its a square on its side, isn't it? Why? It's pretty though, isn't it? The shadows. Where are the shadows? Where's Cliff? Where's Cliff? Cliff Richard in the shadows. Cliff Richard used to sing with Hank Marvin. It, the group was called the Shadows. So it's Cliff Richards and the Shadows. You're saying I love the Shadows. I can't see Cliff. When the when will the embellishment machine be back in stock? Dawn, we have no... Is it Elna? Is it an Elna one? All, all the machines. It's not our fault and it's not Elna's fault actually either. Nothing's shipping into the country. Nothing is shipping into the country. And we can only sell you what Elna have in their warehouse in Stockport. So until it arrives with Elna and they give us stock, we can't sell anything, go, oh, it could be here in six months' time when the, when the, sh when the container arrives or anything. So we have no, we actually, they have no idea. It's not us being secretive. It's not being us being secretive whatsoever. Nobody knows. And we just have to wait for things to land, and then we can bring them to air. I'm ever so sorry. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's Janome, yeah. It's the Elna and Janome, same, same company. So I'm sorry about that. I can't tell you about that. Okay, so that's that one. Then, uh, which one next? They're all blue, but yeah, there we go. The other blue one, she said. Here we go. Now, this looks like a Tweedy print, doesn't it? This is called Saturn's Path. Obviously, jumps about like a French skipping path, isn't it? Like a basket weave, yeah. But it's called Saturn's Path, not Saturn's Basket. Path, yeah. This is Liberty, 100% cotton, 44 inches wide, machine washable. Lovely as a mixer, this one. Well, we're talking quilting. Uh, it could be lovely if you're going to do an alternate hem. Oh, actually, do you know um, Adele yesterday did a frock that was two different colours? You could use this as one. Uh, well, you might not want children's icons on the other party dress, but. There you go. That's flying into baskets. Basket weave into the baskets. As in with no clouds, yeah. Right, um, cat seeing a mobile for a children's bedroom, storage boxes for a kiddie's bedroom, curtains for a kiddie's bedroom. Or a little shirt. Or a pair of shorts, like little Paul, he loves a shirt and short combo when he goes on holiday, doesn't he? If you've got a bike, a boat, there's all sorts on here. It's not all to do with um, space looks. You've got an arrow, sun, bicycle, wand, drum, earth. What did you just see? Spoons. Oh, balloon. There's a, that's a spaceship. That's a rocket. There's a Sputnik. Is that called a Sputnik? 
Oh, hang on, I'm in a different place to you. Sputnik, there, I'm here. Flying saucer. What's a Sputnik? Oh, I said something wrong now. What's a Sputnik? Oh, sorry, sorry. It's, what do we call that then? A UFO? Fly, shooting star. What's that one called? Mars or Saturn? Rainbow. Robot. What did you do? Oh, car. Little dungarees, princess says. Yeah, lovely. Be beautiful. Pillows for a children's bedroom. Or you could make a frock out of it because it'll give you something to talk about it, that when we are allowed to go to parties. No, not a NASA part. Mind you, haven't they just landed on Mars? No, no, they have. They have this week. And, and, and it came in at like hundreds and hundreds of miles an hour and they had seven minutes to slow it down so it didn't just go like that. We haven't done it. It's not us. No, no, not us. I meant mankind as a whole. Clouds next, which is like the icons but with clouds. Oh, no, it's not icons. It, well, it has got icons, but they're all spaceships. But outside, isn't it? Lightning, you mean? No, you don't get them. No, no, you don't necessarily get them together. Lightning bolts. Thank you. It was last week. I've seen the pictures. It's been in the news. You obviously don't watch... Um, I've seen the pictures of it because they look. What they're looking for is they're looking for where water was because some of the um, um, cells that they found are identical to the cells that were found on our planet. So they're thinking if they they've created life on this planet, then it must have created life on Mars. Yeah, yeah. 18th February. It's only about the 20th today, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 21st. Oh, of course, it's Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. There's not a person in it. It's only a, it's only a thing. It's taken however many years to get there. And finally, from this collection, there was something else really interesting. Oh, no, there was another one that went up there a few years ago, a British one, and it landed, and then it had to open like this, like a flower, to get yeah, like a lotus flower, to send messages home. And the last petal that was the one that sent the messages back didn't open. So it's there, it's up there, they found it, they've seen it, and it's there with like the, the last petal shut like that. Thank you, Diane, thank you. They didn't believe me, they didn't believe me in there. Oh, sorry about the crease on here. Sorry, that's not, doesn't look, that's not a look, that's just creased. You got light blue and silver stars on white. Not twinkling, it won't light up in the dark and it won't sparkle, it's not glitter, it's just grey and blue. It's rather lovely. Nice blouse, and well I'm thinking a grown woman's blouse in this one, not a child's blouse. A teddy bear. It's too thick for a suit lining, Elliot. Seven forty nine for half a metre. Plique project, yeah, you could do a plique project of like stars and mm, sc uh, space. I couldn't think of the word. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't think of the word then. I think I've peaked. It's a Sunday morning. I shouldn't be here. Oh, Anne, what is that? it's come to you, has it? You mean the, the Beth Studley one? Oh, hang on, a while ago, you introduced a fat quarter storage bag. Will they ever be back in stock? I really need one or two. It's beautiful here in Anglesey. Oh, Anne, how lovely. I don't know, we don't know what the weather's like here, I'm afraid. And someone's parked their car across the front door, so we can't even open the front door. Oh, is that yours, Elliot? We will try and get them back in, but we don't know when. Uh, and there's no, because we're in this building all on our own now, there's no buying team, not they'd be in on a Sunday, but there's no buying team to run through and see if we've, if we've got them or not, or we can get them or not. 
We had the Beth Sudley fat, Sudley fat quarter. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Oh, no, I know, I know exactly. I did it. I know. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. Oh, across another message. John, the fabric used for the parachute landing was made in the UK. Oh, there you go. We did have something to do. It must have been a big blooming parachute. If you think how fast it was going, I, I listened to it on the radio and um, not the landing, but somebody explaining what was going to happen. And because it's gone like it was traveling like a bullet out of a gun. Right. So it's traveling that fast. And then in the last seven minutes, they had to slow it from that to a nice cruise. So it landed nicely. On. And so it could have all gone. They could have waited all this time and it could have all gone to rack and ruin. But it was fine. Oh, into the fabric was made in Tiverton in Devon. Oh, right. Right. Now, this is Riley Blake again. This is not a bundle. These are all by the half meter from the idyllic range by Riley Blake. So hang on, let me show you. So there's two grey, two yellow, two ready pink. Right, okay, shall we do the, all the ones with writing first, then we'll do the ones with frames. <gasps> These are nice, so we'll start with the red one. Be easier for me to read with my eyes. It's called Raspberry. Hi you. Hi you, vintage love, antique friend. Oh, that's something nice. Like an old love, an old friend. Um, twine, rose lemonade. This is like gardens in the summer, isn't it? I'm not sure what that is. That is that roses. Oh yeah, look roses. You hang them up to dry. I'm not sure what that is. A hairy worm. Is it a centipede? Let me put my glasses on. Where are my glasses? Oh there. Oh, it's like a herb. Sorry. Say that again. Oh, lots of people coming in and tell us the parachute was made in the UK. Uh, John, I should have casted you onto my shop TV screen while I'm tidying up. Yes, Jean, you should. You won't get any tidying up done otherwise. Jean's got a shop up in Durham. And what she's doing, she's doing click and collect because it's a, it's a fabric shop and sewing shop and she's famous for doing classes, sewing classes, and you get lovely cake when you go and have, but obviously it's all been shut down for a year now, but she has been doing click and collect. But now what she's doing, she's prepping the shop for when we can eventually open non-essential shops again. So there's lots and lots of space so people can, oh, you can just watch the fabric while I'm telling you all this. That's fine. Too late now, I'll finish my story. Where was Elliot then? La La Land. Yellow next. Anyway, so Jean, hope you will. Oh, Jean, maybe, oh, Jean. Oh. For my birthday, Jean made these Jean made these um um hankies for me with my embroidered and in, in my embroidered initials on them. And there were five and there was one for each day of the working week <coughs> and they were all in different colours. Which one next do you say? Yellow or grey? <coughs> yellow. Oh, I've only got two meters this left. Only got two meters. It's a lovely yellow. Would you call it? Custard. That's what colour I think it is. Oh, hang on. I believe the Rover was built in the UK by British Airways. They nicknamed it Bruno as it was going to Mars. Oh, I didn't know that either. They don't tell you that on the news, do they? <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. Oh. oh, Teddy says the hairy worm, Johnny's Rosemary. How are you, Teddy? I've not heard from you in a while. Uh, can you see this? Can you see this close enough? In real life, it's the most gorgeous. I think of um, posh custard or ambrosia custard. It's Sunday, isn't it? What am I going to have for my lunch today? Oh, it's Kat's last Sunday at home before she moves away. And also, at quite oh, now, hang on then, Kat. This, this opens a, a query now, because you've been living with your mum and dad. Liam's been living with his mum and dad, so they've, you've had two separate bundles and you haven't seen Liam, right? Now you're going to be both in the same house together. Aren't you supposed to isolate for 10 days? No, no, now you're going into a house together. You're maybe you're supposed to isolate for 10 days, because you weren't living with each other, you haven't seen each other. Okay, Han I'll tell Hannah. 
Then the grey is lovely. It's that really, really, you know how designer, you know, that designer grey, that all designers are using that lovely. I don't know how I describe the grey. It's, um, it's what? No, it's not Heather Grey. It's like a silver grey, but there's something posh about it. Designer, steel, steely, that's it. Gorgeous. Steely grey, yeah. Sorry, so how much this was left, sorry? Oh, we're all right with that one. It was just the yellow one that we're very short of. I think it's because I've done a bundle or um, a kit with the yellow one in, and I think that's why the yellow one's so... Oh, Teddy's fine. He's still decluttering his sewing room. His sewing room is like the size of this studio, right? It was a tip. And we've got all shelves. He's got a whole wall of books. A whole wall completely of books, sewing books. Right, these come in three different colourways. Pink, white and yellow. Pink one first. Oh, dear. These are love, like little frames on their side. On point frames, aren't they, these? Or tiles. What's it called, this one, then? Of squares. On pink. Bag making, bag lining. I think it's a really cute, a border of a quilt would be lovely in that, wouldn't it? No, but cover again, if you've already bought the pattern on its own. It's like, a, you know, the, um, like the pink ice cream. I'm going back years now. I don't mean all these weird and wonderful things they do now, but strawberry. Back, back in the day when there was strawberry ice cream. That would be the colour of, in a block, you used to buy it from the supermarket in a block and buy flat wafers and make a sandwich out of it. Not a sandwich. What you do is you get, you're able to get square flat wafers, right? You put one down you, and then the block was the same size as the wafer. So you cut a block of ice cream and then put another, and, and, and you eat it like that. Oh, it was delicious. No cone. No, no, no. The, what the cone's made out of, you had it in two flat bits like that. Well, the cone was invented, but that was just a different way of eating. You couldn't put the block of ice cream in a cone because it was a solid square, wasn't it? <gasps> oh, that's, oh, that's taken me back now to the ice cream man in RAF Mamby in Lincolnshire. Yellow next. I like this yellow. Beautiful colour, this one. You've got the coloured flowers in there, the red and the blue in there. Again, you can't see it very well from there. Oh, can a spider... I'm sorry, princess. Oh, no. What, is your cat just eating a spider? No, the acid will have got it by now. Oh, Crazy Lane says you can still get those wafers. Oh, Lo was posh. She had oyster cups for ice cream. Yeah, but didn't you need to have the squidgy ice cream for that, not the blocks? And Jeannie says, I love Jean Shop and the cakes the ladies make are fantastic. And then Nikki's jumped in saying, no, the stomach acid will have killed it. Oh, let's not talk about killing spiders on a Sunday morning. Now, I do know, now this I do know about a spider, right? If you, if there's one in your shower or one in your toilet, don't feel worried about squirting water on it, sending it down the drain or flushing the toilet because it goes like that. It casts an air bubble around it, goes all the way down the drain. Then when it gets to the bottom, it comes out again and it's fine. So you don't have, don't use hot water, obviously. But, um, yeah. Oh, you got, oh, you did get special. You're right, you're right, you're right. So Kate said, oh, no, who said that? Uh, yeah, Kate said, you got. You did, you got square cones, didn't you? And it sat in the top. You're so right. Oh, oh that's taking me back now. You're obviously old as well, Kate. Then we've got the white one. This is very, very fresh, this one. You could say it was blue. Oh, no, it's definitely not cream. I'd say it was definitely white. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yeah, it's definitely white with ditzy flowers. That's a lolly. Magnum lolly. Other makes are available. It's one of our best sellers in the pop-in shop, Magnum ice creams in the summer. 
had a message from Anne. Uh, oh, John, you've taken me back to my childhood. I'm a similar age to you, 40-ish. Thank you. I remember having raspberry ripple. Oh, raspberry ripple was amazing in the ice cream in wafers. There you go. Raspberry ripple. Oh. It's funny. It's white. It's vanilla ice cream, but then it's got like, it's like they've injected raspberry veins into it. Oh, it's delicious. Oh, Arctic roll. That was a Sunday tea treat. That, or oh, a Saturday night, we used to have, um, we always had the same thing for our tea on a Saturday night. We always had salad, egg salad, and then a trifle afterwards. And we sit, and we were allowed to sit at the dining table, but watch the Cliff Richard show with the Olivia Newton-John singing the songs for the um, Eurovision Song Contest and things like that. And the, the, it was a fresh cream trifle, and we used to make it in a diamond-shaped um, cut glass um, bowl. I know. I know it's all coming back now. Oh, book next. Alistair McDonald, quilting on the move. Now, this is all about your EPP and your hand stitching. Some of these fabrics are gorgeous in some of his projects. $7.99, this book. And there he is. That's a very old picture of him. Very, very old picture of him, that one. I was keeping it under the graphics, so I didn't want him to be embarrassed. Oh, no, ever so well, yeah. He's on my show, actually, in a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. Not here, not here on the John Scott Show. Right, so we've got hobby bag, pin cushion, Christmas table runner. Not keen on a table runner. Men's scarf, coat hanger and scent bag, hot water bottle case, baby play mat, sparkly evening purse, peg bag, tea cosy, egg warmers, makeup bag, tablet case, tote bag, book cover, Christmas baubles, storage baskets, pyramid doorstop, and tweed tablet set. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 18 projects for how much? For 7 99 Not even 50p. 44 pence a project. Blackcurrant Mivy ice lollies were the best, says Susan. Or weren't they? Pollard's ice cream makers in Newton Abbott used to make banana and chocolate roll. Oh, well, I'm sorry. Oh, banana and chocolate Oh, no. We used to have Arctic roll with tinned mandarins. Oh, no, we had it with tin peaches. On a Sunday treat, I'm older than you, John, says Kath. Can't wait to see Alistair on, uh, can't wait to see Alistair on the show. will be a laugh. He's already ringing me already about it. I can't tell you. Right, Neapolitan ice cream. Who's that from? Josie, Josie. Jose, Josie. Um, Neapolitan. Now, do you know what? I, the first film I would see in the cinema that I can remember was Chitty Chitty Bang Bang with my dad. And as a special treat, I had not the one with wafers, but I had Neapolitan in a tub. And I'd never seen the like before. We are going back to the early, early fixtures. Anyway, let's carry on with this. This is the introduction. Materials and tools. There we go, basic techniques. And all your techniques there. Right, here we go, projects, hobby bag, hexes. You see, how would that look, look lovely in all those fabrics we've just done there? Then you've got your organiser pin cushion, tea cosy and egg warmers. Now, what was I watching yesterday? Oh, Sally Lindsay doing, going to posh day overs. They were having tea out of very posh china pot yesterday. Makeup bag. Now, they're not their um, parallelograms, look, or diamonds, aren't they, those? You can make a lovely um, tumbling block out of those. Men's scarf. Table runner, we'll, we'll just skim over that one. Peg bag. You can't beat a lovely peg bag. Again. Tablet case, coat hanger and scent bag, hot water bottle case, book cover. Oh, I like that. Oh, look, look, another book cover. No, but you know what you should do? No, 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 no. What you should do is use Alistair's EPP technique to make the fabric and then make the Beth Studley one from your EPP fabric that you've made. Be nice. Tote bag. Uh, baby play mat. I think that teddy bear looks a little bit sinister. It took me years to realise it was a teddy bear. Sparkly evening purse, Elliot, for when you start going out again. Christmas baubles. Lovely. Storage baskets. We talk about storage baskets all the time, don't we? That lovely Liberty fabric. Look, imagine those in Liberty for your kiddies' bedroom. Put your Lego in one. 
That's nice, pyramid doorstop. I'm short of one doorstop for my house. Maybe I should make that one. Tweed tablet rest. I think that's it now. It's all right, thanks. Seven ninety nine. Oh, I had a message from Pam. Uh, morning, John. I'm watching the show from the old RAF Mamby. No! Old RAF Mamby this morning, enjoying every minute of it. <gasps> Pam! Uh, we used to live in Gauntlet Road. Whereabouts are you? 15 Gauntlet Road we used to live in, in RAF Mamby. And I went to Grimbleby County Primary. So you walk, you came out of the thing and you walked all the way along past the airfield over there. And the amount of times we'd walk to school and the aeroplanes would be turning. You could almost touch their wings. They were that close as you walked along. And then there were cows in this field. And we used to sit on the fence and stroke the cat. Oh, happy days. And uh, summer days went on forever, didn't they? We didn't have to wear a coat in summer in those days. Another Pam has messaged him. Oh. Vianetta. Oh, no, that's too posh. Vianetta, that was later, wasn't it? Like, Vianetta was like late 70s, wasn't it? By then I was into other things. Oh, going on to Emily Rose fabric next. Um, Jeannie says, we've got a guy that does all the old ice creams. We just message him and ask for a slot and they advertise on social media when they'll be in your area. Oh, very nice, Jeannie. And Charlotte said, good idea. I wonder what that was. Oh, the, to, to the genie, to the genie, yeah. Right, okay, which fabric am I doing now? Right, yeah. Not a bundle, available by the half metre. Oh, now these are very vintage. Is this called latte, do you think, this one? Latte and cream. Oh, they called it brown. That's nice. Yeah, but have they called it brown or have we called it brown? Yeah. Oh, beige, not brown. So we're starting with the beige, are we? Okay, which one first? Stripey. I like this. This is lovely. This is very vintage, isn't it? Why is it only four ninety nine for half a metre? It's good quality cotton. It's from Stoffer Fabrics or Stoff Fabrics. Hundred percent cotton. E. That shouldn't be four ninety nine. I'm sure. Got a lovely lace effect on it. It's not in white though, it's in kind of ecru. I don't know how you'd make a doily out of that. Oh, the texture looks there's no texture on it, just so you know at home, but the texture on it looks like a doily. Um yeah. Antimacassars. Oh these make lovely antimacassars, wouldn't they? Oh, do you not know what an antimacassar is? Is your sofa not... Well, have you bought a new sofa for your house? Right, you need to make antimacassars, right? Antimacassar, what it is, it starts off because macassar used to be like the equivalent of brill cream, right? So you put it in your hair. So when you sit on a chair like that, the back of your head would rub the back of the chair. So you'd make an antimacassar to go over the top. But then you'd also... My sofa came with these with... with uh, exactly the same shape as your arm of your sofa, but you just slide them over so you can wash those because your greasy hands, and back in the day, they you used to be able to get them, slide them on, they'd have an ashtray fitted into them. <laughs> no, we don't smoke, don't know how to smoke anymore, do we? So, oh, he doesn't. Oh, I didn't know that. Li not cat, it's right, cat doesn't smoke, but uh, would be fiance, because you're not engaged yet, are you? They've only been together for 12 years. And they're only, how old are you? 20 what? 25. Ah, And you're not bored of him yet. You see, I grow out of people too quickly, obviously. Hang on, you and Amy haven't been together that long. Oh, I go off people quite quickly. Oh, yeah, Elliot. <laughs> I've known you way too long now. It's called what? Oh, in vintage. Emily in vintage rose. 4 99 half a metre. Oh, blimey. Amy and Elliot have been together for six years. It's about time she made an honest man of you, isn't it? Oh, it's all subject. I'll oh, shut up. 4 99 I can't imagine Amy's the kind who wants to get married anyway, because she's a free spirit, isn't she? Whereas Elliot's so stuck in the mud, you know what I mean? It's actually the other way around, apparently. Got it in the white now. Oh, Elliot, come on, that's what we need when we come to lockdown. A nice wedding. 
And don't worry, I, I'm not expensive because I don't drink. Got the stripe in the white. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm not invited apparently. That's fine. I was right. It's good to know now. It's good to know now. Uh, don't just invite me to the evening, do, because I find that very offensive. I wouldn't want to come anyway. I'm singing at your wedding. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, your mum and dad. No, because your, your dad will be crying at your wedding for the whole thing. Your mum will be drunk. Oh, but will your mum be allowed to marry you? Oh, she's at Chandler's funeral. She doesn't do weddings. Four ninety nine. We hasn't asked you to marry him yet. So instead of a wet ring, a wet, an engagement ring, she's getting a new sofa for the new house. Four ninety nine. Well, yeah, he's not buying the house for you, though, is he? That'd be different if he bought the house for you. Oh, she's no kept. He doesn't earn enough, does he? Oh, I don't know what he. Anyway, they're moving in on Friday. There you go. This is pretty. So, well, hang on. So, you're moving in on Friday, but you're working Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, I'm getting confused now. But this week before, like this week, yeah. She's been on since Thursday. And then you're off now, are you then? Oh, right, okay. Oh, of course, hang on. So I'm thinking I'm working Wednesday. Yeah, but Wednesday's the double day, isn't it? That's right. Anyway, this is pretty. This is very vintage, isn't it? Well, you see, I, I can't see little girls' dresses. I'm seeing sort of more something more vintagey, like an Eisteddfod dress or something like that. Emily in white vintage rose fabric, that one. Oh, look at the time again. I'll get a move on. I've still got some more to show you. Graceful Gardens. Right, now, um, I, had, I had the whole... This is all that's left, basically, of Graceful Gardens. We had such a big sellout show the other day. We might have a bit more of it in the warehouse, but it's not a bundle. It's not a bundle. Cat has deactivated. That's the wrong word. Dismantled the bundles so you can have these by the half metre. Oh, I love this fabric. I th the whole collection is beautiful, but I love, love, love this fabric. Six ninety nine for half a meter. Half a meter. This is a metallic print, as in it's not, it's not won't scratch off or anything like that. It's a a, a die. No, there's no texture to it whatsoever. It's just flat cotton with dye. It's been screen printed, I think. Gorgeous. Now, what are they peonies, would you say? It's definitely not a cabbage. If anything, it's a cauliflower. It's got a middle bit, isn't it? Oh, I had a lovely cauliflower yesterday. <laughs> I got it from Tesco's. Oh, that if you, get a, if you get a good cauliflower, I roasted it, roasted cauliflower. I did roasted cauliflower, broccoli, sweet potato, and then did toasted pine nuts and feta cheese and made a little tomato um, relishy sort of thing to go with it. It was delicious. Oh, sorry, I folded that away. Sorry. Dragonflies now. These are lovely because they're metallic, but they've got like a shadow to them as well. Oh, Elliot, it's not a relish. It's more of a chopped tomato and onion with oil and vinegar and things like that. It's like a salsa, but without the heat to it. Oh, it's delicious. And then we've got, what do they call this? Oh, they call it sparkle, do they? I thought that was just you. There we go. Graceful Garden. I don't think they've called it sparkle somehow. I don't think they've got any. We, now, we all had all of these in different colours, and they were so popular. In fact, I had the, end, the last of it last week, didn't I? Um, yeah, because yeah, Sunday's the beginning of a week, isn't it? Yeah, last week. Sunday's the first day of the week, isn't it? Saturday's the last day of the week. Right, now, I've only got two fabrics left. Oh, no, sorry, you want me to do the other book? Sorry, first. Do the book first, then two fabrics. So this one's called So Cute Quilts and Gifts. 
Now, have I even seen this before? I don't know if I have. Right, hang on. There's a mistake here. It's only been on air once before. Look how much it's meant to be. $14.99. So why are we selling it at $12.99? By Atsuko Matsuyama. Um, I don't think I've seen this before. Let me look. It's cute. Oh, look, it's so cute. Did you? Was it me? No, if it was Rebecca Reed, I would have been on. Oh, she was guesting. Oh, yeah, I wasn't working here when she was just a guest, though, was I? That's what I'm guess. So well, that's what I'm saying. It wouldn't have been me and Rebecca Reed because she'd have been presenting. Hannah's why it doesn't present. Anyway, let's get on. Right, I've never seen this book before. We just had it confirmed. Oh, now we had, the other day, we had the pom-pom, not the pom-pom maker, the yo-yo maker. The yo-yo maker the other day. Blooming yo-yo pouch. Hmm? Would look gorgeous. All the fabrics I've shown you today, yeah? Dancing flower purse. Oh, this is so cute, isn't it? How many projects are in here, does it say? 30 projects. Less than 50p again for a project. Is that right? Yeah. I'm going to flick through the last bits. There's so much. Very simple. Oh, ah, that's a phone case. Did you find your phone, cat? Nice. Oh, that, right, okay, now I'm confused. That's why I got confused earlier. I thought you said Rebecca Reed said her wall hanging was in the toilet, not that your phone was in the toilet. Look, aren't they lovely? Strawberry blossom wreath. They are for all year round, the hot reeds. Strawberry corsage. <laughs> Fresh and sweet framed mini quilts. There's loads of little projects in here, aren't there? This is so cute. Great corsages. Oh, wow. Look at that. Empty room, but a nice quilt. It's more than minimalistic, that. You're not a minimalist, are you, Elliot? With all the... Look, isn't that gorgeous? So where'd you put all the quilts you've made? Vintage panel play mat. Oh, look, so I've even got letters on it and everything. Oh, we've got something like that coming up in the next hour, actually. Oh, and there's all your patterns and your templates at the back. That's gorgeous. That is so lovely for £12.99, isn't it? Lorraine saying, what a lovely book. Isn't it, Lorraine? It's fabulous. I've not seen that before. Right, I've got two fabrics left to do. Is she here already? I can't hear her. Oh, yes, I can see her now. Yes. She's. Oh, these are nice. I've seen these. No, I've seen these. I've done these before. The black one first. This is lovely. Look. Or Aboriginal art, I'd say. Yeah. Origins, it's called. I launched this, I think. Look at the colours in that. You can buy it by the half metre, 749, remember? Might be a little, uh, um, a little bit busy for a shirt. I think. Oh, in the black, in the black here, yeah, the, 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 the ombre, the spots are ombre, yeah. These stay the same. I oh, know, beautiful, isn't it? Final fabric of this ad. Janice is up in a minute with the um, wall hanging. Origins on cream. This is, no, and I had this when I launched it. There's no way this is cream. This is like 
And I mean, I mean in this in a loving and a loving way. But you know when you've got a favourite bra and you put it in the wrong wash and it goes that grey colour. That's what colour grey this is. Old bra grey, but it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful. I thought you hadn't watched it this week. Oh, honestly. So you know who's gone then. What um, what did Bimini wear on the catwalk this week then? Oh, an amoeba. Amoeba. No, bacteria. Bacteria, that's right. So we're talking about Ru Ru. No, RuPaul's Drag Race. We're talking about RuPaul's Drag Race. Seven pounds and 49 pence. But I won't say anything else in case you haven't watched it yet. And I don't want to spoil. So I don't, don't want to do a spoiler. Right, don't go anywhere. What's the weather wall hanging coming up next? We've got a picture of it, please, Elliot. Yep. In a minute. That's the bound version. We're doing a slightly different version today. That's the one Rebecca Reed made last time. And all of those squares have little squares that stick on it with Velcro. One touch fastening. I don't know if it's Velcro. One touch fastening. Hook and, hook and, what do you call it? Hook and loop tape, one touch fastening is what we call it at Pavers. Uh, anyway, I will see you with Janice. She'll be, she's perked up a bit now, I think. She's feeling a bit better now, Jan. No. I'll see you in three minutes. to see me back. <laughs> My baby piece of kiss with the sewing is the same with that. Hello, I'm Janice from Birmingham. I specialise in dressmaking. I used to run a children's shop and I love making children's clothes. My mother encouraged me to sew from an early age. When we were young, we did dressmaking in school. My claim to fame was the sewing quarter, but I'm now making also jumpsuits for the ladies and men of all shapes and sizes and it seems to be going for the festivals around the country. See you on the show. If you'd like to get in touch with us during our live show and send in any messages or any questions, then you can do it on studio at sewingstreet.com. Alternatively, you can message us on our official Facebook page. In need of a crafting fix, there are so many ways you can watch Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Sewing Street is live from 8am to 1pm every day on Freeview 72 and Sky 670. Alternatively, if you want to watch us on a tablet or on the move, you can tune in on our YouTube channel, the Sewing Street app, or the websites at www.sewingstreet.com and www.yarnlane.com. You can watch past shows on Sky 670 from 1pm every day, as well as our YouTube channel, the app, and our website. Yarn Lane is on from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. Visit our programme guide to find out when and what's on. So you never have to spend a minute without us. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433.
I've got a few of those machines left to go, don't forget. And uh, um, we haven't got it here, but I can talk to you about it in the next hour and guide you to the Juki. I've also got some Elna machines in the next hour, but if you're thinking of that beautiful Juki, when the ones we've gone have gone, we cannot get any more. Just so, oh, now, 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 what I have got to tell you is our warehouse is 10 to 14 days, I was telling you before, because of the backlog and everything. Juki machines and L machines aren't. They will come out within days from the Ju the one the Juki obviously come from Essex and the Elners come, and the Janomis come from Stockport. They're, they're not they're not in the ten to fourteen days working days thing. They are they will be there within de literally within single figure days. Anyway anyway anyway, have a look at the picture. Now this is one Rebecca. Re Shh. This is one that Rebecca Reed has made in the past. It was so popular. We've brought it back. We're doing a slightly different version of it today. But it, what it is, it's a, I'll show you on the panel. It's a wall hanging where you can teach, well, no, not even teaching. If, but you, so this is your finished wall hanging here. There you go. And then these are all the little markers that you put on so you, you learn days you can learn what the weather's like so down here you'll have your days your monday to sunday down here you'll have sunshine rainy snowy windy cloudy here you'll have autumn summer winter spring here you'll have january to december and there you have one two one two three four five six Hang on. No, 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 no. It goes to, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So you'll have one. Oh, I know. You've got a one and a two. So if you do double, for the, obviously if it's the day, the day of the month, isn't it? So you can do 31 or you can do 22 and things like that. I got a bit confused then. So all your numbers will be there. And then what you do is you put here for the day. So today would be Sunday, the 21st of February. We're in winter, and the weather is sunny, and we're in, well, you put, oh, hang on, yeah, you put the winter one there. So that's, so, but then you've got all the bits that you need there. So there you've got all your thingies, your seasons, your numbers. And you store them there, and then when you check, it's like changing your, your, you know the little calendars you used to, well, if you're as old as me, you used to flick them over to the next day or whatever. But, um, Yvonne, who does my feet, my podiatrist, she's got one in her office. She just twists the block over to the number and the day and everything like that. So it's got a fun version of that. So you get the panel. They've also put in, for some reason, a metre of... Now, is that really magenta? You see, that's the strangest magenta, isn't it? So you get a metre of your magenta. You also get your polyester craft wadding. And you also get... A, is that a metre? of your one touch fastening there you also or it's a hannah at hannah so cat calls it hook and loop tape or as janice calls it velcro but i said don't call it velcro all of that for 19.99 what is well no because at home learning they're too young to go to school if they're doing that yeah, well, they're all going back soon, any of the little ones, aren't they? What is the weather interaction wall chart kit panel fabric one metre? The panel, one metre of fabric. Oh, they've called it Velcro. <laughs> <laughs> There's me saying to Janice, now don't call it Velcro. Oh, um. There's me saying to Janice, don't call it Velcro because it might not be Velcro. And we have to cut to call it one touch. And someone's written Velcro in the graphics. Because I don't know if it is Velcro or not. But anyway, it's one touch fastening. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not, is it? Anyway, and you get your wadding as well. Now, I've also, so that's the bundle that Janice is going to be making today, right? We've also got a couple of panels that Janice has done in the past, right? So, so now what it is, this, oh, I don't know where to go first. This is what you can make. This is what you can make, right? Oh, except that's upside down. Oh, no. Yeah. So that's the panel, but but we got, now hang on. You get two panels for 23.99, don't, don't stress, don't stress. You get two panels, basically. One is your letters, like that. This is bright, so I've got it in pastel as well. One is your letters, right? 
Gorgeous, isn't it? You don't need to make a... Janice made a little um, lap quilt or, or baby uh, lay down thing. You could do these with whatever you want with these because we've also got the numbers. So you get both of these panels. So you get the letters and the numbers for $23.99. Oh, now. <laughs> did, you put the, did you put these bundles back together or did someone else do it? Because these pan look at the price, right? For two panels. And they're normally $19.99 or $14.99. The smaller one would be $14.99, but $19.99 and $14.99 each they are normally. Right. So that's that. And also I need to point out on the letters one, you also get a heart and you get the anthesan. Oh, it's down there. Now, if you want to see Janice making anything with these, 17th of January. It was me and you, wasn't it, Janice? 17th of January. Feels longer ago than that. It does. It does seem longer. Doesn't it? Um, so that was the, that's that. Now, that's, a, that's not the... <laughs> Remember last time we had these? We were doing, <laughs> we were, we were doing play fighting, anyway. So that's a dice made out of your number. But obviously, Janice has used some um, solids with hers as well. Okay, this is the brights, and we're very limited on that one. We've also got it in the pastels. $23.99. Same panels, but in the pastel shades. Oh. There you go, pastel range. Aren't they beautiful? I th now, normally, I'd go for brights, but I'm thinking the pastels are prettier in these. $23.99. So you get that one with the letters. And you get this one with the numbers. Just lovely, aren't they? They're great, aren't they? They won't accept them at the moment. Just seen so you know. it. Anyway, if you've got a little baby coming in the family, because we've all got one coming in our family yeah. soon, haven't we? Okay. Fix, not long for Fix, a month she's got now. Yeah, yeah, month, isn't it? She thinks she's going to be two weeks late and she thinks she's going to carry on working until the day she drops. <laughs> somehow thinks she might have to not do that. <laughs> and not there's anything wrong, not there's anything wrong, but I'm, I must be, I mean, it's bad enough carrying this around every day, so goodness knows what it's like <laughs> carrying a big baby. Around. These panels were incredibly popular, very popular. Uh, excuse me, no child's going to... Uh, uh, cat saying, instead of buying the kids chocolate, buy them one of these. I think you have to buy them chocolate and one of these, cat. But today we're doing that lovely panel with the... Um, what's it called? The What's the Weather Today panel. Janice. <laughs> <I love that>. <laughs> <laughs> the way you did that then. I know, when I saw this, I loved it. Yes. I thought, for the little ones. And then I thought, you could have it as well for like in the kitchen you know yeah oh yeah it doesn't kids, just have to be but, kiddies you know, like in the kitchen yeah. or if you've got an appointment yeah as well yeah you could do it, i think it'd be quite you know. nice i'm thinking you know how lots of people are getting she sheds well we're calling them she sheds but glamorous yeah. sheds now yeah. that they go to work oh, in yeah. or just to relax yeah. in or something like that it'd just be quite nice to have just up on nice. the wall because it's just playful just isn't lovely, it yeah. aren't they playful yeah. and adults can play with them yeah exactly, like kids can, exactly. So. but no i thought it was lovely so tackling it, and I saw all the little bits to cut out and go around, and I thought, ah. Oh, so where Elliot's me. saying, where's the one Janice has made? I oh, I've just took it apart. <laughs> 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 no, no, we no, have to say, I, we didn't, Janice wasn't sent one to make, Janice hasn't, this is not Janice's one to make, we only sent <laughs> one because we were told we had Rebecca Reeds here somewhere, but even Rebecca Reed. well no, we weren't told until Janice told us this morning, but um, we <laughs> rang Rebecca know. Reed and she's got no idea the weather one, so that's why we show a picture of it, so there's no finished one, but you, you'll get the idea as Janice is, is working on it now. Yeah. So what do you do? So, so this panel... The is, is this, with this hook and loop tape. It's, it sticks to everything. <laughs> <laughs> As you're trying to like move things across, you get that and it will suddenly just yes, stick exactly. to it and the fabric, so it's quite funny. Anyway, so you get enough wadding in it yes. as well to do it. Um, but, but first of all, you just literally cut the panel up and right. cut the numbers out, the days out, the weather's out and everything. And then you just start making them. But like, you know me guys, want to finish things, so yep. I'll just let You've make. got a long time. You've got 50 minutes still, so you're fine. So we've got two to make, spring and the sunshine. Right. I thought I'll do two of the big ones. 
The numbers are tricky, they're small. Um, and the best way to tackle it is to go from the one end up across the top down to the other. But leave, make sure that when you're sewing up the top, you actually do across the actual explanation of what the weather is or whatever. Right. Leave the bottom to do the turning. Oh, okay, yes. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, so, so always turn it, have your turning so you have hole the at the bottom. on the top. Yeah. So, if you know what I mean, and then have your little stitching yeah. down there. Mm -hmm. So, the first thing you do, you get your, I'm not going to call it Velcro. <laughs> yeah, well, they have, so it's fine. But you <laughs> So, know. what I did, I actually cut these ones four centimetres wide. Um, so, the first thing you have to do is get your Velcro loop. Yeah. <laughs> now the, the loop you've got stuff you is that stuff we sent you is that stuff no, we you use from no, home? I use the one that you sent me, but I've made bigger strips because right. I wanted them to be more or less going straight across. Right. Because the thing is, it's like with the, this, you can buy this type of stuff s with stickiness. Yes. And you could just put it on. Oh but yes. If you use your own and you put it on. I'd still recommend you stitch it. Right, even because, if you use the stick on Because wear and tear. Also, if it's kids every day, they're going to pull it. Yeah, yeah. every day. Mm -hmm. Like John's saying, it will, they'll come away and you'll be so annoyed. So the thing to do is I would say, even if you're using the sticky, sticking on one, if you've got your home, one at home machine around it, the same. Yeah, same. So, so, so it doesn't sure matter if it's sticky or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So mine's, I've got real, I've got reels and reels of this stuff. So mine is probably not as purely white as oh, don't worry. it would be. So, and all you do, you cut four centimetres. Well, I've used four centimetres on these spring and sunshine ones. Okay, um, Kath says, the interactive weather panel is great. I would have loved one for my children when I was teaching. Yeah. I'm getting one to make for my grandson. That's nice. And also, who was it you just got your message? <laughs> Elizabeth says, be very good for people who are sort of suffering with dementia. My dad had really, really bad dementia at the end. Yeah, and things like that would have been, just to keep his mind a bit just sharper. Just keep the mind. Yeah. It's true, isn't it? So you use the Oh! Bike. No. Yes, we did look in Wendy's box. Wendy Orlando made the last one. She was on with Rebecca. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and did you shouting say? at me in there. Uh, go and double check Wendy Orlando's box next door. I said it was Wendy Orlando. Not, she only got one box. Let's see. Right, oh, okay. We'll find it. Anyway, who so, said that? Um, Sue, thank you. We'll look now. The one I used for the back of the actual individual weathers. Yeah. Because you either use one way or the other. Right. So on the actual ones, um, the little ones that you can't, yeah. I actually use the softer side. Okay. Yeah. And I use the hard one to go for the on. actual. Right. Because again, with babies, you want the softness, you don't want the roughness. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I thought, use the softness on the back. So then in the middle, it doesn't have to be bang on. So, but in the middle, you just machine the Velcro on. Now, or the hook and loop tape. Now, also, it can be tricky to pin. It's, you have to give it a bit of a nudge. So but if you've got a glue pen, Oh, yeah. actually, didn't we put... Didn't oh, that's put, the point, a glue pen. Oh, didn't we put on. tailors... Didn't we have quilt... I thought sort of, I saw quilters... What? Oh, if you've or got any of the quilters yeah. two-sided tape, that would have been good just to stick in the middle, wouldn't yeah. it? I've got a question about sewing it, Janice. What needle did you use to stick to sew the sticky hook and loop fastener, just says Helen? Just the same. Just a, just a, general, just a needle, general needle. Just, just general needle. needle. Just a general oh, needle. Oh, there it is. Right, oh, you on. found it? Yeah. You found it. You need to hang it up, on, but then you're going to get too close to Janice, don't we? Throw it on here. Oh, no, you're fine. You can get close to me. I don't know. No, because you haven't got a mask on, Janice. Oh, I haven't. Have do I? what? I'll do it. I could do it over here. You keep sewing, Janice. So all I'm doing is sewing the Velcro. Oh, look and look tape. <laughs> oh, just trip over. The I don't think mine's Velcro, the one I've got from home. It's OK, we have a box next door that says not yet sorted. <laughs> and it was, oh! <laughs> and it was in there. Yeah, that one falls off the end. I might come a bit closer to Janice then. Right. To be honest, though, me and John, we don't go out anywhere, do we, John? Hey, what? <laughs> so we don't go out anywhere apart from We don't go out and look down and say, right, I've got my mask on. So I get everything delivered to home. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> 
Yeah, move away, Janice. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> well, you've got, you've got your back to me, so. Yeah, exactly. There you go, there you go, there you go. Oh, I'm glad you finally finished that. Oh, there we go. Well, it's a bit high, but never mind. Thank you, though, to Sue. Made us go and have a look for it. It was in the box that said, yet to be sorted. Yet to be sorted. You can, Im you can imagine, um, viewers, that the, the things they have to be sorted here is <laughs> phenomenal. Oh, now I've got, I've got from Maud. She says, please be careful when you so stick on hook and loop because it gunked up her machine a little bit. Oh, did it? So please be careful. Oh, gosh. I'm just unsure how far up that piece. What, Kat? That's it. That's what we said, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not this, not normal, not normal one touch fastening, the sticky one. The sticky one. I do think with some sticky things, you have to be really careful. Oh, yeah, of course you do. So, it's better the devil you know sometimes. So, all I'm doing is trimming that off and trimming that off. So, then, what, what I did then, I got the wadding. Yeah. Now, Cat's got this thing. You get the wadding in the kit, right? Yeah. But Cat wants to buy H640 to put inside it. Would that make any difference? Be more solid, I suppose, H640. H640. It's, the, it's like this, but with a backing. It's a thicker version I of this. I think any, yeah. anything. Yeah, but you're getting this yeah. in the kit, so don't go splashing yeah. over H640. I think anything, really, yeah. um, as a wadding would work. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just gives it that nice little bit of quilt into it yeah feel. so I'm just cutting around my squares right so you just cut round and follow your squares with the wadding <laughs> it's catching I suddenly saw my left-handed scissors and I thought oh I'm hang on Janice go back to your machine a minute okay I'm just gonna come in you see and I don't want to get too close to it I want the people <laughs> No, that's they, that they they haven't made the things. They're not there. The things. Oh, aren't they? They what must be printed on those already because they're not sewn on. Aren't they? <laughs> that's a bit weird, isn't it? Look. Oh gosh, yeah. But they're not sewn on the top, are they? They're um. Well, they have stitched round. Oh, I think what they've done. I've done it different. No, no, no. You've done it right. Uh, no, I think what they've. I think what they've done, they've just picked certain days and rather than cut them out, oh, so I've done it as though to cut them out and put them yeah, on. Yeah, but what was Anyway, uh, so Elliot's saying maybe you make <laughs> it for the day that the baby was born. So your baby was born on Tuesday the 12th of August and it was a sunny day. But then why would they put all the other things there? Whereas I've done it. So no, no, no. You you've, done it, I, you've done it the correct way. You've done it the right oh. way, Janice. No offence, <laughs> Wendy Orlando, because she'll be watching and I'm on. Yeah, where does the Velcro come in their panel? No, I've, I've cut round all the... No, no, you've done it right, Janice. You've done yeah. it right. Don't worry. Right, so anyway. <laughs> yeah. So what, what you do Maybe then... we shouldn't have found it. Maybe we should have just <laughs> left it in the to be sorted box. So what you do then on these, you actually... Oh, hang on. Catherine Wright did it, not um, Wendy Orlando. <laughs> 23rd of November, Catherine Wright demonstrated it. That's when I bought mine, says Julie Vaughan. Oh, I'm glad somebody knows what's going on. <laughs> 23rd, so Catherine Wright's not done it right. We've seen her on Wednesday. <laughs> the so. thing is, though, you see, there's no instructions. No, no, there's no instructions with <laughs> there's it. There's no instructions in it, so do we all do want. it our different ways, don't we? So what you do then, you actually put... <laughs> The piece with the date, date, number, face down onto the actual purple with the Velcro yeah. on. Magenta, and not then purple. the magenta. And then <laughs> you place it on the Velcro because what's going to happen is when you turn it round. Oh, yes. Side, That's all. When you're bagging okay. out, you'll, I always get the wadding in the so, wrong place because it doesn't feel right, does it? So, no. there. Because it doesn't feel as though you should be putting the wad in on the machine. Yes, exactly. And it feels weird, doesn't it? Right. And if you notice on these as well, there is like a quarter, they allow you like up to a quarter inch seam. Yeah. Um, whereas for some of mine, <laughs> didn't work. It, it showed a bit. Do you yes. know what I mean? So, but yeah. Kath so says you're doing it right, Pop Janice. it down, pop it down. Yeah. And you've actually got the numbers at the top. Or should I show the camera that way? No, we're right up. We're okay. above you. We can see. Yeah. Yeah. So then, what I'm going to do, I'm going to machine up the one side across 
the top, top down, down the bottom, bottom and okay. leave the whole lot at the bottom open. Right. Now, I didn't do that on the numbers, and that's why I struggled, I think, with the numbers. I never left the full bottom open. Right. And because it's such a small stitch to sew up by hand, mm -hmm. do it this way. Okay. Because I think you'll get the neater finish, whereas if you look at some of mine, mm-mm. Uh-uh, <laughs> uh-uh, Janice. So because I'd only got one of each. Of course, one, yeah. yeah. So now, what was Kat, what were so, you saying, Kat? Buy two panels, what? Right, hang on. If you have two panels, I don't know. I don't understand what you mean. She means. Say. But then, but then, no, no, no. Because then, if you've already stuck the twelfth on, it's the thirteenth. We'll explain, you can explain to us afterwards. Kat's trying to explain something to us, right? And yeah. neither Elliot or I can understand what she's saying. So we'll do it afterwards. We'll let Kat demonstrate in the next hour. When we sold out all the sewing machines, Kat can come <laughs> on and demonstrate what she would do. And the top. Oh, here you go. Kath said, I missed the way that Kath, no, Sue says, I missed the way that Catherine made it, but Wendy made it the way that Janice is making it. So it's been done by Wendy and by Catherine. Oh, it's confusing. <laughs> and now Janice. And now me. Right. It's about, uh, well, it sold out both times. So it looks like, well, yeah, more than half the stock's gone already. Oh, it is lovely, though. Yeah. It's, it's smashy. Because you can just change the weather. Where's what change I... the weather. Can I have sun every day of my life, no, please, Janice? No, you know what I mean. It's like I, I made... Oh, I'll, I'll explain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so what you do then... Turn it right side out. Yeah. And again, with the smaller ones, you're going to need your hook and loop or your seam ripper to get the corners out. Yeah. Um, but with me, I'm using this today. Have I forgotten the seam ripper today? You've forgotten your seam ripper? No, it's in the... It's in the... In the in your dressing room. room. But I haven't put it... Um, no, she's using the end of it. She won't need I'm it when you try and pick anything up. That's the one. Yeah. And then turn the other. I see what you mean though about the numbers, because they're like a quarter of that size, aren't they? They're tiny. They're tiny. But then what you could do is if you've got the children at home, you could that could be their project for the day to turn them all through and stitch turn them. Turn them through. And they'd enjoy that. Yeah. Making their own. They soon get bored though after 15. Yeah, no, they wouldn't want to do that many, would they? <laughs> They'd want to do one each, so you'd have to have about five children. <laughs> yeah, yes. Now, um, who is it? Yvonne McAtamney. Right. She uh, is teaching her little one to, not her grandson to sew, and he's only a two or three, isn't Aww. he? Oh. It's nice. Now, if you have a little bit of wadding extra at the end, just snip it. Off. Yeah, just trim it down. Just trim it down. And then again. All you do. I'm not in on Tuesday. Fold it in like I did on the other bit. Now fold them in, I would, to the bottom of the green. Can you see that? If, if I show you. Yeah. See the bottom of the green line yeah, there? Yeah. Just fold that in to the bottom of the green line and use that as your guide. Oh, now we've been told that Catherine also made it the same way that Janice made it. <laughs> oh, we're very confused, but we'll just carry on with our demo today. Well, you can do it anyway, yeah, can't exactly. you? Now, you see, you own. said you hand sli slip the bottoms together. Yeah. But what you could do is, you like you did it. on the on the um, note thing earlier, the notepad cover earlier, mm. is you could top stitch all the way around the outside and close yes, that's the bottom. True. And then you've top stitched it around the edge. So it's more of a crisp edge, as it were. Oh, she's going to do it now that way. <laughs> right, and gone. Thank God, tricky, tricky, tricky. You could do, couldn't you? Let's show it. I'll show it my scruffy way and then we'll show it the next yeah, way. Yeah, 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 that's what you've got to. <laughs> uh, Lo said, I'm at Ikea, click and collect, waiting to, uh, watching you. It's weird being out of the house. Oh, I bet it is. I hate it when I've got to go out. I can understand people getting agoraphobic. Oh, yes. Quite yeah, easy. Yeah. 
Yeah. You've got a bit of fluff Sorry attached to the bottom, Jenny. Right. <laughs> yeah. That was your well done, going. John. Yep. Right, hang on. Put that in, because I didn't do right. The clips, they were the early bed special today. Oh, get your clips, ladies. Yeah, and, and gentlemen. gentlemen. Right, okay. I'm, I'm there. All right, she's there, everyone. She's there. So let's just get that into a bit more. Put the needle in, start me off. And then away we go. See, that's it. <laughs> so we can machine it. <laughs> so that, that's nice as well. Nice idea. Oops. Go on, you devil. See what I'm not <laughs> talking to. Me. Okay. Go on, you devil. Yeah, Kim thinks the same as Cat, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, she doesn't. This is what I thought Kat said. So, what Kat said is if you want two panels, you only need the right-hand side of the panel twice. So, you cut and stick all of them to that. But you also make Velcro. No, but then your Velcro versions would have to... Your, the ones on the panel would have to have Velcro on them. So, it wouldn't work. No. Oh, honestly, magnets now. We're getting a little bit over... What's it? No, did that work, one, Janice? Yeah, it did, but... Yeah. but I, I, I like my hand sewing on little projects like this. Oh, no, no, no. If you like your hand sewing, then by all means do it. But I'm just thinking people no, don't. No, it does. It, it, but you can do either way for yeah, speed. Yeah, That's but all, great. yeah. That's great. It's like know. a little coaster then if you've got top yeah. stitching around it, isn't it? So I've done that right way, but this way I'm going to quickly do the hand slip stitch. Because what I love about hand stitching is oh, you feel like you've got more control. Right. Somehow. What do you think of hand sewing, John? Depends what mood I'm in. Really? Because uh, when I used to do dressmaking, obviously it was all finished by hand. You know, if you were well, making a ball Well, I was going to say gown. that. In, your, in the movie industry, oh, yeah, you couldn't a do lot of that would be hand sewn. Oh, yeah, yeah, because you can't see any. Because if it's a period movie, you can't be seeing machine lines anywhere. No. And also, if you think something that's this big in real life, on a cinema screen, it's this big, isn't it? Yes. So if you do a line of stitching, it's going to be huge, isn't it? Yeah. You can sort of get away with a bit in theatre. But not too much. Because it is, mate, they always ask for hand seamstresses, mm -hmm. don't they, in theatre? But when I, it was really funny because when I did a modern show yeah. at Colchester and we and I had a lady called Sabina who was my cutter, I was then the supervisor and she was the cutter. Yes. And we it was set in the 70s and we, so we did this rah-rah skirt and I said, make sure you do machine all the hems because it's 1970s and that's how it would have been made. It been. And it went totally against the grain. She was like, I can't, I can't <laughs> machine this. You'll see it. And I was like, but it's 1970, it's fine because that's how they would have been made. It, you know? Yeah, because we didn't have the machines, did we? And all the embroidery stuff and everything you can get now in the 70s. So. Kath says, oh, Janice, they've given you another fiddly project to do. <laughs> And then Sue says, to quote a comic, when this is all over, I'm going out, out, and I'm not going in, in for a long time. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant when Janice was over today. You mean when, when all this is over? Yeah, exactly. Oh, I know. Oh, I do feel sorry for all the people. We're all stuck on. The thing is, I, um, who, I, I went I'm for a walk with my friend Dulcie, who lives in the next village to me yesterday, and we go for a, quite long walks when we can. Yes. And... Um, she said, we're so lucky to live where we live because we're still not we're still not socialising, we're still not doing that. But I can go, Dulcie's Village is two miles from my house, so I can drive yes. to Dulcie's house and we're within the five mile thing. We can then walk for three hours yeah. around all countryside. All country. Or she comes to me and literally 100 yards from my front door, we're yeah. in open countryside. Yeah. She did yeah. say she was a bit bored with my countryside the other day because <laughs> we went down the greenway and it is just one long walk. You don't go, yeah. if you go the other way to, to me on, it's all mud and climbing over logs and all that sort of thing. But she didn't like the just walking straight up and straight down. One well, I, I, live, I used to live in a cottage. Yeah. Um, in the country and I had cows in the field that's what Amy was brought up with and I really miss that mm. because if I'd have lived there now it, whereas Be now I'm in a normal yeah. street and oh no but you see I'm, I'm, I'm glad I don't live in London I'm, during this but I miss London and like I'd like to take up the saxophone again because I play saxophone oh do you but I've got neighbours and I can't no it's too loud a machine whereas my mum she's got a keyboard and she can use the headphones oh yes and it blocks the sound yeah. out whereas I can't with the saxophone so now, one of the children in my street is obviously learning mm. like a clarinet or a flute <laughs> or something like that yeah. and she's just just beginning to learn Aww. so you'll sit there and you think oh oh god it's not playing the recorder at school because <laughs> it's the same fingering as the recorder at school. 
Yeah. That's fine. So now I've actually just... Put stitched. it on the table so Elliot can show a picture of it. And there that's both done. Perfect. So one's been stitched with machine and the other one's been stitched... By hand. By hand. And then you've got the back. Yeah. All ready to go. So then... Once you've got your little piles... So you make the seasons, the weather, the dates... The numbers. The number of the numbers and the days, you make them all like that. All like that, okay. yeah. And I'll tell you what else it's good. It's a good project for t when you're watching TV. The, those little, yes, all those. Because so you do all your machining, put them in a bowl, and then sit down. And, and then yeah. sit down overnight, yeah. and that's exactly yeah. what I did. Did the machining, and that's exactly what I did. What were you watching? So... Oh, I watch everything. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been watching The Bay and, you know, I like drama and stuff like that. So, yeah, really good. So then you've got your weathers. Now, this is where I put the rough edge. Right, So, okay. again, with the children, when mm -hmm. that, it's all soft, that side. So then I actually did the Velcro. So don't worry, it says it Velcro, <laughs> in the, it's the fine, it says Velcro in the thing. On each of the... And again, I didn't know whether to do a strip going down one strip. Oh, no, but no. I thought, no. no. But, and I did think that. But I did the one going all the way across for the season and the weather. Yes. Because, because. it could be spring and a part winter. Or the season, the weather could be rainy and cloudy at the same yeah, time. Yes, yes, yes. The weather, I agree cloudy. with. The spring and the... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas, no, I don't know about yeah, with the spring and Where the Where are we now? Are we still in winter now or are we in spring? Well, you see, you can be winter or spring, can't Yeah, you? all right then, I'll let you off. So, please let me off on that one. I'll let you off. <laughs> let you out. I'll let you off anything, Janice, you don't know. <laughs> so, the first thing I'm going to do, I've left the one day here to do. Yeah. So, I'm just going to show you And this needs to, to be... Oh, excuse me. This, I've got hiccups after. for some reason. Eh? This needs to be done before you put anything together, isn't it? While yeah. it's still just this on the flat. This would be the next step, really. Yeah, yeah. So once you've done all those first, then this would be your next step. So again, I'm going to just trim it down. I think this one's five inches or something, yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, and then with Velcro, it never seems, when you cut it, it always seems to go off. Yeah, and that's because of all the loops on it. It kind you of... You have uh, to straighten it back up yeah. again as best as you can. And then I just did it three inches from the... No, it wasn't three inches. I do, I do measure it. I measure all It's an inch and a half each end, isn't it? Inch. Oh, inch. 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 Right, okay. Yeah, because with the day and the dates, it is an inch, both ends, yeah. So, and then all I do, this is the one that's harder to pin. Yes. So but I'm thinking, okay, if you've got a, one of those glue pens, just to hold it in place while you're yeah. stitching it would be good. It's or that quilt is tape, which we've sold out of, because I saw it on a trolley earlier, but obviously that was the idea to put it in, but it's sold out. I do think that's a better idea than pins. Yeah. Yeah, because pins going through yeah. Velcro or one touch fastening always makes it go wobbly, doesn't but it? But I must admit, I haven't got a glue pen at home. I've never used one. Have really. you not? No. It's because you're a traditionist like me. <laughs> well, no, no, when we <laughs> trained, you wouldn't put glue anywhere near no, a fabric, would not you? Not fabric, no. But yeah. that especially. I still get nervous now. Yeah, but it's especially um, created for fabric, so it's fine. I think, I think what it is, because cause you dressmakers, you don't use glue. Yeah. Whereas when you're a craft person, you do. Yeah. So you get used to it. Craft. Get... She said craft then, craft by the way, person. everybody. What did you think of? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. No, OK. okay. No, I'm not saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let everyone use an imagination. <laughs> John's gone awfully red. <laughs> <laughs> and that's through all this makeup. <laughs> oh. Right, so I'm just... Oh, here you go. Meteorologically, Janice, spring starts on the 1st of March. There you go. March? <laughs> Oh, hang March. on, where are, that's not till next week then. Next week's the 1st of week. March, isn't it? Oh, that's frightening. <laughs> and Lowe says recorders were invented by teachers to annoy parents. I think so, because <laughs> it's the first one we do at school, isn't it? You're all given a record. Well, in my recorder. day, you're all given a recorder. And because I used to play the recorder, I can play the clarinet and the saxophone is oh, the same thing going to. You should be in a jazz yeah. band. Now, my uncle's in then. <laughs> he plays trumpet. My family is quite musical, really, as well. Uh, that's it. Yeah, I've got people who are in groups and all sorts. And his family is very musical as well. He yeah, wanted musical. drums. He got drums when he was little. George, my nephew George, had drums as well. Drums. I think that's as bad as having a saxophone next door. Yes, probably it would be worse. <laughs> so then all I do is just either cut them off. Or, or tie those off. Tie them. Yeah. So I'm just tying them. 
just tie them and then cut them and that's all prepared ready let's just have a look at the back tie them off quickly and then you just now what I'm going to do first I'm going to bag it out before I, I'm going to add all them afterwards yeah 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 so there we go so right, OK, so let, before you bag it out, yep. what, who, we, if this was Catherine or it was Wendy or Landa, whoever it was, they've done a binding like you've done on a quilt. So if you did yep. that, you would make your quilt sandwich, you'd put your... Is that right, Janice? Yeah. Yeah, so you'd put quilt your sandwich. top layer, your wadding, and then your backing, pin it together, and then bind it. Have, have they quilted it? Oh, and they, have they quilted it? Um, they've stitched through some bits, have they? Yeah, they've... Yeah. But then they yeah, bind it afterwards maybe. and put the yeah. turrets in. So what we're saying is, we like with other panels, Janice isn't going to do it that way because that's the way they do it. We're going to do the bagging out version this time, which means you, on yours, you won't have the purple inch showing round the outside. Yours will no. be the edge of the <laughs> frame of the actual panel. Look, it sticks. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? No, it just sticks, doesn't it, to everything? So hang on a second. Ukulele is often the first instruments given at school now. No, Kath, what kind of school do you go to? Karen says, morning, enjoying this panel. It's such a good idea for the little ones. Thank it you, is. Karen. It is, it's lovely for the little ones. Karen's birthday recently, she had a lovely day. So all I'm doing yeah. now is putting the... F so you've got the right side of the panel to yep. the right side to of the, the fabric. The fabric. Yeah. And then underneath. Oh, so you make it exactly the same as you made the little tabs again. Now you're putting your layer of craft wadding. <laughs> Straight on top. Yeah. Good if you've if you've not done any quilting or anything like that, or you don't like doing binding. <laughs> Which is I'm saying happens. nothing, Janice. <laughs> 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 not I was gonna do it today though, I must admit. Look, yeah. John. John. I know, I know. She did cut binding just to be on the safe side. She did the bindings, look. Already. And you've got a meter of fabric, so you've got plenty, absolutely <laughs> plenty to do that with. But then we just oh, right, now I need to add something else here before Janice stows this up. If you don't want to do tabs like Catherine or Wendy did on, her, on theirs, you know the three tabs at the top? Hang on. Camera's just getting there. Go on, keep going, keep going. If you don't do those three tabs, what you could do is you could do one of the strips that go across the top at the back, but you need to put that on now before you bag it out. So what you do is you just do it slightly narrower than the than the thing and just top stitch it on and then fold the uh, fold the ends in, then top stitch on. So you've got a, like a, a tunnel for your stick to go through or something like that. Right, so I've done that, but I'm, because I've made this as I was putting binding in, I've yeah, made it bigger. Trim it down. So I'm just trimming it down before I sew it. But to be honest, this will be a good way of finishing it. Because <laughs> that takes so long to do as well. This will be yes, a quick, yeah. jo quick job as well. And because you're doing it separate, I think it will be effective anyway. Yeah. You know, so we'll, we'll soon see, won't we, guys? Could you not put a faux binding on by making the backing bigger so you see the backing from the front? Oh, you mean, yeah, but doesn't the, yes. don't the corners go for... How do you do you the would, corners? You'd have to be careful with the yeah. corners, wouldn't you? Yeah. But you could, you could, Princess. You could have a go. <laughs> oh, Princess. Oh, I know what you could do, Princess. You could add a border on, so go down your two sides first of all, and then across the top and bottom like you would do with a normal quilt. Then cut your backing to that new size and you could still bag it out and it would look like a faux binding that way. And then no way, you don't need to do um, mitered corners then. I'm just doing a quarter inch seam. What, Janice? I'm just doing a quarter inch seam again. Okay. Oh, here's Wendy Orlando. Good morning, good morning. Have a chilled one today. Love watching you two with your antics. <laughs> I've learnt the ukulele over lockdown and it's a perfect yeah. introduction to playing an instrument. When I was at school, I used to go to school on my penny farthing ah. and she said I was too late in rolling with the band. That would have been a very Victorian quartet. And the I only thing it. left was the cello. It was bigger than me and always sliding <laughs> round, making it hard to handle. Eileen says, I used to play the trombone at school and my sister used to play the violin. 
I was sent to the greenhouse at the bottom of the garden to practice. <laughs> and then Catherine said, both my granddaughters learned to play the ukulele in their class group when they were seven years old. 30 Aww. children learning to play a ukulele. I bet the teacher had a headache. Oh, I, I thought you were joking earlier when you said that. So obviously the ukulele's ukulele. overtaken the recorder. Oh, well, I think it has. There's a lot of people. Yeah. Amy learnt the ukulele. Uh, who did? Amy. Amy, yeah. She did the ukulele. And how old's she now, though? Well, she's 27 now, isn't she? 27. Now? So did you not, too, not learn the ukulele at school, then? Oh, no, Kat had the recorder and she's in her the 20s. Yeah. Elliot's in his 40s. And you did what, did you say? You didn't do drums at school, did you? Okay. Do they still teach the music in the schools to record and that? I don't know. They I, do don't know. I don't know. They must do, must they? But then you see the sewing classes, oh, they so. do hardly any sewing, do they? That, they were so silly to get rid of that. Where are you going? Oh, okay. going all the way around. No, no they were silly. I, I think oh. they were so silly, the schools, to get rid of the woodwork, the metalwork, yeah, the yeah. cooking, the... Um, sewing. Sewing. Yeah, they were. They were, uh, they were it was absolute crazy because you need sewing all your life. You need cooking all your life. Okay, so Lorraine, crazy Lorraine, Sorry. sent a message in now. Going, <laughs> Memories of London's one. burning drove me mad on the recorder. <laughs> yeah. London's that burning, the, oh, London's yeah, burning. I thought she meant the TV series then. I was like, are you in that crazy little Well, I'll tell you something. I used to play Van, the theme tune from Vanderbilt. Oh, I used to love that. Yeah, I used to play that. And the other one I played was Where's Your Mama Gone? Remember the song? Where's Your Mama Gone? Little Bubba Gone. I used to play the pop song. Oh, that was before my time, obviously. Where's Your Mama Yeah, that's what I used to play on my... You could bind it like the quilt as you go mug rugs the other day. Oh, yes, of course you could. Of course you could, yeah. Wendy Orlando, is this one yours hanging up on the wall or is it Catherine's? We can't, we're so confused. You what, sorry? I'm talking to Wendy, not she's watching. <laughs> Don't you worry, you just carry on, Janice. Because I haven't put a handle on this and I should have done really. What? I should have put a, a loop on to hang it up. Yeah, I've did that. Well, I was talking about that while you were sewing, so don't but worry. We can we can sort that out. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ooh. So. Willow said, I really wish there was a recently on air bit on the website tuned in late today. I don't know what that means, Willow. It all goes into YouTube. It all goes into YouTube. So, so can they start watching it from the beginning on YouTube today? Oh, you can. So you could go on to YouTube now and just scroll back. And the product is all underneath us. The product is all underneath us on the website. I don't know. Oh, do you mean recently on air things that we've sold? That everything's on the website. It is on the website, Willow. What you need to do is you need to press watch live, go underneath us, the things we've yet to sell. Oh, here you go. The things we've yet to sell. Oh, there you go. The things we have already shown are on today's show deals. So everything that we have shown in the show so far this morning is all listed there. Right, and anything that's to come in the future of today, it'll be, very, it'll be about two sewing machines, I think, won't it? But click on pre-order. Oh, there's the quilting tape. I knew I'd seen it, it sold out. So these things we haven't played yet today. So there's the sewing machine, sewing machine needles, and sewing machine bag. So that's how you can, so it is recent, that's our equivalent of recently, uh, recently on air. It doesn't go day before, or the day before, or the day before. Well, after the sh after the day, it goes back into the normal shop. Um, Low played Stranger on the Shore on the clarinet. That was Ackerbilt, wasn't Ackerbilt. it? Ackerbilt. Wendy Orlando said, wasn't me. So Wendy Orlando has not made it at all. <laughs> well, Willow said, thank you very much indeed. You're very <laughs> welcome. That's what we're here for. So we're blaming Wendy Orlando and it wasn't there at all. <laughs> right, so you've gone all the way around so the outside. So gone all the way around the outside, left the opening. At the bottom. At the bottom. And I'm just going to now turn it. Right side out. Yep. I didn't leave it at the back. I left it at the top. <laughs> Gonna fight with it now for the rest of it. Oh, oh watch your yeah. microphone, Janice. Oh, yeah, true. So. Oh, there you go. Sue said, sorry, Wendy Orlando, I thought you'd made it. Don't worry. It's all weird. Listen, <laughs> Sue, we're all one big happy family here. We can blame each other. I, I always blame Janice, you know. <laughs> We all have to blame each other. After today's show, it'll go into the Catherine Wright box, not the Wendy Orlando box. <laughs> right. Uh -uh. Okay. Okay. So, 
What I did, I did it at the top and I shouldn't have done. Oh, Janice. I know. Oh, after all you said earlier. <laughs> no, no. Mind you, no, no, but the thing is, if you put it on the wall, then the top's going to be above your head. Yeah. You won't see that bit. So you've done the right thing True. there. But then also the straps are there as well, aren't they? Yeah. So, so all you do, fold them in. No, it wouldn't be a play mat on the floor, Elliot, because all the Velcro bits would all be coming off every, all everywhere, wouldn't they? So all I'm going to do is machine stitch this down. But really, I would have uh, hand, hand sewn this again. Okay, Elliot says if he had children, he wouldn't hang it on the wall. It would be like a play mat a on play the floor, mat. and they could then learn to do the days and the dexterity of the pulling the velcro. You could do that, couldn't you? Could do that. So. Do you still have like play pens for children? Do they still have play pens I don't for know. children? <laughs> it's been that long since I've had children. It's about time you're a grandma, isn't it, Janice? I oh, know. I'm still waiting. Well, you'll be waiting forever with Amy, won't you? She's going to be a famous actress, so she can't have children in Hollywood. <laughs> she's, uh, and then Kane, Falmouth. She's a textiles person. That so. doesn't stop her having a baby. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> it does if she ain't got boyfriends. But she has, so. But there we go. Where are you right. going now, then? I'm are you just going stitching? to machine okay. this top. What I would normally do here is slip stitch and do yeah. like um, yeah. an invisible stitch. But for today, yeah, yeah for today, the time you thought you were worried. That what we time is it? How it's ten to. Oh, is it? Yeah, you're all right, don't worry. Yeah. I was worried about this because yeah. I thought... You seem much more relaxed in this hour, Janice, than I, I, the I, first I, one. Still getting a bit hot, but... That's your age. I know. <laughs> yeah, but Mr. Rice, this has been coming out as well. And, do you know I what know it is? I think all of, all, because of the situation, all of our underlying, all my health issues, they're not, nothing serious, don't worry, but they, they all come Same forth. But also, we're having more time to actually worry about. Yeah. Uh, this is what, uh, this is me personally, right? This is me personally. But, because I'm not seeing, fa oh, I'm going to get upset now. Yes. I don't mean to, but, because oh, no. I'm not seeing family or friends, right? Yes, we've got Zoom. Yes, we've got emails. Yeah, it's but it's not the same as someone it's sitting on your same. sofa and having a good old no. belly laugh and things no. like that, is it? It's not. And you spe I mean, I'm lucky. I, I'm lucky. I come to work. I only see three people, yeah. but I come to work. There's nobody else in the office whatsoever. There's just us no, here. So I'm lucky us. in that respect. And the John Scott show, there's literally me and the guest in the studio and that's it. But I think we have more time. So some days I go to bed and think, Oh, I don't feel very, oh, you know, yeah, like, and we kind of, what, our right. brain does strange things, doesn't it? It and does. it? It's only in my head, it's only in my head. Or, or you wake up in the morning, some mornings I wake up and I'm so sad. Yes. And I don't know why. And I just kind of wake up and I'm, I do need to hug. That's exactly, that's no, it. no, we, we're not doing hugging, we're not doing hugging. But it's like my friend Francesca, her mum's just had to go into a home, right? Yeah. And she can only see her mum through a screen. She can't, and she, all she wants to do is go, and her mum's got, um, um, Alzheimer's yeah. and, and can't touch, can't touch. she's having a lovely time can't flirting with all the men when she's in the mood but when she's lying in her bed she said like why am I here where's my beautiful house where's my things around yeah. me and Francesca can't go and hug her and say everything's gonna be all right mum she has to do it from behind the screen anyway we, I didn't mean to get all maudlin then but no, I think no, the like, amount of time we're boat. all in the same boat we're all going we're through all the same, same thing so I can't when be. we first went into lockdown don't forget the weather was amazing so we were probably a bit more happier to be having the time off work. Yeah. But now it's becoming tedious, isn't it? <laughs> so I'm just putting all my stuff on yeah. quickly. May, June. Hang on, what day is it today? July, oh, what month are we in then? August, September, <laughs> October. November. It's a good job I know my alphabet. Well, that's <laughs> not your alphabet, they're your months. <laughs> and the months. No, the alphabet are these ones, Gemma, yeah. it's not those. Cozy, sunshine, rainy, snowy, windy. Right. That's that one. That's then Elliot. We've got... <laughs> <laughs> windy, yeah. Right, hang on. Where's Monday? Oh, right. no. Monday. I didn't know whether to start with Sunday or Monday. Well, no, Tuesday. I always start the week with a su a Sunday, but I don't know why yeah. I think Sunday's the first day of the week. I always do I always do it with a Monday. <laughs> Friday. Oh, Trudy says we're all Saturday. riding the COVID coaster. Sunday. That's so right. <laughs> and if we can get through it, we'll be one to tell the children. Yeah. One, two, three. Does it start with one, two, three, four? Oh no. Yeah, yeah, it does. They've covered three, it over. They've taken the one, the two four, off, haven't they? Five, six, 
seven. See, I can count as well. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> Just as well being an accountant, <laughs> isn't it? Ten. And I've got a two over, so I don't know what happened with that, but Mickey Way will. No, no, there's a two at the, there's two at the bottom. Twelve. One and two at the bottom. And the, the north bottom. there. There you go. That's right, it, okay, so today, so no, then, no, don't turn it round yet. So today is Sunday. So today is Sunday. Well done, you. Yeah. Sunday, the 21st yeah. of February. Yeah. And it's winter. Yeah, nearly spring next spring. week. Yeah. <laughs> And the weather. We don't know what it's like outside. Who's last one to go to the toilet? What was what was it what like? What was the weather like? Grey. <laughs> what did you say that? Rainy. <laughs> no, not rainy. It's not rainy. And cloudy. Yeah, there you go. Well, that's grey. Yeah. Or s snowy. No, it's not snowy. Don't <laughs> no, wish that upon us now. No, but there's grey on it. Okay. <laughs> right. It's windy. Windy as if it's brown. Cloudy. Windy. Perfect. And there I you go. Leave it that way up, Janice. Leave it that way up. There you go. I think that's smashing. I think it's brilliant. They're great, aren't they? Uh, lovely to see... Oh, hang on. Anne oh, says, no, lovely show. You're doing great, Janice. Love listening to us all. You're a tonic. <laughs> Is that what you call oh, it? Yeah, well, she likes that. a bit of a gin to go with her tonic, don't you, Janice? I'm not, I'm not a gin lover. Oh, well, you're not. What would no. you... What's your, if you... <gasps> I'll tell you what I had for the first time I had last two weeks ago. Perno. Oh, oh, oh Perno did you black. like it? With black? Is black currant? Perno Black and Lemonade. I said, I've only had it with Black water, Noise. I think, Perno, when Perno I was in Black France. Perno Black and Lemonade, years ago. But, yeah. Have you and never... Aniseed. Perno's Aniseed. They Anise. don't know what Perno well, is. Well, I gave it Amy one Christmas, and she loved it. And so every Christmas now, I bought the Perno. She really enjoyed it. You either like Aniseed, do No, you? no, you I don't like do it to drink. What, so, um... How was your Valentine's Day? Did you get you anything? No. Well, what we were lucky, because Mum went to a sister's. Doris's yeah. and me and Martin had a night. <gasps> so don't want to go beyond there, <laughs> Janice. Thank you. No, you but need... we don't buy each other things. No, I know. Mean, you can't do anything. No. So... Well, Janice, I got loads. Did you? Yeah. I got a really gorgeous cushion from Karen in Wigan. I got some alcohol free gin from Lowe. I got somebody. I feel guilty, yeah. Somebody rang up the local, you know, my little popping shop in yes. the village. Somebody, and I still don't know who this is, rang them up and said, if I buy something from the shop, can you have it delivered to John? So I've got handmade chocolates delivered to my house oh, on the I day. Oh, and I got my little, oh, oh, I didn't wear it, Roxana. Roxana made me this little pouch with um, finger guards in it. So when oh. I'm doing my fabrics, I don't have to lick my finger. I meant to get it out this morning. I forgot we had fabulous fabrics. And isn't that nice? It's made me feel really bad. Yeah, so yours is still waiting to be delivered, <laughs> they say. I did buy that half an inch director once. That what? Half an Easter egg the once. Half an inch what? Easter egg. She oh, yes, she did. Yes, she bought me an Easter egg that I love. No, but you also bought me that lovely shirt, I which I need to shirt. take in because I've lost weight since then. I bought him this lovely, proper, Canadian-styled shirt. Well, when we're on next? When are you in next? 21st. Am I in on the 21st? Well, yeah, 21st of March. Of March, obviously, because it's 21st of February. But February's it's day. a proper rodeo. Because Calgary, where I got it from, they have two weeks. Oh, I'm weeks. not in that day. I'll to... they oh, have... I am. You Janice, are... I will wear it on the 21st. Well, they have two weeks of stampede in Calgary. Because yeah. my brother lives in Canada. And for two weeks, if you, anyone's been there, they dress up and they go to work with the cowboy hats, the proper shirts, the cowboy boots. Right, I'll do that. I couldn't afford the boots, <laughs> but I got him a shirt. Now, the shirt weren't cheap, and I've never seen him in it, so... Ah, excuse me, I wore it on air. I wore it. I, I wore it. it yeah, I wore it the following time you were in. After you bought it for me, I then wore it once I on air. I don't remember. Yes, years Sorry, ago. Sorry, take that back. No, no, <laughs> it's, it, you're old. It's a long time ago. You remember So, when goes. I get a chance to go to Canada again, yes. to see my brother... He's going to get another shirt that fits him because oh, he's, he's yes. lost so much weight, he's got to yeah. try. But I'll take it in. If I know I've got a month, I can yeah, dart it and take it in. And then when I promise you, next time you're on, <laughs> it's blue and black and it's got horses running across here, it's isn't lovely. it? It's lovely. So I'll wear that shirt. next time it's we're in together. Oh, oh, hang on, some quick messages before we go, Janice. Night. Um, oh, yuck, <laughs> perno. First thing I ever got drunk on. Exactly, that's what Very we all did. I haven't had perno since I was about 16. I used to have it with orange. Uh, well, I could, when I could <laughs> legally drink, I didn't bother. Anne <laughs> says, where in the back black country are you from, Janice? My mum's family are from Smethwick. <laughs> I'm not black country, I'm a brummie. <laughs> I'm a brummie. 
She's a Brummie and a Brummie. And then last but not least, my little friend next door practiced their cornet most days. And Aww. it takes me back to when, most, when my girls played them in the 80s. Lovely Aww. show this morning. Thank you, Susan. <laughs> right, Janice is going home now. Thank you so I, uh, much, Janice. Lie down. And I'll see you later. And I'll see you on the 21st <laughs> of yeah. March then. In your shirt. In my shirt, definitely. <laughs> right, let me quickly do a quick roundup then. Quick roundup. So the bundle is you get the wadding. You get your metre of magenta. You get your one-touch fastening. There are no instructions, so you can do it however you want to do it. You can either do it the way Janice do it, by bagging it out, or you can bind it, or you can do whatever. And then you get the panel, and the panel is in two halves. So you get the panel here. That's the one that the actual the wall hanging or floor uh, mat is made out of. And then this side, the ones you cut out to make to stick on that side. All of that for $19.99. Okay. You can get the wadding on its own today if you want it. Do you want to do that now? There you go. Four ninety nine. This is two ounce. Two ounce, yeah. Four ninety nine. Right, we also had these panels for sale today. The brights, you get both of these for your twenty three. Uh, was it twenty three ninety nine? Twenty three ninety nine. So you get the panel with the numbers, which you can make one of these out of. Do what you want with them, do what you want, because or you get the bigger one here with the letters on. Oh no, you do two separate projects. Let me show let me show you what Janice did on this one. She took she had two of the letters and put the letters over the top of each other. But you can't join, you wouldn't be able to join the numbers and the letters together. You'd have to add something to the numbers one. The squares, I presume, are the same size, aren't they? Because it so you can mix and match them, or you could cut them out, quilt them, or, you know, patch them and put the numbers and the letters all together in a bigger quilt. I know what. If you know, if you tried to make a fabric book, they wouldn't go in order. Because if you think when you make the pages, they, that one has to be A and that one's Z, and then that one's B and that one's... Do you know what I mean? Because you, you, you'd have to cut them out in twos to make the pages, wouldn't you? But you could, you could mount them on something to make the pages. Right, okay, so that's the, that's the letters in the brights and then we also have it in the pastel which is this one so this is your numbers panel so i love that pastel one and this is your letters panel or alphabet they call it obviously 2399 yeah these are lovely the colors in there are very easter spring like colors aren't they The Brights has been the most popular today. I think it was on the day we launched it. Uh, Karen said, you cheer everything up, John. Oh, what have I said now? Anyway, thank you, Karen. Right, don't go anywhere. Right, now, this next hour. So, I'm going to tell you now. I mean, they might have sold while I've been talking to you. But we've got the 550. I've only got one of them. We've got the 560. I've only got one of them. No idea. Oh, the 550 sold. I've got one 560. I've got 1560, right? No idea when we can get more. And uh, this is not me being difficult or me adding any undue pressure. It's what Jane from Elna said. We can only sell what is in the warehouse in Stockport. They are waiting for them to arrive, but they have no idea when they're gonna come. We will obviously talk about Gary's Dukey machine, um, which is an amazing machine, but I don't have one here because Gary, it's Gary's baby, took it away with me. I've got an overlocker, uh, which is a very, very good price, and I've got needles and things like that. So there'll be a lot of chatting and a lot of messages, please, in the next hour. Janice, thank you so much. Joy to see you as always, and I'll see you in three minutes. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too.
Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Have you heard about all of the different ways you can shop with Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? You can either shop on our websites, sewingstreet.com and yarnlane.com. You can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. For Sewing Street, call 0800 001 4433. And for Yarn Lane, call 0800 4700 600. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Willow asked what the dice was for on the desk earlier. Willow, it was a dice you could make out of the panel. You literally sew uh, like four of the squares together and another one there, and then you fold it up and you can make a dice. Um, I'll get them to check what date Janice did that on. Um, Kat will look it up for me now, won't you, Kat? Thank you. Oh, she's going to look it up now. 17th of January, um, Janice made the dice out of the, the panel. Right, OK, now this... Say what? Oh, we're doing the jukey first. OK, I'm going to show you a film now. I'm going to show you a film. Now, I'll just explain. Let me, like, we'll put the graphics in before I show you the film. Right? So, this was a dookie that Gary um, launched with me last week. What day was it? This Tuesday just gone by. So, that'll be in the uh, 14th, 15th, 16th, 16th. Go and look it on YouTube. It's a two-hour special. It was from uh, 11 till 1. This sewing machine, the sewing machine that you're about to see, I haven't got it here. Um, now, on the day, all of them but one sold, right? All but one sold. And then the next day, we just mentioned it and another couple went. We've managed to get five, right? We've managed to get five more. We can't have, after that, we can't have any more. Uh, well, we will eventually at the moment. Now, at the moment, Juki, it's because Juki haven't got any more to give us, right? They've got other, they've got other retailers who are waiting for it. Um, and it's obviously when they, when they come in, they've got to um, fulfill their obligation to the other people. The deal we are doing is exclusive to us. You get £179 worth of feet completely for free. And what's more, the feet because they've got, it's got such brilliant lighting on the sewing machine, the feet are like brushed steel. So they're not going to shine. They're not going to reflect in your eyes. They've got that love. You know, when you can go to the, when you go to the shop and you can choose like um, gold coloured or white plastic light switches, gold ones, silver ones, or, or those brushed ones, the soft ones. All the feet are made like that. In that brushed, it's not steel, but whatever metal it is, it's brushed. So they're not shiny, shiny, shiny bright. That's just one of the many, many things. You can watch, um, you, it's, you can plug it into the Wi-Fi, pick up the Wi-Fi, watch YouTube on it, watch anything on, on, on the, uh, from the there are limitations. Gary said there are limitations of what you can do. But also on the machine, I, I shouldn't be doing this, I'm doing this afterwards, but also on the machine, if you think, oh, how do I put the, such such a foot on? You just press a button and it brings up, like, like YouTube, hundreds of videos of Dukey America, which is Gary's brother, um, showing you how to put the foot on, how to thread the bobbin, how to do this, how to do that. The whole of the instructions manual is in the computer at the side. So if you think, oh, I need to look up this stitch, it, you do, it's just brilliant. Um, but anyway, let me explain this first of all. Yes, it's a considered purchase, £3,395. But look at the split pay. Five split pays of £679. Now, what I need to explain to you about the split pay is there's no interest charge whatsoever. They literally, or we literally, cut the price in five segments. Also, you don't have to have paid for it all before it's delivered, right? So normally, on that, some of those clubs, you put your money in, you can't have what you've been putting your money in until you've paid all the instalments. So imagine if you bought one today. Um, at midnight tonight, the money will come off your credit card. Now, oh, and the other thing is, is you don't have to have split pay if you don't want to. 
You can just pay for it. It's just a, something we offer you, right? So when you come to check out, down that side of the page, it will say, do you want to pay one or do you want to pay split pay? That's up to you. Um, at midnight tonight, we will take the money from your credit card or however you're paying for it. And an email goes to Dukey in Essex. And then, oh, now, oh, yes, so tomorrow, tomorrow they will pack it and give it to their couriers. With it, They guarantee that within 48 hours it's left there. It's left there. So then it depends how long the courier takes to get to you. But most people who've bought from Juki get them literally within days because they don't come from us. They do have a two-year warranty on them. Uh, and the one thing you need to know about it, don't be frightened by it because you think, oh, it's a big old computerised thing. The actual mechanics of the sewing side are all Juki mechanical, right? It's only the screen on this side that is the computerized and you know what it's so easy to use anyway i'll shut up for the time being there's it's not it's only a two minute thing i think this film it's only a two minute just about the machine and then i'll come back and talk more about it not mention that you can watch YouTube in that advert watch me we actually saw me making a mask when we did it on the day anyway 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 um the whole demonstration is two hours last Tuesday 11 till 1 after the show today but please 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 go and look at that I know I understand it's considered purchase I totally and utterly understand that but this is not me adding any undue pressure I promise you when those five have gone the last five that we've got Hopefully in the future we will get it again, but there is no guarantee. Gary doesn't even know when the next shipment are coming for him to give out to the other shops he wanted as well. He, he only got his 48 hours before the launch. That's why he took it away with him. He literally brought him. And he's, when we put it on the table in the break, he went, oh, John, I haven't really had time to look through all the... I mean, he's brilliant, Gary. I mean, what he doesn't know is just fantastic. But just watch it. It was the most brilliant show. We didn't sew for the first hour. Right. Because he was so busy talking about everything. What I loved, what I loved was the um, bobbin. You can set it so that the bobbin tells you when it's going to run out. You can fill a bobbin while you're still sewing. Um, you can get Wi-Fi on it. Like I said, all. Oh, and also you, you remember you saw the bit with the stitch, the zigzags or the um, or the leaves. Right. You see where you are doing that stitching and everything. It's just, oh, oh. And the other thing 
If you switch it off by, if you're halfway through doing something, you switch it off back so it was a power cut, something like that. When you come back to the machine, it automatically remembers your last stitch. So if you're in the middle of doing something complicated or a zigzag or a satin stitch or a, a um, letters, oh, it's got four alphabets. It's got four alphabets as well, yeah. It's a seven millimeter width stitch and it's got four alphabets. But, and you come back to it the next day, say, switch it on, it will automatically go back to what you're doing. Which is why you also have to remember, you can't just sit down and do a straight stitch, but you just press the clear button and take it straight back to the, to the default. There's a way of doing it on the screen, but Gary tells you all about that in the, uh, in the film lifting. The foot pressure is done by a sensor. Oh, and the needle. Right, moving the needle. I, I said I wasn't going to talk about it long, but right, the needle. You know how we always, we, we can move your needle across that way, across that way. And you have to go, on a normal sewing machine, you have to go in the increments that the sewing machine tells you. On this one, you can literally do it yourself by the millimeter. So you can, you can, it, it's such a sensitive, you can move across. Now, obviously that's, how you get your two needle plates. It's got a straight needle plate, which you only put on for three stitches. There are three stitches, you can use that, uh, like a straight stitch and a cord. Uh, but anyway, that's the one where it goes through a single hole. Uh, it's really easy. You just, you, there's a little um, ga ga gouge thing. You just literally go like that and it pops out. Slide the other one in, pop it down. You do have to change the feet when you use that one as well. Not the feet. Yeah, the feed dogs. The feed dogs underneath. You change the feed dogs. But it's all explanatory and everything. Or you have your no normal needle plate to do all your other stitches and everything. But the machine's so clever that it doesn't, it doesn't, if you've got the wrong needle plate on, it won't let you do anything. If there's anything on the machine, if you try to do something, that you're not set up to do, like you've got the wrong foot on, you've got the wrong this on, the right foot plate on or whatever, it won't let you do it. It will not let you do it. It knows what, what, you, what settings you've got and everything like that. You've got the normal foot pedal and then you've got the side foot pedal as well to do the cutting of the threads and the lifting of the feet. You can also set it for permanently or just for the one-off job. If you want to do locking stitch at the beginning, locking stitch at the end, cutting at the beginning, cutting at the end. It, but I'm not doing it justice, but you must, must, must go and watch the film because it is fantastic. Everything that Gary knows about that machine. And as I say, it was a two-hour special and we could have carried on. We could have carried on, carried on chatting about it, but it even got to the stage where I was like, Gary, you got four minutes. He's like, I'll just be doing, I'll just do this, I'll just do this. And Gary, you got a minute. Yeah, yeah, I'll just do this, I'll just do this. It, oh, it's got a fantastic, oh, it's got a 12 inch throat. It's got a 12 inch throat. So fantastic if you're a quilter. And the light, you can, oh, and the, you know what you can do? The main light, you can dim them. You can, it's just brilliant. And, and, you know, like native lighting, you can change them from daylight to that cold, cold, bright white light, yes. Um, oh, there's so much, there's so much. It's, uh, uh, oh, the only th only th other thing I wanted to not dispute, obviously, I don't want to dispute it. When you read in that film, it said flatbed. It's not a flatbed at all. What it meant was you can slide the um, gubbins box on to create like a flatbed. You can also take the gubbins box off to create a free arm. And it comes with a really, really, really big extension table. Comes with a really big, big. Look here, it says simply converted flatbed cylinder bed. That's what, I, I wasn't going to show you this, but there you go. So what it is, is the gubbins comes off to create a free arm. When the gubbins is on, it's like a flatbed machine. And then you get the great big table, which can also slide on. And the gubbins box is on both sides. So there's plenty of room to go like that. The buttonhole foot is brilliant. He showed us, did we do, did we do a buttonhole? Come if we did a buttonhole now. But it, it's fantastic. It's fantastic. And the, the stitching, well, the thing is, what it is, is the right-hand side, the left-hand side of the machine, the stitching side, is all dukey top quality, mechanical. None of that is digital. If it's not broke, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So that is all mechanical. It's only this side. Say that again. Yeah, 1,050 stitches a minute. Um, all this side is the digital side. It is, uh, the, the computer side is all completely separate. Also, not that anything will go wrong with it. They have a fantastic customer service team. Sometimes you might get Gary. If Gary's in the office, you'll get Gary. Um, but a really, really brilliant. And then when we get back to normal, they, they've got classes and things like that. So if you wanted to go to a day, that's obviously through them and separate. But they have such a brilliant um, follow-up team and everything like that. Everything about it, like even... 
I even I could use it. That's what I'm saying. Also, you don't get a stylus with it because it's been it's been designed not to tap with a stylus. It's been designed to to take your the, the thing, your fingertip and things like that. Oh, hang on, got a message, have I? Going across. Oh, oh on Facebook, on Facebook, on Facebook. That's right. As you know, John, I recently got a Juki. Oh, yeah, exactly. But this is the next one on. This is the next one on, Wendy. Uh, I had lots of different machines over saying, is this by far the best machine I've ever had? It's easy to work. Will not let you do anything you shouldn't. It, right, Wendy, this is the next one on. This is the one above yours. This is the next one up after yours. Uh, and it's just brilliant. It's just amazing. So Wendy's got the other one that we sell, which is the... Is it called NX7, the other one? NX7. This is the UX8. This is the next one up. Uh, and it is, it is, I understand it. I, I understand it's considered purchase, but it is such a fantastic machine. Oh, no, I loved, I, I loved it. Say this again. Oh, yeah, yeah. We were the first people to have it in the UK. Well, 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 well. In theory, we were the only people to have it in the UK. Other people had got it on their website that they were actually selling it there and then. So we were the people who launched the deal that we had just to cover, because I said that on air. I go, oh yeah, we're the only people we're launching it, we're launching it. And then someone mentioned in going, actually, if you look at this website, they've got it. I didn't have time, I couldn't ask Gary about it live on air going, has this shop got, got it sort of thing? So I left, I left that, but we launched it with, if you go to buy it anywhere else, it will be this price, but you won't get the 179 pounds worth of free feet. That's all. And also, will you get 3.95 posted packaging? Because that's all it is, the 3.95. Now, if you buy it today, and you've already bought something. Say you bought the early bird for nine pounds or ten pounds, however much it was, ten pounds. Um, and then you bought the, the Dukey sewing machine. You've paid your P and P for the day. You don't need to pay another P and P at all. Oh, okay, right now there is. I didn't know this. On the website there is a thing to say premium delivery. Do not put and they pay extra. Do not put that on sewing machines or anything it's what we call drop shop ships you don't put that on uh, adjuster forms you don't put that on sewing machines you don't put that on because they come f uh, you don't put it on native lighting if it's one of the ones that come straight from claire it's only if it comes from our warehouse you can do that so there there you go right okay so i'll get on oh hang if you've got any questions message do message in oh yes yes yeah uh, Wendy says, I know, John, I should have waited, but I'm very pleased. With oh, yeah. The thing is, Wendy, you have got exactly the same left-hand side on your sewing machine that the UX8 has on its sewing machine. So they're exactly the same actual sewing machine. So the sewing quality will be identical. All it is, you haven't got the telly on yours. You can't watch me on YouTube on yours, can you? And you can't, you know, but, but they're brilliant. They're both brilliant, 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 brilliant machines. Um... Right, oh now, uh, uh, Rachel says, I'm seriously thinking about bringing my Elna 720 home and buying this one for the studio. Right, Rachel, I don't want to be rude, but there's only five. There's only five. Now, I'm not adding any undue pressure whatsoever. Don't tell Gary, we don't want to give him another stroke now, do we? But you know what I mean? Um, if that's Rachel, who, who is on uh, quite soon. And uh, not, not Dukey Gary, no, she's not married to Dukey Gary. Um, she's on with you, isn't she, soon? Four, 14th. 14th of March is on with um with um Kat and um oh, my brain, what's that? Wendy Gardner. She's on with Kat and Wendy Gardner. Anyway, I'll move on. I'll move on. If there's anything you want to know, I'll just make sure there's no more questions before I go on. You can email in uh, if you want to. Kat will answer those questions or sh shout them out to me. Or here you go, studio at sewingstreet.com. Studio at sewingstreet.com. Or of course you can uh, send a message via Facebook, which is what I look at here. Or, of course, you can send one in the white box, but the one in the white box, don't make it too long because you cut, get cut off after a while. Okay, right, should we carry on? Should we carry on? Right, now, when we started the show this morning, we had a 550 and a 560. The 550 sold, right? So the 550 and the 570, again, Jane and Elna, no idea. No idea when they'll be coming in again. I've got one 560. Now, somebody messaged me this week saying they've got their 560 and they absolutely Love it. Absolutely love it. So let me just move this out the way and that out the way and I'll show you this machine. Is it switched on? Oh, it is now. We've it's all been sanitised. Don't worry, this one Janice was just using. It has been sanitised. Elliot spent the whole break sanitising it and then went, John, you've got 10 seconds. I was like, oh. Anyway, look, split pay. 
193 pounds and that's just three way split pay so you pay 193 pounds tonight 193 pounds next month and 193 pounds the month after that and it's paid for i'll just explain to you this one comes with the table this one comes with a hard case there you go hard case go over the top of it so how does this work? Now, the 555, 60, and 570 are all basically the same mach machine. Same motor, same brilliant, brilliant, um, the way it works, everything. But each machine has something different. So the 550 has 50 stitches, doesn't have a, a cutter or anything like that. This is the first one of the series that comes with the cutter. So let me show you what you've got across the front here. You've got a locking stitch. You have got the needle up, needle down. You've got your thread cutter. You've got your go faster, go slower here. Now, on here, this is uh, how you choose your stitches, which I'll show you in a second. This is your width and your length. Let me, I'll turn it around that way a bit. There you go. That's your width and your length. This is a shortcut to straight stitch. This is a short, shortcut to your zigzag. This is a shortcut to your cover. And I want to call it cover stitch. That doesn't sound right. Overcast, overcast stitch, which is like an overlocker. That's your shortcut to your buttonhole. Look, I'll just press that. Takes you straight to a buttonhole. Right, now, what it also... Is that right? Yeah, there you go. What it also does is it also tells you which foot you need on. It also tells you that you've got your foot pedal on because you don't have to use it with the foot pedal. Look, watch. You can use it with your stop-start button. Right, I'll put that back in. But you can't obviously use the start-stop button if it's uh, got that in. And then it tells you how wide and how long the stitch is. Right, so I said this machine has got 100 stitches. Here they all are. There's your first batch. They're all in one mode on this. You don't need to worry about changing a, a mode or a zone. Right, and then there's this one. So, let's pick a stitch. 72. Right, okay. So, to get stitch 72, we go like... Oh, let me clear that one away. Uh, 50, 60, 70... Right, okay, we're on stitch 72. So you need the, the foot F. Uh, now that's the size of the stitch, right? So it's a 7 millimeter width, which is the full width of, width of a stitch, and it's 0.4 meter. You can change that. If, that's, if you test it out, where's the, uh, did you get the calico? Where is it? I can use that cream, oh no, I chopped all the cream. Oh yeah, here's the cream fabric from earlier. It's all right, Kat, look, I've got this. Oh, I don't know how Jane from Elm Gary do this. Right, lift the... Right, no, they... Oh, it's got no thread on it. <laughs> Tannis took the thread off. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. Um, I was going to show you, but basically, if you look back here, so it's a 7 width and 0.4 stitch length, right? You can make that smaller if you want to, so you don't make it as wide. You can make this smaller stitch or a longer stitch. So you can, even though that number 73... Or was I say 72? Is a, oh no, it's, oh, I've put the wrong one in. I wanted to put 80 to it. What? Sold out. Right, I'll just carry on showing you this. I should carry on showing you this. So 82 was the one I wanted, not 83. So there's 82. That's your arrowhead. So again, you can play with it going downwards and go play it downwards like that. But what it means is, is even though 72 is an arrowhead, you can do any size of arrowhead you want to. You know what I mean? You can alter it. You, so it's not just, so it says if you've got 100 stitches, but actually you've got 100 stitches and a lot of them you can have three or four choices of the width and everything. So you've actually got more than 100 stitches there. This one doesn't have an alphabet though, but it is a gorgeous machine. It does, oh yeah, sorry. And it does have the memory cutting function, which I haven't got to here, but it's sold out now, so I will stop. The only other thing is, is you will get a list of all the feet that you get with it. You don't get a walking foot with this one, but you can buy a walking foot from Elna. We haven't got them in stock at the moment. You get a standard A foot, which is the one that should arrive on it, the, a, quarter, a quarter inch foot. How many people want the quarter inch guide foot these days? Because quilting. You get a zipper foot, a satin stitch foot, over edge foot to do the over edge stitch, and a buttonhole foot and a blind 10 foot. All that comes with it. But congratulations, that's sold out. So now that means we now no longer have any 550s, any 560s or any 570s left in stock. And I, and as Jane said, she does, and I'm not trying, this is not a negative. This is not a negative. I'm just telling you, Jane does not know when, if and when we can get any more in. Just so you know. 
We, oh, you know what, with both Juki and Elna, we're very lucky to get the stock that we do. Because like Gary said, you know, we got an awful lot of those Jukis and other shops are waiting. Other shops are, and like, he was like, oh, it's, it's, it, he's, he's in a difficult situation, isn't it? Because he, fa not favours us, that's the wrong word, but he always helps us out. But he could, you know, he's got, uh, we're not the only customer he's got, you know what I'm trying to say. And he gave us £179 worth of free feet to go with it, yeah. Of that, anyway, so I've moved that on. Now, this here, this is in a completely different, I mean, I've shown you the Juki, which is the top, 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 top. Uh, this is the top, 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 if you're just starting off. If you've got somebody in the family who's just starting off on their sewing jerk, look. Look at the split pay. Look at the split pay. Oh, yeah, three-year-old. If I'm teaching a three-year-old grandson to sew earlier, actually, he sits on a knee and uses her machine. But... Um, if you've got somebody, especially in lockdown, everyone's taking up different hobbies, aren't they? You don't want to be spending 500, 600, 700, 1,000 pounds on a machine. This is a perfectly, perfectly adequate, I don't want to say adequate, that's the wrong word because it's more than adequate, but it's a very simple, it's not digital, it's all mechanical, it's all a mechanical machine. But you've got You've got the Elna name to go with it. You get the two-year warranty. It'll be delivered to you from Elna. For, and that if you pay £83 tonight, obviously you have to pay the other £83 and then the other £83, but this could be at your house by paying your first payment of £83. Right, I'm going to show... I'll take you around the front of it first, and then I'll show you how it works. Right. Um, oh, there you go. Sharon's got the Janome version of the 670. She absolutely loves it. There you go. Right, OK, so where should I stop? These are all your stitches, right? These are all your stitches. They're already embedded into the machine, right? They're all your stitches. So including the buttonholes, I thought there were more than that, 21. Are there only two buttonholes then? Three buttonholes, three buttonholes. So they're all your stitches there. Uh, it threads like a normal sewing machine. Now the way that you choose your stitch is you see on the top row there, you've got one to nine, right? Literally, you just take it to the pale blue one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll show you in a minute how it works, right? If you want stitches 10 to 18, you just t turn this dial round to the SS for stretch stitch, and then that takes you to all of your stretch stitches long here. 10 to 18, all right? And then your but where's your buttonhole? Oh, and, there's your and then your buttonhole will be your team your buttonhole round to here. That's your reverse button there. And then obviously it just feels like a normal machine. Now your bobbin is up here, your bobbin fill is up here. So you literally just wind it on, wind it round, wind it round your bobbin, push it against that way so it deactivates, put your foot down, then when it's full, it will just bounce back like that. What I love, now normally in beginner machines like this, your bobbin has to go in underneath. It's an under load, no, look. This is exactly the same as the top loading bobbin that I've got on my 680. That's right, Elliot's just coming into it. There you go. This is exactly the same as the way I put my bobbin in my, oh, my 680, there you go. So it's a top loader bobbin like that. Okay, so then you've also got, this is your foot here, goes down, up, extra up. If you're doing thick fabric like worsted and things like that, then it gives you that extra, oh, you PU, because this machine will go through PU as well. Can you? Right, okay. Oh, look, if you're gonna do a bit of free motion embroidery, look, you could drop your feet dogs. I never knew that. Drop your feet dogs there. How brilliant is that? You've also got the stitch width here. So when you're doing a zigzag, you can choose which stitch width you want to do with your zigzag. So it's got everything that you need right now. Hang on, let me just turn it around because I'm going to do a bit of stitching. I don't know how I'm going to do this though, but let me just turn it around that way. I'll just do this. Let's put the bob. Now I've not got much thread on the bobbin. So, um, oh actually, can you, does it just come with one foot? Does this have extra feet with it? Yeah, no, this one, this one's a bit weird, isn't it? I could never get... Oh, yeah, Elliot could do that while I'm stitching. Oh, Elliot, no, hang on, don't, 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 don't. Wait, 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 wait. Where's the, the, the tissues? Oh, you got them there. Elliot's going to come out and do it for us. And then I'll do some stitching. 
It does come with a variety of feet and they're in there. But this is the strangest, this is a strange little um, gubbins box, this one. Here he comes. Hang on, let me put my thing on as well. Yeah, yeah, we can show him. With his arms there. Oh, it was easy. Yes, it was easy. Thank you, Elliot. Jim Shark. Have you ever seen the inside of a gym? You are. My sister works there. Oh, his sister works. Oh, can she get us cheap dinghies? Oh, I'll have to get. Where is it? Jim Shark. Yeah, is it a gym? No, it's a brand. Oh, no. Right, then. That's fine. That's fine. Right. So, look, it's all wet from wet. So, all of your feet and your. Um, well, there's a buttonhole foot. There's a zipper foot. There's your, all your different feet, and you've got your, oh, I know you've had that. You've got your quicker picking and everything. And the way it works is it go, it slides in the end like that. Oh, hang on. There you go, there you go. Look, 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 look. It slides in like that. That's why I couldn't open it, because I was trying to open it the normal way. Right, okay, here we go. So, which stitch should we choose? I don't know if you, you can't see around the back, can you, Elliot? Right, hang on. So let's get it off SS. Let's go to a zigzag stitch, number three. Put it on. Right, no wonder they get confused around here. There's three foot pedals on the floor. Oh, hang on. Am I not on? Oh, it's plugged in on there. <laughs> it's plugged into an extension lead, which isn't plugged into the mains. There we go. There we go. Ready? Is it in the right place you see, Elliot? Oh, no, it's come unthreaded. Oh, no, I'm rubbish with needle threads. I have to just do it my own. Uh, yeah, where's the manual? The manual was out till last week. The manual was all out. Right, now, hang on, I'm just going to chop the end of that off. Oh, now, don't look, because I lick the end of my thread. But don't worry, I've cut it off to get it through my needle. I will sanitise, don't worry. There we go. See, it's much quicker. I find it much quicker just to thread it with your... by hand. Right. Now, hopefully, oh. <laughs> that's not a good start. It's completely and utterly um, nested. I do apologise this at home. It does work. It's just um, typical, isn't it? Right, so we go one, two... Oh, yeah, 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 things do go wrong, don't they? What's the matter, Kat? Yeah, first thing to do if it does that is re-thread it straight away. Uh, it's a four-step buttonhole, Claire. It's not a one-step buttonhole. So you'd need to, it's like old fa doing old-fashioned buttons. You go down across the top to start with, then you go down the side, then you go across the bottom, and then you go back up the side again. Right, third time lucky. There we go, through the needle, through there. Right, so. Elliot's finding it very relaxing watching me do a needle. Oh, hang on, there's a quest. So. I don't know, you'd have to, could you see the best thing to do, it's an Elna, right? If you ring the call, uh, ring not our call centre, ring Elna call centre, they're about to tell you straight away, you might actually get Lucy Brennan answering the phone. No, Jane doesn't answer the phone. No, because she's not in Stockport. There we go. Quick reset and it's all fine. So I've put it on number three, which is the... Um, we're very wide zigzag, so let's we can make it the stitches closer together and not as wide.
you see that. Ignore this nesting bit because that's what was happening earlier. Right, let's change the stitch to a basic zigzag, number two. So three width, three length. There we go. So that's your straightforward zigzag there. Needle down, turn it round. Oh, that's a lovely zigzag, that one. This is the be uh, such a lovely starter entry level uh, sewing machine. I'm just going to go back up this way so you can see. Yeah, yeah, or, or like a lot of our ladies, if you, like, look, wait yourself, Wendy. She's got the Wendy house, hasn't she? So she's at home in a normal house, and then in better times, she and hubby go off to their Wendy house, which is like a lodge. She could have, you could have this one at your lodge, so you didn't have to keep packing up your one from home, and for £249. And it does all, your, it does all the basic stitches you want it to do. It could be what? If you go to workshops, yeah, exactly. Not that you can do that at the moment. Right. Go and take your heavy machine. Right, so I've turned it to number, uh, let's see, number one, which is just your straightforward straight stitch. There you go. Oh, okay, now, who was that? Rachel, my love, if you go to um, un watch the show live, right? Don't go to the shop. Just go to the watch, watch the show live. Go to, um, uh, what's it called? Today's show deal. I'll show you, I'll show you, right? So you have to scroll, right because it was the first thing we did this morning. You have to scroll right the way down to the bottom. Look, see, it was, it was first thing this morning. There it is. And then you can add it to your basket there. We're not going to add it to our basket now. It says added to basket. Oh, just add it to our basket, look. Yeah, that's where, oh yeah, if you want to do split pay, that's where you do split pay there. Like you don't press securely now, catch, because you've just bought a house, you can't buy a sewing machine as well. Oh, and it brings, well, you're moving out, doesn't matter. It brings up the parent's address. Right, okay, let's just go to S stretch stitch then. And let's go to number 12. This is almost, I mean, it says stretch stitch, but it's almost like a decorative stitch, this one, isn't it? Can, can you see that one coming out? Oh, that's gorgeous. That's a decorative stitch rather than a stretch stitch, isn't it? Look. Eight kilos, Sue, this weighs. Eight kilos. So what's that? A couple of bags of sugar in it. Oh, now, your average cat weighs six kilos. No, not you. Not our cat. She's a much bigger than six kilos. Um... Oh, yes, yeah, so I've told Sue to ring the, the call centre. Oh, yeah, it's got a carry handle here. Now, does this one come with a cover? That has no cover at all. Are you sure? Well, yeah, you can make a cover for it. I thought it came with a, with a dust cover, doesn't it? Oh, OK. Yeah. Anyway, 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 we'll sort it out. If you find the cover in your box, it's a bonus, apparently, Kat said. That's nice to know. So the box is there. Is, oh, no. Kat's lost the box for this one. Anyway, 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 anyway. I just thought, uh, so hang on, let's do one more stitch and then I'll move on. Then I'll go to the overlocker. So let's do, I don't know what number 18 is. We'll, we'll put it through and we'll see what it is. Because it comes under the stretch stitch. Oh, and this is where the bobbin's going to run out now, isn't it? No, look, it's nothing like it, Elliot. Look, that was the one we just did there. That's the one we're doing now. Actually, let me make it wider. Let me make it wider, see what happens. Oh, I think the bobbin's gone now. The bobbin's worn out. Just telling me now to stop. So I'll stop doing that one. Right. Oh, yeah, you can drop the feed dog. It's got a free arm. It's got all the... All the stitches, it is entry level, but look at the price, £249. And it's Elna, two-year warranty, and it comes with the, all the Elna um, years and years and years of experience and, and kind of um, expertise that comes with an Elna machine. 
Right, now this one isn't, this one isn't plugged in and it's not threaded up, but I'll just show you this. So now Jane launched this on last Thursday. Not launched, yeah, yeah, launched it here last Thursday. On the 11th of February. Now, if you can find it on YouTube, you're a better woman than I am, as they say. <laughs> Look at the split pay. If you've been thinking about an overlocker, right, before we go any further, I just want to show you this. Look how easy this is. All right in front of you, so easy to thread up. It's colour coordinated, so you can follow the thread from the top here. You can use it as a four thread or a three thread or a two thread of this one. Uh, but look at the lower looper. It's the lower looper that's normally the one that's frightening to, to thread. And look how simple that is. So if you've been looking for an overlocker, and you're thinking, now's the time. Uh, this is a brilliant, again, entry-level overlocker. Entry-level overlocker. It is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. You've got your, different, uh, your feed differential on the side here. You've got your dials on the side here. You've got your clutch, your on-off button. Your, your, obviously, your, your blade is in there. I can't show you this because it's not switched on. I can't do the stitches. You can drop the blade. If you don't want to use the blade, just want to do the stitching, you can drop the blade. And if you're going to do, are there two, two needles in there? Yeah, yeah. You can take one of the needles out if you don't want the second needle in. Or oh, is it third needle? Sorry, third needle. Oh, well done. Well done. Yeah, this has only got two needles in. You can have three needles in, obviously. One needle's been taken out. Um, so it does all the same functions as your normal overlocker. But it's just Elna's entry level. Lots of people love it. Now, what it is, uh, what it is, is also, it's not top end. So you don't get, and I'm not, this is not me being negative now. I'll just tell you. This is not me being negative whatsoever. I'm just saying it as it is. It doesn't have a gubbins tray and things like that because all of those cost extra. You, as long as, it, it doesn't stop the working of it. Say that again. You can make a little gu a gubbins tray if you want to, or you can just, it just sits in your lap and just put it in the bin afterwards. Um, obviously, it's a lovely little machine. Oh, if you can find Jane on YouTube uh, doing this one. Yes, we did used to have it at Sewing Quarter, because that's why I faltered earlier, because it was a launch here at Sewing Street last week. But I have to say, I don't remember it being this affordable at Sewing Quarter. And there was no split pay there. And again, it's only, th only three ninety five post and packaging. So, anyway, anyway. Oh, yeah, more and more people are using overlockers uh, these days. It's because they've always been frightening. They've always been frightening. She brought it, well, look at Jules, right? She makes everything on an overlocker. Uh, Jane made a bag on the overlocker. You can use, uh, use an overlocker for decorative edging. You can, oh, a rolled hem. You can do a rolled hem on an overlocker as well. So it's £289, split pay of £96.33. They're, they're at Elna, waiting to be delivered to you now. And they get the two-year warranty from Elna as well. Right, now we're going to move over to the other side now, because I've got some other bits and bobs to show you. They're not machines, but they go with your machines. Oh, congratulations to all of you who've ordered a Duke key. Oh, do you know what? Right, we're even more limited. So we started the day with five. We're even more limited now. And also, we haven't even gone into repeat yet. This is the live show. Wait till people start watching tonight on YouTube and things like that. Oh, well, I was just talking about Jules, wasn't I? Here's Jules's book. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, this came back into stock the other day, 11 99 Everything you need to know about dressmaking is in this book. This is a complete guide to dress... I heard that being said the other day. This is a complete guide to dressmaking by Jules Fanning. Now, Mark Francis knows Jules and has worked alongside her. So, um, uh, well, I know Jules because she's a very good friend of mine. Uh, this book has just got everything. Every, you've always wanted what? Oh, her courses are brilliant. They're not, uh, they're not open at the moment, obviously. Um, right, so chapter one is what you need. Essential equipment, needle know-how, cutting, machine anatomy, sewing machine feet, choosing your thread, dressmaking haberdashery. Chapter two, prep. Understanding your different fabrics. Oh, I know somebody who needs this book. I might send it over to them later. 
No, not you, Elliot. Yes. Choosing fabrics, interfacing, fabric preparation, pattern envelope information. So there's, there's patterns in this book as well. Understanding pattern symbols, measuring size charts, making fitting a twirl. This is my life history. This is my this is my this is my what I've always done. Making fitting a twirl, laying out the paper pattern, print pinning and cutting fabrics and adapting a pattern. Doesn't finish there because you've got a whole make ch chapter, you've got a whole stretch chapter, and you've got a whole finish chapter there. And how much is it? 11 99. Years and years and uh I thought that was too low. I know, I know this is sale elsewhere, and it's meant to be fifteen ninety nine. Right, it's a brilliant book. It's a, she looks very fresh faced there, doesn't she? Uh, but look, but look, but look, but look, look, look. There's so sorry. There's so much now. Charlie, husband Charlie, will have done all the photographs. Look, there's so much. Look at the photographs. There's so many. We can't go on one of Jules's courses at the moment, but maybe get the book. Oh, I tell you what, Laurie, you know, lovely Laurie who messages in. She's been on one of Jules's courses. Yeah, because it was her birthday. Oh, hang on a go. Now, it was before lockdown. So that's been a year. So it must have been her birthday the year before, mustn't it? It was her birthday weekend and she treated herself to a Laurie weekend course. So she booked into a lovely little hotel nearby and they did the, you know, the lovely coat. Um, is it the Beatrice? Is the coat called the Beatrice? They were making the Beatrice coat and I went in and I took her flowers and some... Did we have cake that day? I think we had cake that day and everything. It's lovely. So she's been on, she's been on the course. So this is adding lace. This is frills and flourish. Rouleau cords. I always remember being in a fitting. One of my very, very first fittings and it was for... I think it might have been for one of the ballet. I was working for a lady called Jane Cowood. I was still a student. And, we're in the, and I was holding the pins. And that's how I think it's the best, way, like an apprenticeship. So I was at Wimbledon School of Art during the week. And then the evenings at weekends, I worked with Jane. And we went for a fitting. And I know it was with somebody, re it, was, it could have been Darcy Bustle or somebody like that we were fitting. And I was very nervous and everything. Never been to a ballet company in my life before. But I'm just fascinated by it all. And then Jane went, oh, John, we'll do rulos for this. And I remember turning to go, What's a rouleau? And she said afterwards, you never say that in a fitting. You go, yes, yes, of course. And then ask me later. I had no idea what a rouleau was. But I learnt and I will never forget because it's one of those. That's a rouleau. If, earlier, if Amy picks a wedding dress that's got 100 buttons down the back with little loops, that's a, they're rouleaus. Amy, Amy, maybe you should, are we in a leap year this year? Oh, last year, it doesn't matter, ask him. Oh no, last year doesn't count. Because we were all in lockdown. It's birthdays and things like that don't count. So Amy, just ask him. He won't dare say no. He's loaded. He's loaded, Amy. It's my it's, um, it's stepmom can knit and crochet. She'll never be out of woolens and knits. Anyway, look. I wonder who that lady is there. She's in lots of the pictures, isn't she? I mean, I bet you any money it's one of the ladies that works with um, with Jules. No, I think it's a friend. Um, also, 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 if you are going to go on one of Jules's courses, it's in the most beautiful Stratford upon Avon countryside, in an old converted farm building, and there's a lovely uh, lady who does um, ceramics next door. There's another company that do cakes there. She has the best coffee, does Jules as well. Anyway, brilliant book for 11 99 Get that before you go on one of her courses and you'll be laughing. I've got old crest on my bottom. Uh, sorry to ask, but you, do you still have the weather wall hanging in stock? Thank you. Oh, I don't know who that's from. Yeah, yeah, I'll show you where it is. Oh, it's from Merseyside, I think. Right, okay, here, well, here you go. Here's the graphics for it now. Oh. There you go. There's the number. Click on your basket or ring the call centre. There it is right now. So it's the panel, the wadding, the metre of magenta and the one-touch fastening, which they've called Velcro, which I'm not sure if it is. 19. Well, do, you, do you have to have to go look for it, do you? You just click on this now, don't you? Oh, here it is. 
That's the one if you bind it. Janice didn't bind hers this morning. That's the one if you bind it. Okay? Learn to what? It's up there. The cloud's up there. Look. Learn to sew in 30 minutes. Now, that's a little bit naughty. That's a little bit misleading. It took me donkey's years. Right. Oh, it's Debbie Von, Cro Debbie Von Grabler Crozier. I didn't know that. I thought she just did bags. So there's 25 quick and easy projects to build your skills. I think what it is, if you've got your little starter sewing machine, she's just teaching you different techniques which are transferable. Working with different, oh, there's leather, leather, felt, 3D um, flower pins. There's a lot of information, which again, it's all transferable. I just think that, I just think that, um, um, what's the, those guidelines? Because somebody could buy that book and if they can't sew after 30 minutes, they'll go, well, that's it, I could in that book. Do you know what I mean? Like trades just script, no, it's not trades just script, ombudsman, anything. I'm not being negative, I'm just saying, that's just me being, what? Oh, we've made those before. Oh, I don't know if it was here, though, or if it was at same quarter. There's the cloud, that which is on the shelf behind the other table. There it is. Slippers. I need some new slippers. Oh, uh, now see this. See this. I know we've done this book before because somebody made me that in poppy fabric. And it's in my kitchen on the breakfast, not the breakfast bar, on the work surface, just before you leave the back door. And I, and I haven't got to breakfast bar. And I leave my ring in it like that. And I leave my keys in it. And I leave my loose change in it. No, the keys to the door, the keys to the house are in the door. The keys to the car go in there. But they haven't got to get through the back. No, 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 because you won't be able to get in. First of all, I've got a burglar alarm. Secondly, on all my external doors, I've got these, I think they're Chinese wind chimey things. Which, and one's got a pig hanging from it because they're all supposed to bring different... They're supposed to bring energy to the house, you see. But what they actually do is, as soon as you open the door, it goes chang, 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 like that. And so ev that's on every single door going out. So, what, what? They can't cut it down because as soon as you touch the one on the front door, is attached to the front door. You know, like those old-fashioned bells on a spring, like that. So as soon as you touch the door, it goes like that, and it rings, it dingles. Oh, no, no, you have to have, uh, because uh, also I've got gravel outside, which is the countryside burglar alarm, isn't it? Oh, no, don't you worry. You're not counting anywhere near my house. So, uh, Elliot, you can come to the house. That's fine. I'll leave the door open. Uh, I've got a message where? Oh, from Teddy. Thanks, John. Not only have I got a bunch of bargains, but you kept me company while getting a ton of dreaded hand sewing out of the way. Oh, don't you like hand sewing, Teddy? You're more than welcome. I'm not in again now till Wednesday, I don't think I'm... Oh, look at the time! Look at the time. Tomorrow's menu. Busy chatting away. Right, let me explain before... I oh, no, I'll do this first. Cherry sewing tub with Sally Ann Harrison. That's at 8 o'clock. Who's... who's it's, oh, it's, oh, it's Monday. Rebecca Reed on tomorrow. Bird of the month, Pigeon. That's going to cause a controversy tomorrow. 10 o'clock, Garden Path Quilt with Sally Ann Harrison. 11 o'clock, Face Coverings and Fabrics. And then Yarn Lane at 12 o'clock, West Yorkshire Spinner Colour Lab Launch. Colour Lab Launch. That's lovely, isn't it? Right, now, I'm not in now till Wednesday. What? I know, but it'll take me that long to explain all this. I'm not in till Wednesday because we're doing Vixie's Baby Shower Show on Wednesday, which is an eight-hour show. So you join us at 8 o'clock. This is Wednesday I'm talking about now, not tomorrow. Wednesday, so you'll see Vix at 8 o'clock with Cara... Oh. Is it Cara Ackerman? No, 8 o'clock, yeah, 8 o'clock she's on her own. Then 9 o'clock she's got Cara Ackerman. 10 o'clock she's on her own. 11 o'clock she's got Cara Ackerman. Then at 12 o'clock I take over and do one hour of Yarn Lane with Catherine Wright. Then I then do three hours of Sewing Street with Jules Mayouf. So one hour on my own and two with Jules Mayouf, right? But that won't be on Freeview. That's only on Sky. 
YouTube, Facebook, and the website. The website. But so you, what you've got to do is you've got to watch Shane Street for three hours, watch it, then swap over to Yarn Lane for an hour, then swap back to Sewing Street. No, four hours. Then I'll start again. You watch four hours of Sewing Street on normal. Then I come on and I do one hour in Yarn Lane, normal. Then we go back to Sewing Street, but not on Freeview, but all the other platforms uh, from until four o'clock with Jules Mayouf. And that's Vicky's, uh, she's not leaving, she's not leaving, she's not, that's not her last day, don't worry, it's not her last day. But we're just celebrating her baby shower. So I hope they bought her lots of presents and everything. We're not playing games. We're not here to play games, Kat. Okay? Yeah, Elliot plays games all the time. Oh no, but hang on, Elliot's not on. She's on in the morning, isn't he? He's on the first four hours and I'm on with um, little Paul and Hannah for the second two hours, uh, second four hours. It's getting very complicated, isn't it? Now, also, if you do have any messages for Vix, I'd send them into the email, studio at sewingstreet.com, studio at sewingstreet.com. If you send them to the white one going across the bottom or, or on what's it, then you won't, we won't get them. So, thank you very much for your company today. The Juki machine is now even more limited than it was when I started the show. And uh, everything from today's show is on the website, if it hasn't already sold out. Uh, and don't forget today's early bird because it was a, you got you paid less than you saved. No, hang on, you saved more than you paid. Oh, hundreds have gone. I'm not surprised. Right, I'm going now. Uh, so I'll see you on Wednesday at twelve o'clock, and then I'm in on Friday and Saturday. So I'm in Wednesday, twelve o'clock. Friday and Saturday normal times next week. And I'm all live on Facebook at four o'clock today. Thank you. Live on Facebook, my Facebook at four o'clock. Not there. Take care. I'll see you soon.